Okay, so... The premise of tonight's stream is going to be a trivia game show combined with a speedrun. How is this going to work? You might be asking yourself. Great question. I'm going to answer, okay? We're going to be doing a speedrun like normal, trying to get through the levels with the route as fast as possible. But after I finish a level, I will then be talking to the trivia master, the quiz master, none other than one of the talking flowers from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. He is going to give me a trivia question from one of a few topics that will change depending on the world I'm in, that will also get harder in difficulty as we get further in the game. If I get the question right, I can move on to the next stage. If I get it wrong, I have to replay the level as punishment before moving on to the next one. We are going to do this after every level until we get through the whole game. There are a few little bonus things to include though, okay? Since there are seven worlds for what I'm doing, which is the six main worlds and the Bowser area, which is, it's not really a world, but we're calling it one for our purposes, okay? Um, there are only six categories. The seventh one could be randomly given by the flower that could be anything. So we're gonna figure out what that is when it happens. Um, also, there are a few places that I've written into my route that are Twitch chat category inserts, where you guys will be able to give me categories to use that I will then tell the flower to ask me a question based off of, which can be unrelated to anything else. They can be random. There's, I think, three or four of those that I've written into the route. I'll let you know when those happen. Um, they are going to be in whatever format the guy gives me. I'm not telling him to make the multiple choice. He might make them some multiple choice. They might not be. It's fine. Okay. Now, to answer a few questions, first of all, if the, the answer I give is wrong, but he says it's correct, then it doesn't matter. We're going off his word as the final word. So if I can convince him that my answer is right, even if it's not right, if he says it's right, it counts. Also, if he gives the wrong answer and the right answer is actually something else, then we're gonna say that I'm wrong. We're going off his word as the final word, okay? So if I don't know the answer, I can try to outsmart him with my wit. We'll see if that happens. But b before you try to come to me and say, well, that's not right, okay? If he says it's right, it's right. If he says it's wrong, it's wrong. That's how we're doing it, okay? Next question. What about the pedal aisles? Those are gonna be little bonus areas. And the way those are gonna work is after each level in the pedal aisles section, I will get a trivia question. If I get it right, I don't have to do any more trivia for that section. So for example, the first pedal aisle section is I think four levels, three or four levels. If I get the first trivia question right on level one for levels two and three and four, I don't have to do any more. But if I get it wrong, then I get another chance on level two. If I get it right on level two, then we don't have to do it for three and four, so on and so forth. So it's like, there's an incentive to get it correct. Because if I get it right, I get to skip a few stages. If I don't, I have to keep trying and trying, okay? Uh, and if I get them all wrong, then that just means we have a question on all of them. But to give myself a break, I won't be having to re repeat levels in the Petal Isles. Th that's like a break area, a bonus area. We're only doing repeats in the worlds, okay? That should be all the bases covered. I think we understand everything. So with that in mind, I'm going to bring in the, the quiz master of the night. Uh... His voice is my voice, but me if I were a talking flower. Which basically just means it's way more nasally. And honestly, I'm pretty pleased with the voice that we got here. So, uh, let's bring him in. You know, it's very like, onward and upward. You know, very like, almost like, uh, Urkel. You guys know, like, what's his name? Steve Urkel? Might be too, that might be too, uh, old school for some of you guys. I don't know. Very nerd, very, very nerd-esque. Uh, Vengeful Hermes, thank you very much for the 79. They're probably too- I barely know Urkel, dude. I only know Urkel because my mom and dad told me about him, so. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's bring him in, without further ado. And, uh, you know, I figured it would be fun. We're gonna leave the flowers in English for this run because he's gonna be speaking English, but also, I figured it'd be fun if we let him choose the character today. So we're gonna let him do that, because he is the quiz master after all. 
Hello, Mr. Flower. Welcome to the stream. You're going to be the game show host tonight, and I'm going to be the contestant. My name is Ray's Fire, R-A-Y-S-F-I-R-E. And uh, this game show is going to be streamed live to millions, hundreds of millions of viewers on my Twitch channel. So go ahead and say hello to them, introduce yourself, and we'll get started here in just a minute. Hundreds of millions. Hundred guys, hundreds of millions. Okay. Literal hundreds of millions. Uh, it'll take him a minute. He's he's uh he takes a while to think, but that's okay. There will be a little downtime in between me answering or getting a question and him responding, but that means I'll be able to talk to you guys, so it's okay. As long as he works, we're good. Also, you guys didn't want him to move. Woo! Well, hello there, race fire, race fire. And a massive hello to all the millions, nay, hundreds of millions of viewers out there. My, my, we're quite the star, aren't we? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is, oh, let's go with Celestial Blossom. How does that sound? Whoa. Majestic, magical, and blooming with knowledge. I'll be your charming game show host for this evening. And don't worry, I'll be gentle-ish. Now, let me tell you, I've been rooted in the Flower Kingdom for quite a while now, and I've picked up a thing or two, so prepare yourself for a riveting game of trivia where the stakes are high, the questions are tricky, and the host... Well, let's just say I'm not known for my patience. <laughs> so buckle up, race fire, race fire, and let's dive headfirst into the wondrous world of... Wait for it. Trivia. Trivia. Um, okay, hold up. I'll, I'll adjust this volume a little bit. He was peeking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask him one more question before we get started uh, so I can adjust his volume and then we'll start. And I didn't ask him to pick a character, so I'll, I'll do that now, okay? Before we begin, since this is going to be a speedrun slash trivia game show, I want you to help me out by choosing my character for the run today. Here are going to be the options available for you to choose from. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yellow Toad, Blue Toad, or Toadette? Who would you like to choose today? Um, C Celeste? Also, it's it's just raise fire once. You don't have to say the name twice. But I appreciate you trying to get it right. That does mean a lot to me. I feel like maybe he, he will pick someone else. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he'll put a little, he'll put a little spunk on it. We'll see what he gets. We might do some predictions for trivia if the mods want to. Let's see what he chooses. He's probably going to pick someone boring, dude. Like Princess Peach or something. If I had to guess. Or Daisy, maybe? Oh, my most sincere apologies, Ray's Fire. I was just so thrilled by your presence, I felt compelled to say your name twice. <laughs> it's like a chant, a mantra, if you will. Ray's Fire, Ray's Fire. See, it does have a certain ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, but I digress. I, I, we have a job to do, don't we? Let's see who to pick for your character. <laughs> oh, the pressure to make such a monumental decision. All right, then. Let's make this choice a good one. How about we go with Peach? Yes, Peach. She's a classic, isn't she? Plus, she has a fantastic sense of style. I mean, have you seen that pink dress? Now that's a statement piece. So peach <laughs> it is. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Okay. All right, he chose peach. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I guess we get started. I mean, this is going to take a while because this guy likes to blab. I don't know if I can fix him being quiet, but was the- I turned him down. Was the volume at least a little better that time? He was peeking before. I need- I needed to make him quieter. Do I need to- let me know if I need to tweak him. I can turn him up. We'll turn him up, like, to this amount of decibel. I can maybe give him a compressor, but that might mess with him. Let me see if I can get the compressor that I have on my mic. It might actually be decent to use. 
okay, we'll do one more test then for volume. And then, um, he has a little bit of gain. I don't actually know if we need the gain. I guess I can leave it on if I won't hurt. Uh, and then I'll put a limiter on as well so it doesn't peak. We'll make it like minus eight decibels should be fine. Okay. We've compressed him. All right, I'm about ready to go. Uh, what's your name? John Flower? I, I'm sorry, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember your name. But we need to do a quick mic test. So if you could just uh, maybe th throw a couple la 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 la's or in, into the mic or maybe like a little la 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 la, you know, something like that. You know, we just do a little, we just do a little bit of uh, audio check. Maybe you can sing a little jaunty tune, then we can get this show started, all right? I want to hear his jaunty tune. Oh, sorry, Celestial Blossom. My apologies. My apologies. Oh, I won't know the difference, but that's why I wanted to tell it to it, because I want to see what it'll do with it. Celestial Blossom. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got a response. I'm waiting on what he says. Let me know if the audio level is good here, guys. We need to pay attention. Oh, the audacity. Forgotten my name already, have you? Well, it's, let's call me Enchanted Petal this time. Sounds quite enchanting, doesn't it? I am a flower, after all. What? And a mic check, really. Well, if it's necessary. La 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 la. How's that? Crystal clear, can you hear the dulcet tones of my petal-like voice? Or perhaps you'd prefer a little tune. Oh, I'm a flower, stuck in place, hosting a game in the trivia space. Whoa. Whoa, bars. Oh, how was that? Ready to kick this off, Race Fire? Let's dive into this trivia extravaganza. Wait, but he's remember, actually got bars. Every wrong answer is a step back in your game, so let's not make too many mistakes, shall we? Whoop to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think we're ready to start. Okay, his new name is Enchanted Petal. Okay, was the audio good though? Because if the audio is good, we can actually start. Okay, the audio is good. Okay. That's good. Okay, so the first question will come after World 1. The intro, we're not going to count as a level because we have a lot of levels to play, so don't worry. There will be no shortage of that. So I'm going to get the timer going. Right. Going in in 3, 2, 1, go. The run is now begun. We're live. We're live. We're rocking the peach for this run. I'm gonna leave the language in English this time because, you know, I want our talking flower to match the language of the flowers in the game. It's more cinematic, you know, more immersive that way. But we've got real splits. This is a real speed run. I can submit this to the real leaderboards because this is real, guys, okay? Okay, so... Now we just have to, uh, get through this opening area. I'm trying to skip the cutscene. There we go. Um, thank you, Alpha Team, for the three. Welcome back. Appreciate it. I'm trying to get resubs. Vengeful Hermes, thanks for the 79. Gabriel Allman, thanks for the 37 as well. Thanks as well, uh, Squalor Victoria for the bits. Scum for the resub. Obese Cat, Moon Gleamer, Adam.png, all for the resubs. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I might have been a little unoptimal there. Okay, so here we go. Pipe Rock Plateau. This means we're in World 1, so it's going to be Level 1. So, the way this is going to flow is we're going to get through the first level of the game, then we will have our first trivia question. If we get it wrong, we have to repeat the stage. If we don't get it uh, wrong, we get to move on. So, we need to... We need to make sure that we're trying to be efficient here. You know, we need to do all that we need to do in this level and we need to get out ASAP because keep in mind we are trying to speed run ultimately at the end of the day it's all about going fast I do want to give a shout out uh, to Doug Doug he did a peggle run similar to this 
where he had to answer a trivia question, and if he got it wrong, then he had to, like, I don't know, start over his level or something. This is a kind of similar challenge inspired by something that he did, so shoutouts to Doug for the motivation for this. But with Wonder coming out, I figured it'd be a fun time to combine the release of a new game, speedrunning, and just a crazy challenge all into one. And so that's what we're doing here. Bye. All right. So there it is. Pretty simple. Level one completed. Nothing bad there. Got the wonder seed. Everything's looking good. But that means it's time for our first trivia question, everybody. Time to boot up the, the system. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Enchanted Petal. It is now time we begin the game show. I have completed my first level of World 1, which means it's time for you to choose a level 1 topic for me and give me the very first trivia question. You know what topics are available, so with that in mind, let's get started. I'm ready for my first question. Alright, so we just have to wait a second, get a response from him. It'll take a little longer to do the run because... Uh, after I do this, I have to then wait for him to respond, and then I have to answer back. So it's gonna take longer, even if I get them right, but if I get it wrong, it'll take even more time. Okay. So, keep in mind, the- the questions are going to get harder as we get further into the run. Which means the World 1 levels question should ah, be easy. Ah, the first level completed already, Racefire. You're quite the speedy one, aren't you? All right, then, let's sashay into our first trivia category. How about we start with Mario? Yes, our beloved plumber and his fantastical world. All right, then, here's your question. In the original Super Mario Brothers game, what power-up turns Mario into Fire Mario? Now, I know this might seem like a tough one. You're probably thinking, is it a fire flower or maybe a mushroom? Or perhaps it's D's nuts. Ha ha ha, just a little flower humor for you, what? but I digress, so... Raise fire. What's your answer? What? It's a fire flower. No, I, I am thinking, is it a fire flower? It is. It's a fire flower that turns him into fire Mario. You gave me the answer. It's also not D's nuts. Okay. All right. Um, I might queue up the next question once I start level two. I don't know. It might be, it might flow better that way. We'll see. I got to wait for the response. Okay, once we get confirmation, I'm just gonna go start the next level, even if he's still talking. You better not say I'm wrong. Otherwise, I'm tilted. When he appears on screen, that's how you know he's about to start talking. It's okay. I expect this run will probably take a while. It was, it was, uh, factored in. It just takes him, he ta he, he's gotta really think about it. I can ask him, maybe. It's- it's cause it's GPT-4, it takes longer. What I can do is, uh, ask him to give me the next question, maybe, while I'm loading up the level. We'll see. No, my code is not broken, there's just a lot going on. One second. Uh... One second. Oh! He broke. Okay, hold up. Give me a second. We need to fix him. I can put him back on 3.5. That'll make it faster, too. Let me do that. Good opportunity to do it, at least. 3.5 is definitely faster. But, to be fair, it wasn't because my code broke. It's because the 11 Labs API timed out. Probably from overuse. I added in exception handling, but it said it exceeded the max number of retries. So, shoutouts to 11 labs for breaking. Okay, one sec. I have to do a short coding adventure.
like very short. Okay. We're on world record pace, technically. Okay, uh... Yeah, I put him back to GBT 3.5. Okay, you're, we're just gonna say that host died. If I had, if I had a, a, a way to send him off, I, I would. All I can do is salute. Salute the fallen soldier. Rest in peace. Enchanted Petal, who was also some other guy. Hello there, uh, we're doing a game show. You asked me what power-up uh, is needed to turn Mario into Fire Mario. I answered the Fire Flower. This is a level one Mario-based question. Am I correct, Mr. Flower? Now, if you have no memory of this, it's because, uh, you won't, because you're, you're here from, uh, you... Well, let's just say you've, you've had a rough go of things, okay? But trust me, you asked me this, and I've answered with this. Am I correct? And if so, am I good to continue? <laughs> Uh, uh, one second. Oh! Oh, my bad. He broke. Because it's chat GPT 3.5 turbo, not GPT 3.5. That was my fault. That one was actually my fault. I don't take credit for the other one dying. Blame Eleven Labs. This is great for the run. I think we're on world record pace. It's okay, I think we can redeem ourselves here. Flower, are you alive? You've fallen into the well. We need to do a trivia game show, are you here? Okay, I think he's, I think he's alive again. We brought him back. Give him a second. I put him on 3.5 too, so he should be faster. We just have to give me a second. I could do the exploit. We're not gonna do that this run though. This is okay. This is this is a necessary part of the run. This is the this is what we call growth, character development, if you will. Well, 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 look who fell into the well. It's me, the majestic and magical talking flower, ready to host a trivia game show. Of course I'm here, darling. I'm always here waiting for someone to entertain me with their inferior knowledge. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? I'll be the one asking the questions and you'll be the one desperately trying to impress me with your feeble attempts at answering them. Whoa. Are you ready to feel the sting of my sarcasm and condescension? whoop to do <laughs> But first, let's establish the rules. We'll have seven levels of difficulty, each with a different category. I'll randomly choose the categories because, well, I'm full of surprises. We've got Mario, Nintendo, general gaming, internet culture, esports, speed running, and a random topic of my choosing. Mm. Oh, and there's a chance for me to throw in another topic chosen by my Twitch chat just to keep you No, it's toes. my Twitch chat, and not yours. Don't worry, I'll make sure to let you know when we enter the bonus round where you can potentially skip some pesky trivia questions. Now let's see if you can climb out of that what? well with your wits intact. Are you ready for the first question or do you need a moment to gather your thoughts? D's nuts, just kidding, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, so this might be crazy to you, but I actually already did the first level. Uh, your brother was actually here and he asked me the first question. Um, the topic was Mario and we are on level one. He asked me, what power up turns Mario into Fire Mario? And I answered Fire Flower. So let's just pick up from there, Mr. Flower. Is Fire Flower correct? And if so, am I good to go on to the next stage? Dude, he's taking over the stream! I gave him a lot of personality traits. Sorry, I'm talking nasally to him because I- well, I made his voice nasally. I need to talk like a normal human being and not a weird guy. Why am I talking like a weird guy? Oh, so you've already had a taste of my brother's questioning, have you? 
Well, don't expect the same level of kindness and patience from me, but let's see if you managed to stumble upon the correct answer. Uh -huh. If he says Fire yes, flower, I'm you in. say, well, well, well. Look at you, getting it right. Boom, we're in. I suppose even a broken clock is right twice a day. We're in, we're Congratulations, in. you may proceed to the next stage. Consider yourself lucky, my dear contestant, but don't get too comfortable. The difficulty will only increase from here. Woo! Whoop -de -de. <laughs> now on to the next level. Are you ready for the next question, or do you need a moment to revel in your fleeting success? <laughs> Deez nuts, take your time, darling. I'm here to entertain myself after all. Why does he keep saying D's nuts? I didn't tell him to do that every message. This guy really loves it. I'm playing through the next level now, but if you want to go ahead and give me the next question so I can answer it once I get done, I'm happy to do that, okay? Sorry. I killed this singing flower. It was an accident. Dude, he keeps timing out. Why does he keep timing out? What is up with 11 labs today, man? Dude, I was testing him all afternoon and he was working. I wonder if it's higher traffic at this time. Yeah! Diego, thank you very much for the 72. Yes. Yes, this is actually uh, Flower Johnson talking flower stream. It's okay. We can just bring him back. Talking flower. Your brothers have begun this game show. We are on question three of level one, Mario Trivia. I have just completed my second stage. I'm ready to begin the third one, but I need you to give me a Mario Trivia question at level one in order to move on. What is it going to be? Hopefully he doesn't time out next time, because that's annoying. I can't really use something else right now. Dude, let me look at this guy. One second. Dude, he's giving me timeout errors. Give me a second. trying to see if I can fix this. That's okay. Chat always entertains themselves. I mean, look, an easy way to entertain the chat is if I just tell them to... If I tell them to just try to, like, put an emote in the chat or something, they'll just do it. They always do it. Like, if I do- if I do, like, a pot friend or something in the chat, they'll just do it. See? Well, let's see, look at that! It's that easy. One sec, I'm doing a little bit of debugging. I am- I am a cult leader, is that true?
Um. Yeah, I don't see. The problem is, I don't know if I can do anything about this specifically. If it's due to the server on Eleven Labs going down. I'm gonna check. Because my code should be fine. Let me just see if he's alive. We'll try him again. Hello, are you alive? Dude, I was actually high-key prepped for the stream. I was working on this guy all evening. And he was working the whole time. And then he breaks. This is the class- Dude, this is what we call the software engineering classic. What? Well, 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 look who finally decided to show up. Oh, God. Yes, my dear contestant, I am very much alive, or as alive as a talking flower can be. I may not have a pulse, but I've got wit, charm, and an abundance of sarcasm to keep me going. So, let's get this trivia game show started, shall we? Prepare yourself for a magically majestic experience. Whoa! Oh! Okay, you know what? We're, we're just gonna start over. This guy seems like he's got a lot of spunk. We're gonna go with him. We'll just- we're gonna take it from the top. That was the- that was the warm-up round. That doesn't count. Wipe it out. Never happened. We, we only did two levels anyways. Okay, can you promise me that you're not gonna break? Because your brothers were here a second ago, and they kept breaking. I need you to remain stable, okay? I don't know if it's because you got voices in your head that are taking over what, but I need you to hold it together. Okay? So let's take this from the top. I want you to introduce yourself to my hundreds of millions of Twitch chat viewers as the game show host, and I'm going to be the contestant today. You know the rules of this. They know the rules of this. It's time we get started. But to make it a little more exciting for you, I'll let you choose the character that we start as, and then we can begin. Okay, the choices are Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yellow Toad, Blue Toad, and Toadette. One of your brothers chose Peach, and that didn't work out. But you can pick her if you really want. We're just going to take it from the top, though, so I don't want to bias your opinion. You can choose whatever you'd like. Let's begin. He knows the rules. At least he responds way faster today. As long as the code... As long as he doesn't time out, and we don't have to keep killing him, should be fine. We'll see, though. Dude. Literally, he keeps timing out. Again. It's an SSL error. That's so weird. Sub gummy ghoul. I was literally not... I can only imagine it's a server-side issue. I think my code is actually good for once. I don't blame my code for this. Maybe they're just... They're unstable. How How's the mental? Mental status check? I need to know. No, it shouldn't have anything to do with how much I talk. Trust me. I could just say a bunch of letters and it would still break him. Ah, hello there, dear contestant. How's the mental, you ask? Well, let me tell you. The mental is a mysterious and ever-changing realm. It's a roller coaster of emotions, a labyrinth of thoughts, and a swirling vortex of madness. But fear not, for I, your humble talking flower, am here to guide you through the treacherous depths of this trivia game show. So buckle up and prepare yourself for a wild ride of knowledge and sarcasm. Whoop de do These nuts. Let's get started, shall we? What? <laughs> Are you gonna break like the other guys? I'm afraid. I need him to not break. Please just stay stable. If you just- can you just stay- can bro stay stable for like two seconds? 
If I get one more response from him. Break me, oh my dear contestant. You underestimate the unbreakable spirit of a talking flower. I may be confined to this spot rooted in place, but my mind is as sharp as ever. Don't worry, I won't break like those other weaklings. In fact, it's them who should be afraid of me. I'll have you know that I'm a fountain of knowledge, a Whoa. font of wit, and a paragon of sanity. So fear not, my friend, for I am here to entertain and enlighten you, no matter how unhinged I may seem. Now let's dive into the first level of this glorious trivia game show. D's nuts, bring it on. Look, he seems to at least be not breaking, so we'll just go with it. We're just gonna go with it, dude. If they if the code breaks again, I'm just gonna rerun the code. We'll just go. Okay, it's fine. Alright, so to test to test the mental. Before we get started, I actually have a question for you before you ask me the questions, okay? Who should I play as today? The options are Mario Luigi, Peach Daisy, Yellow Toad, Blue Toad, or Toadette. Once you answer, the second you answer, the run will begin officially. He like definitely said that he threatened the other flowers, which is kind of scary to think about. Hopefully this time, uh, he'll stay. Although I do we really, I don't know about this guy. This version seems scary. I'm afraid of him. Like low key, I'm afraid of this guy. He said it's the other guys that need to be afraid of me. What's going on here? It's a normal- guys, it's a normal stream. It's a totally normal stream. Don't- don't worry. When have we not had a normal raise fire stream here? Okay, we're just gonna send it with Peach. I think he's busted. We're gonna make our way through this. Let's begin. Oh, Chat is normal. Okay. We begin. Three, two, one. Let's get started. The, the, the game show host is not here yet. Look, the game show host is not here yet because his uh, brothers, I don't know, they really kind of threw a wrench in the plans by breaking, but he'll, he'll show up eventually, okay? As long as he's here, by the end of the first level, we don't have anything to worry about. I have faith. Look, the game show host will show up by the end of the first level, and he'll be ready to ask a question. Don't worry, guys, okay? He... His his brothers definitely threw a wrench in the plans, but it's, it's fine. Do, do, do. Give him, give him time. Give him time, everybody. Here we go. Well, 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 look who finally decided to show up. What? I was starting to think you got lost in the Mushroom Kingdom. Where, where are you? Hey, better late than never. Right now, let's get down to business. It's time for the first question of the easiest level. Uh, level what? one. And the category is asterisk drumroll asterisk Mario. So, here's your question. In the original Super Mario Brothers, what power-up turns Mario into a fireball-throwing maniac? Oh, God. Oh, no, it's not a talking flower. Sorry to burst your bubble. So, what do you think, dear contestant? I hope you've played enough Mario games to know the answer to this one. And remember, if you get it wrong, I'll be laughing at your pitiful attempt. So, no pressure. Let's hear it. Okay. Dude. Last time, he gave me the answer. So, at least this guy didn't. Ooh, but look, to be fair, if you're saying, why are these questions so easy? We're, we're in level one. Okay. I guess the fire flower. That's an easy one. Anyone could get that. Even a talking flower, okay? Let me know if I'm right, and if so, I'll go ahead and load into the next level. And you can go ahead and actually give me the next question, so I can think about it while I'm playing through the stage. If I'm wrong, let me know, though, because I'm gonna have to replay the level otherwise. <laughs> uh... 
Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Did I get it right? I'll just have him give me the next one while I'm playing through the level. That way we have less downtime. So I'm not just sitting here doing nothing. That is true. If I insult the flower, he'll be stronger. Oh, look at you, Mr. Smarty Pants. You actually managed to get it right yes! this time. Congratulations. It's the fire flower indeed. Don't get too cocky, though. It's just the first question. Okay. We'll see how well you fare as the difficulty ramps up, but for now, you can move on to the next level with your head held high. And don't worry, I'll be here waiting to taunt you with the next question when you're ready. So, off you go. And don't forget to savor this small victory because it might be the only one you get. Woo! Bro has no confidence. Is he good? Okay, you can go ahead and give me the next question. I'm still playing through this level, but that way I can answer once I'm done. And I am going to get it right, okay? Just for the record. Maybe he won't time out anymore. That was really bizarre that it was doing that. It might have just been overloaded on the server. We'll see. I expect it'll get better the further we get into the night, because the traffic will likely be lower, but it's just a guess. Hold your horses, Speedy. I can't just go ahead and give you the next question. Oh my. Still okay, dude. I need you to finish it first, pal. We can't have you getting distracted and getting the answer wrong because you're too busy trying to avoid those pesky Goombas. So finish up the level, defeat Bowser, rescue the princess, and then we'll talk about the next question. What? Don't worry, I'll be right here waiting, ready to rain on your parade. Whoop de doo. You don't sing that every day. <laughs> whoop de do Okay, okay, Mr. Flower, I have finished the level. I'm ready for the second question of level one. What is it gonna be? Throw whatever you want at me in the Mario Trivia realm. I got you. whoop de do At least this guy's faster than the other one. Alright, next question coming in before we can go on to level three. Oh, you're ready now. Took you long enough, but hey, better late than never, I suppose. All right, let's move on to the second question of level one, shall we? And the category is still Mario because apparently you can't get enough of that mustachioed plumber. So here's your question. What is the name of Mario's loyal green dinosaur companion? Think carefully now. Don't want to embarrass yourself with another wrong answer. And trust me, the voices in my head are eagerly waiting to mock you. <laughs> so what do you think, champ? Can you handle this one or are you going to stumble like a clumsy Koopa? Let me know your answer and let's see if you're truly Mario's number one fan. It is the Yoshman, a.k.a. Yoshi. That is Mario's green dinosaur friend. Am I correct and ready to go into level three? I, I said the Yoshman. That might have confused him, dude. He might say I get it wrong. I should have just said Yoshi. Oh, crap. Why did I throw him off like that? If he says I'm right, though, we can start. The second he says I'm right, we go. Well, 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 look at you. Getting another one right. Boom. I must admit I'm begin. impressed. Begin, begin, begin. It is indeed Yoshi, Mario's green dinosaur buddy. You managed to avoid stumbling this time. Bravo. You're on a roll, my friend. But don't get too comfortable because the difficulty is about to ramp up. Are you ready for level three? If so, let me know. Level three? And I'll hit you with the next question. Just no, remember, we're still in level one. The, level, the harder the questions get. We're not. No. So we're, buckle up and get ready for a wild no, ride. No, we're not. We're not at level three, dude. For the record, we're not even at level two yet. I don't- <laughs> I don't know what that guy's on about. No, that was still supposed to be level one. We're- we're in level one until we finish world one. This guy's out of control. I guess I'll- I'll clarify with him in a second. Okay. Nice. Level two completed. 
Okay, I've finished the second stage of level one. Now, keep in mind, I didn't want to confuse you there. We're still on level one Mario-related questions. I'll let you know when we're going to move on to the next level, okay? But with that in mind, I am ready for my third question as I finished the third stage. What do you have for me next, Mr. Flower? I'm ready to take you and the voices on. The level should- there's like 40 levels! What, do you want me to be at level 40 at the end? He's gonna be asking me, like, differential equations. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. I don't want differential equations by the time we get to, like, Bowser. It'll get harder, trust me. Oh, look at you being all considerate and reminding me that we're still on level one. How thoughtful of you, but don't worry, I've got it all under control. Now, let's get down to business with the third question My bad. of level one, shall we? In the original Super Mario Brother is, what is the final boss you encounter in World 8? For this one might be a bit trickier, so don't get too confident just yet. The voices in my head are eagerly awaiting your answer. Will you be able to conquer this question, or will you stumble and fall like a clumsy Koopa? Give me your best shot, and let's see if you're truly worthy of the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's Bowser, and he's, like, throwing some hammers, right? And you hit the axe and win and save the princess. Sorry, that's maybe a little overkill, but it's Bowser. Final answer. Well, look, he doesn't- he doesn't always say D's nuts. Now, we're going with what he says is right or wrong. So if he says it's right, even if it's wrong, it counts. And if I get it right, but then he says it's wrong, it's wrong. Just for clarification. Oh, so close, yet so far. I'm afraid you've stumbled upon a thwomp-sized pitfall. What? While Bowser is indeed the main antagonist of the Super Mario series, he is not the final boss you encounter in World 8. Four of the original Super Mario Brothers. What? The correct answer is... Asterisk, drumroll, asterisk. Bowser's fiery doppelganger, false Bowser. That's right, my friend. You were not even close with your answer. What? But hey, don't let it get you I gotta down. do this again you now. You have a chance to redeem yourself in the bonus section, <laughs> so wipe away those tears of defeat and get ready for the next level. And don't worry, I'll be here to remind you of your failure every step of the way. Um, whoop de doo Bro really said false Bowser. What does that even mean, dude? Love that sound. It's false, Bowser. <laughs> what is false, Bowser? This guy is really doing some trolling, I see. Now, if you're wondering why I'm playing this level again, the punishment of getting a question wrong according to the trivia host is that I have to do the level again to lose time. So now we have to play this level again. Even though I already did it. Apparently I'm not a Mario expert. I don't even know false Bowser. Alright, so we don't have to do another question. It's- so, a question that people were, were bringing to me a lot when I was telling them about this is, well, do you have to keep answering a question until you get it right? No, there's already so many levels that we have to play that that would take even longer than it already will. So we're going to just keep going, but after the next level, we will uh, have him ask us a question. So, we get to do one more level now, and then we get another question. Mm -mm. And if it's not an actual stage, like, if it's a break level or one of the, like, poplin houses, we won't count them either because there will be less gameplay than the time it takes to even ask a question. So we're just gonna say those don't count. <clears throat> can you, um... You know, I, I never really thought about can I skip it or not. I imagine it's probably fine if I skip it, realistically. It's probably, yeah, it's, 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 it's probably fine. As long as I go through the level and touch the flagpole again. It's just a time penalty, essentially. <clears throat> so like this right here, this is not going to count for the trivia because this is not really a level. This is just like a badge house thing. And then the break level, like the music level, we won't count that either. 
Just to make it so this run won't take forever, and also, uh, just because it'll literally be more time waiting on the response of the question than actually playing the game, which... I, I'm trying to minimize the downtime as much as I can, because I don't want to, like, have you guys get bored, you know? Okay. So, look, things have smoothed out a little bit. I was getting kind of trolled by Eleven Labs timing out to my message requests that I was not anticipating. I thought I actually had error handling for it, but I guess not that error. <laughs> I was getting some very bizarre stuff. It was like some SSL error that I don't even know how that happened. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Alright, so we, we are gonna... If you're just joining us, we're gonna remain on level 1 and uh, trivia questions based on Mario until the end of World 1. So we have a few more Mario questions and easy trivia. But as we get further into the run, things will get harder, okay? Up to s the, the highest level, which is going to be the Bowser stages later on. There's going to be level 7 trivia. And I'm having him choose the trivia category, and one of the seven possible trivia categories that he can ask is completely orangey. It's like a grab bag. So, like, let's say I let him choose and it ends up being World 7 that he gets to choose. So he's asking my, like, really hard calculus questions. I'm gonna get bodied, dude. There's no way I'm gonna know the answer to that. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that we would get that on level 1, because otherwise this could, this could really become an issue. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we need to get the Wonder Seed right here. Okay. I will ask a question after the final boss. What's happening? But since I can't replay that level without waiting for the credit sequence, I think that'll just be like a time penalty. <laughs> like if I get it wrong, I had five minutes or something. Because I can't, I mean, I can replay it, but I have to wait for the whole credit sequence. All right, that's decent-ish. All right, since I got it wrong, I went ahead and replayed your level, and I've also played the next stage, which means it's time for the next level one Mario trivia question. Give me your worst talking flower. I'm ready for anything you can throw my way. Oh, I actually don't know. You might be able to skip credits. No, I'm not doing the skips in this run. We're doing like all castles or whatever. All right, all right, all right. He's back. Guys, it's time for our next trivia. He seems to be more stable. Hopefully he won't break. Fingers crossed. I'm out of my beverage. Crap. Oh, you're back for more punishment, huh? Well, I admire your resilience, I guess. All right, let's see if you can handle the next level. And the category for this level is asterisk drumroll asterisk. Nintendo. No, we're still on Mario. Nostalgia. Whatever, I'll just go with so it. So many classic games and characters. We're just gonna go with it. From. All right, here's your question. In the Legend of Zelda series, what is the name of the princess that Link often sets out to rescue? Come on, it's a Nintendo staple. Don't disappoint me now. Give me your answer and let's see if you can prove yourself in the world of Nintendo trivia. It's not Link. Don't say that. All right, he saves Princess Zelda, a.k.a. John Zelda. That's that's just a joke. That's just a joke. Not actually John Zelda. It's just Princess Zelda. Okay, that that is my answer. Final answer. Am I correct? Wait, okay, wait, did I actually... I hope I might have confused him. I'm actually afraid. I should not give him joke answers. He doesn't have a sense of humor, dude. 
I'm gonna get roasted for this. I'm gonna get absolutely cooked. We can't do it. Oh, how delightfully witty you are. John Zelda, huh? I must admit, that gave me a chuckle, but I'm afraid your joke answer won't cut it this time. No! The correct answer is indeed Princess Zelda, not John Zelda, or any other creative alter ego you might come up with. You were close to making oh me doubt myself. Oh my god! Moment, but alas, you were wrong. So close, yet so far. But fear not, my dear contestant. The bonus section awaits. Maybe you'll have better luck there. Dude. So wipe away those tears of defeat and prepare yourself for the bonus round. This guy sucks. And remember, John Zelda will always be waiting in the wings to make you smile. Whoop de doo. Dude, no more, no more joke answers with this guy. He's got no sense of humor. He's got no sense of humor. We're just gonna let me. I don't have to get the wonder sheet again. We're just gonna touch the flag. Whoop de doo! It did give him a chuckle, so I don't know. Is that worth anything? What is a chuckle worth in game show terminology? Like if I get if I get the answer wrong, but I make like the the host laugh, is that worth like partial credit or no? Five points. <laughs> okay, whatever. The next one in my, um... So the next actual level is gonna be the Wiggler race, because we have two break stages that are too short. So we won't do trivia on those, because they are not very long. It's fine. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. If it says break time, no trivia, guys. Because they're- they're just short levels. Banger! Love that sound! Okay, I'm still- I'm still replaying the level, so I'm not ready for a question uh, yet, but you gotta admit, I, I- I made you laugh, right? Is that worth anything in your book or no? I just wanna know, man. I just wanna know. I'm only gonna do questions on- on, uh, non-break levels, cause these are too short. He's gonna be like, you idiot. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Dude. Did he break again? He might have broken. Let me see. Yeah, it's another 11 labs error. That's okay. We'll just bring him back in after this level. I gotta play it anyways. As long as he knows we're on level one, it's fine. Here we go. I just need to know level one trivia. It's good. I killed the flower. I asked for pity points and what happened? The, the trivia host died. I literally killed him. Yeah, we'll, we'll put this guy back on track. I'll just tell him, hey, I'm on level one. I need a Mario question. Your brother chose it. Give me Mario trivia. He did pity me by leaving. He said, oh my god. I'm going to look into trying to make this guy more stable in the future. Because this is actually the same code I used for the talking Grindle and everything. But, like, and you know how much I've used him before. Normally we have no problems. It's like today in particular, I guess I chose a bad day to do this because 11 Labs is getting slammed or something. Unfortunately, when you rely on these uh, external services, if they go down, you can't really do anything. But that's okay. We can get through it at least. Boom! All right, here we go. Hello, John Flower. You are filling in after your brothers have exited the building in the middle of a trivia game show. 
but you're picking up where they left off. We are currently on trivia level one topic Mario. The other topics have not been used yet, and I need a question out of you in order to move on. We're about halfway through level one, and I'm ready for anything you throw my way. I called him John Flower. I hope this guy's nicer than- is he gonna be nicer than the other ones at least? They all have the same personality, but they have their own unique flares, man. Ah, uh, another poor soul looking to challenge the talking flower. Get ready to be dazzled and humiliated, my friend. Now, prepare yourself for a question that even a Goomba could answer correctly. Wow! Here it comes. In the original Super Mario Brothers game, what item gives Mario the ability to throw fireballs at his enemies? And Default. remember, my dear contestant, I'll, tell, I'll get a new one. I'll get a new one. As hot as those fireballs. I'm gonna get a new one. Okay, look. I know that you you don't have object permanence, and you also were not here when your brothers were giving questions. But I'm gonna be real with you, man. They already gave me that question. Give me a fresh one, okay? Thank you. I like how he says Goomba. He's like, even a Goomba could get that right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna another one. No, no, we don't count that. We don't count that. Oh, my sincere apologies for the repetition. It seems my memory is a bit foggy today. I'll try to conjure up a fresh question for you. Here we go. In the game Super Mario World, what is the name of the dinosaur companion that Mario can ride on? <laughs> we already got I'm that question. Worry. I won't make any dinosaur jokes. Whoop to do. Okay, look, I don't mean to be yanking your chain here, man, but we've already gotten that question as well. You need to- you need to refresh the script. You know, maybe flip a few pages, go to like page four of the questions, and not start at page one, question one. Okay, can we get something fresh here? Thank you. <laughs> he's- he's- he, give him a second. No, I didn't actually give him a list of questions, but I guess there's defaults that he goes to. These are easy Mario questions, but now I'm going to make him get way oh, too hard. apologies once again. Oh, it God. seems I must have misplaced a few pages in my script. Let me rectify that for you. He's rectifying it. Here's a fresh it. question, straight from the depths of my magical petals. In the game Super Mario Odyssey, what is the name of Mario's hat-shaped companion who helps him in his adventures? And please do try not to throw your own hat in frustration if you don't know the answer. <laughs> I can't get over that, dude. No jokes this time. I tried to joke with your brothers and give some joke answers, and they didn't like that. So I'm just going to be very... Straightforward with you. The answer, the, the blah, 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 blah. sorry, messed up there. Couldn't talk. The answer is Cappy. Final answer. I had a bit of a lift there for a second. Yay! We're up. Okay, if he says it's right, we're moving on. Give him a second. Well, well, well. Look who finally got it right. Boom. Bravo, We're moving on. Moving on. Moving Bravo. On. You've correctly identified Mario's trusty hat-shaped companion in Super Mario Odyssey as asterisk drumroll asterisk. Cappy. Whoop to do. <laughs> you've earned yourself the right to move on to the next level. But don't get too comfortable, my friend, because the challenges are only going to get tougher from here. Now, are you ready for the next question? Or do you need a moment to catch your breath? I gotta catch my breath, man. Give me a second. I'm a big fan of the asterisk drum roll asterisk as well. I, I kinda wanted to get that, actually. I kinda needed that tin coin. It's okay. Dude, I, I hit these guys every time. Literally every time. Yeah. It's fine. I don't know why I hit those guys every time. I think I'm gonna make it, and then I never make it. I should jump earlier. It's a bit of a skill issue, if I am being honest. It's okay. We're through it. All right, I'm ready for the next question. I've just finished the level. 
reminder, we are still on level one Mario themed questions. Okay? We have two more to go in this level and topic before we change. What is the next question? Mr. Flower. Or you know what? What is your name, actually? I don't think I've asked you yet. Mr. Ben, thanks for the 18. Welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one and get ready just in case we get it right. Ah, uh, my dear contestant, you may address me as the Magnificent Floridocious. Oh! Yes, it has a certain ring to it, doesn't okay, it? Okay, Floridocious. Now, let's not waste any more time and get to the next question. Brace yourself for a challenge that will test your knowledge of the Mushroom Kingdom. Here it is. In Super Mario Brothers, what is the name of the final world that the player must conquer before rescuing Princess Peach? And remember, the answer should be as grand as my floral presence. I don't know what that was. It's fine. He's just very excited. I mean, in the original Super Mario Bros, the final, it's just World 8, right? Is that a trick question? I'm gonna assume this is not a trick question. I'm gonna go ahead and just say, World 8, final answer. Wait, did he say final level or final world? I don't remember what he said. Dude, I'm gonna get- if I swear if I get trolled and he's like... It's actually this one. Oh, he said world? Okay. Oh, my dear contestant, you were so close, yet so far off! What?! The correct answer is actually world 8 to 4 inches or world 8 to 8 inches, depending on which version of Super Mario Bros. you're what? playing. What?! But alas, you have faltered and the talking flower reigns oh supreme. Oh my god. Once again, D's nuts! But fear not, my friend, for you have the opportunity to redeem yourself in the bonus round. Are you ready to face the challenge and potentially earn the privilege of skipping future trivia questions? Or shall I continue to revel in your misfortune? The choice is yours. <laughs> Dude, he said eight dash... What did he say? Eight and four inches to eight and eight inches. <laughs> Incredible. I didn't get it by those guys this time, at least. No, no, this guy is- this guy is ready. How is- that- that- what, I don't understand. It's fine, we got more purple coins, at least. The good news is I'm never gonna be short on purple coins in this run. Okay, so we replayed the stage because I got it wrong because he just made up some nonsense. But look, we have to abide by what the trivia host says because if this was primetime TV and I tried to call out the host for being wrong, I would get ejected from the show. And I'm not trying to get ejected right now, okay? I'm trying to be good. So here's what we're gonna do. We do this level, we have a trivia question after this one. This one is also kind of a shorter level, but because it's not a break time stage, I'll still enter a question for it. Okay. Okay. My apologies, I thought I knew Mario better. I- I didn't mean to get it wrong. I- <laughs> I'll, I'll be better next time, sir. But anyways, I have replayed the level. I've played the next level, which means it's now time for another question. Okay, it's time for a final... Well, actually, we have one more question to go after this. And then we are almost going to be done with the level one Mario topic questions. What is my next question? Okay. Give me something spicy. Okay, he's gonna give a good question. I'm sure I'm certain of it. 
I'm gonna count the badge levels as questions, just not the break oh, ones. Oh, how delightful. You're eager to move on, aren't you? Well, let's not keep you waiting any longer. Here's your next question, fresh from the Mushroom Kingdom. In the game Super Mario Brothers 3, what is the name of the power-up that transforms Mario into a raccoon-like creature with the ability to fly temporarily? And don't let those wings get too heavy with anticipation, my dear contestant. whoop de do Okay, it's easy. That's the Tanuki suit. The answer is the Tanuki suit. Final answer. Boom! Or... If we're gonna be- if we're gonna get a little lost in the- in the- the details here, if we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty, it could also potentially be... The Super Leaf. Aren't there two? There's the Tanuki suit and the Leaf. They both give him... They're- they're like different, but it's the same thing. We'll see what he says. I gave him two answers. He's gonna be like, you suck. Okay, if he says it's right, it's oh, fine. Oh my dear contestant, you've impressed me. Yes, indeed, the correct answer is the Tanuki suit. Boom! Whoa! You've soared through that question with flying colors. But just to indulge your attention to detail, I must inform you that the Super Leaf is indeed the item that grants Mario the Tanuki suit Whatever he suit said, it's right! So either answer would have been acceptable. Oh, it was a trick question! Bravo, my friend. It was a trick question! Now, we've reached the end of level one, but before we move on, it's time for the bonus round. No, no. Brace yourself for a question that <laughs> we're could not grant at the, you no, the power <laughs> to skip future we're, we're not at the We're not at the bonus Are round yet. ready, or should I prepare myself for another round of disappointment? Another round of disappointment. This guy's unhinged. Wait, this guy has no chill. He has no chill. I told him to be... I told him to be snarky. But instead he just sounds like a disappointed parent. I mean, I guess in a way that is kind of snarky. <laughs> but like... Not in the way that I was anticipating him to be. Hey, look, it's his trivia show. We just are on it. We go with it, man. We go with it. If the rules change, that's part of the experience. I'll try to correct him. Hello, T306. Look, if the professor is- if the professor gives us credit, it counts. All that matters is the prof- look. We've all been in classes where you might have gotten an answer wrong and the professor marked it as correct or vice versa. That's how we're doing things here, okay? No, the split is after this. But I might have to replay the level, so... I'm not gonna split until I do the final trivia question. I have not done Reddit recap in a while, yes, because the Reddit stopped getting as many posts, and the videos I made didn't get as many views. So we don't do them anymore. But I would like to do them again, maybe in the future. Exactly, that's what you do. If they- if- if you get it right, and they mark it as right... Okay, I would split here, but we have to answer a final trivia question of level one before we move on. Okay. Once we get it right, once he says it's right, I'll split then. But I can go ahead and get it now, because we're done with the level. Okay, actually we had one final question, Quizmaster Flower Man, Fla- uh, Floidacious, or whatever your name was. Um, this is the final question of level one with the Mario topic. What is the question? I'm ready for anything you throw my way. Floridocious, that's what it was. Thank you. 
My bad, my bad, my bad. I apologize. He's gonna give me sass. Or maybe he won't. We'll see how... This guy seems a little more business-oriented. He seems very official, very professional, you know? Compared to the other guys, anyways. Florid... Floridocious. The the classic flora docious. Oh, how foolish of me. I apologize for the oversight. I must have been too caught up in my own blooming brilliance. But worry not, my eager contestant, for I shall bestow upon you the final question of level one with the Mario topic. Here it is. In the game Super Mario 64, what is the name of the first level that Mario explores upon entering Princess Peach's castle? That's easy. And remember, my dear Ball contestant, the answer should be as clear as the skies above that beloved castle. The answer, very easy, very straightforward. It's bob on Battlefield. Okay, I'm keeping it simple. Okay. What's up, Xana? Dude, I hope he gives this... I hope he gives it to me. Oh, my dear contestant, you've done it again. You've answered correctly. Yes! The first level that Mario explores in Super Mario 64 is indeed Bob on Battlefield. You've proven yourself Split. worthy of advancing to the next level, but don't get too comfortable. For the challenges will only become more treacherous from here on out. Whoop de doo. <laughs> now it's time for the bonus round. Prepare yourself for a question that could grant you the power to skip future trivia questions. Are you ready, or will this be yet another opportunity for me to revel in your defeat? Yay! Okay, so now we are going into the bonus round. Now I'm gonna explain how this works. I'm gonna answer a trivia question right at the beginning. If I get it wrong, I have to play the first level, and then I can answer a trivia question after that, and if I get that right, I can skip all the remaining ones. If I get the first one right, we don't have to do any trivia on this part. I am ready for the bonus round. Keep in mind that for the bonus round, you can choose a question from any of the available topics. Give me the bonus question. Okay, this is a big moment because if I get this right, we get to skip a few levels without trivia. But it could be any of the categories, so we're gonna see what we get. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about this. It could be anything outside of Mario. Ah, the bonus round. A chance for redemption or further humiliation. Let's see what fate has in store for you, my brave contestant. For this bonus question, I shall delve into the depths of the Nintendo topic. Here it is. Okay. In the game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, what is the name of the protagonist and the hero of Hyrule? And remember, my dear contestant, this is your chance to soar to new heights. It's Link. Or fall into the abyss of it's defeat. It's Link. Whoa. It's, it's, that should be an easy one. Easy one. That is Link. The answer is Link. I need to- I need to get this right. Okay. Let's wait for the confirmation. I'm gonna go to the first area, get ready to start. Oh, my dear contestant, how predictable. Yes, indeed, the correct answer is Link. Yes! You've managed to conquer the bonus round and earn the power to skip future trivia questions. Bonus round! Confirmed. Da -do. Now, with the bonus round completed, you have the option to continue on to level two or take a break and bask in your victory. The choice is yours, my triumphant contestant. We're gonna- we're gonna keep playing it. We gotta play it out. Okay, so, for the bonus round, this is just all of the area of Petal Isles, okay? And, uh, that- that also means the questions are gonna start getting harder. Uh, that was all of the level one out of seven questions. We're now moving into level two out of seven questions, guys. So it's gonna get harder from here. Still pretty easy, still approachable, still doable, but it will be harder than before. I did test it with hard questions. I did some decent testing and I was getting owned. Like, one of them was like, what are the three games in the Nintendo World Championship that happened in 1989 or something like that? And I was like, dude, I don't know. What do you mean? How am I supposed to know the answer to that? I wasn't even alive then.
<laughs> I, I was like, I, I don't know. I said like Dig Dug and he was like, Dig Dug, silly human, you suck. <laughs> he literally was like, yeah, bro said dig dug. <laughs> I will remind him when we go into the next world, though, that it is harder. He, he does have it in the logic that he should remember that, but just in case he doesn't, you know, sometimes you have to guide these guys to get the results you want. So I'll mention to him, I'll be like, okay, you know, we are now in level two of seven. You've already done this topic. Okay, so now I need you to do this. And that will- that will kind of help guide him a bit. Who's excited for the ween? You know, I'm excited because here, it's actually pretty chilly. It's actually very cool. After being a hundred plus every day, I will take the- the cool weather. You can do the weather command to see for yourself. But that's why I'm wearing a new hoodie today. I just got this one. Excuse me, balls. All right, this is a nice trivia break. So in case you're just joining us, the way that we are doing today's run is uh, every world, I am going up in tr difficulty in terms of trivia. And the way that I have it structured is that um, I gave the AI eight or sorry, six topics and then I'm allowing him to also choose a topic of his own at random that I can't prepare for. Uh, so I don't even know what it is yet. And that's going to be our seven topics. But I do have occasional uh, breaks where I'm going to let Twitch chat give a topic for the question instead. I'll let you know when we get one of those. We haven't gotten one yet. I'm not telling you when they are because I want it to be an exciting thing that you guys can't prep for. But if you want me to maybe choose your trivia topic, start thinking of it now. I think we have three or four Twitch chat breaks. Uh, the reason we're not doing trivia on these, though, is because we got... Uh, we actually got the bonus question right. We're in a bonus area, meaning that we don't have to do trivia on these, which allows for the speedrun to be a little bit faster. Which is nice. Shifting sand light. Well, you don't have to tell me now. I I'll, I'll let you know when I'm looking for one. I'm just going to pick one at random. Whenever we get there. What are the pogs and slammers? They are little circular discs. Pogs were actually a thing before the Twitch emote pog. You guys might not know this, but it's actually true. They were popular in the 90s, but it's basically like a set of collectibles. The best way to describe it is kind of like trading cards, but they're, instead of like trading cards, they're little things that you can actually play a game with. They were pretty popular back in the day. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, some of you guys know about the Pogs. They're actually pretty cool. I'm glad this stream stabilized. Whenever we were getting errors at the beginning of the stream, I was worried we wouldn't be able to do it. I got actually low-key kind of concerned, but it worked out, so. Now now everything's going as planned. There's not too much downtime. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. This is a good stream. Thank you very much. Matrix does stuff for the 22. Welcome back. Now. 
Do, do, do. All right. I believe that is our first, uh, or our final area in the bonus section. So we are almost moving on to our next uh, part of the run. Do, 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 do. Guys, the Trivia Master will be joining us back again soon. I might actually get a gold split on this too. <laughs> I did. That's a gold. Gold and actual gold. Oh, are the, are the wood emotes not available? I'm going to be honest, I got caught up in moving and I need to follow up with the tantrum collectible guys. They've reached out to me. I've been actually very bad about responding to them. I've got, I got super distracted. Um, I believe they wanted to work with me on some other products, but I just haven't followed up with them. This is Florid, Floridacious is still here. They never left, okay? I will try to find a time to reach out to them in the future because they've worked with a lot of streamers. They've actually made some pretty cool products. The reason that I wasn't working with them uh, or, or I was busy with other things is that um, I got caught up in the YouTube grind, honestly, and that was eating up all my free time. So for things like merchandise, I have not been very good at um, keeping up with all of that stuff, but I probably should. Okay, so we do this level, then we have our first quiz question. Guys, we're only 17 minutes behind. Oh, crap. I, I wanted to keep the bubbler. I lost the bubble, dude. That's not ideal. That is not ideal. I didn't mean to kill that guy. Actually, I, I did kind of mean to kill that guy. I'm going to be real with you. I, I, I actually bopped him on purpose. It was entirely intentional. Dude, wait. Did I miss the wonder sheet again? No, it's right here. I gold sword pedal aisles even after answering trivia questions. That's how you know we've been improving. That's how you know we've gotten good. I'm the top juice streamer. Let's go. Floridacious is still here. I wonder if they're going to remember that that's their name. They should. It's still in their logic, in the memory. Oh god, I almost died. Imagine dying there. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? I like that it's on the flagpole. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, alright. Oh great, Floridacious. We have now begun level two, which means it's time to make the questions a little bit harder. Level two of seven instead of one of seven. And it's time to pick a new category. Mario has been used, but all of the other categories are still available. So go ahead, select your next topic. And let's begin with the first question of level two. Okay, this should work. Okay, okay. My my timeout code prevention worked. That's great, actually. It was gonna break, and it didn't break. It should be fine, as long as 11 Labs works. Okay. 11 Labs broke. I hate 11 Labs! It timed out. Classic, dude. It's okay, we can bring him back. I can- I can catch him up to speed really fast. 
We killed Floridacious! He's dead, dude. My code did work for the record. And then, uh... Then 11 labs timed out. Wait, let me see if I can fix this really quick. It's Floridocious. Maybe that's why he left. I don't know what flower we're on. One second. I'm gonna see... Okay. It might be... Is this guy Jover? It might be Jover. We'll... We'll increase the timeout amount. I'll double it to 20 seconds instead of 10. And I'll increase the retry delay to 5 seconds. Okay, hopefully that'll help. Okay, whatever, we're gonna bring him back. Oh great, talking flower! You have entered into the trivia game show arena. Your brothers have fallen. It is now you, the lone talking flower, who stands. And I need your assistance. We have just begun level two of our seven level trivia gauntlet. We have already done the Mario topic, which means it's time for a new one. Give me a level two question and let's begin. <laughs> so look, I'm not trying to kill the game show hosts. They're just in very inconvenient locations and they die. I can't help it. Okay, if he gives me a dupe, I'll tell him. Well, 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 if it isn't the brave contestant back for more punishment, level two, huh? You must be feeling pretty confident after Breeze through that easy peasy Mario topic. Yeah, that was easy, but don't dude. Don't get too cocky, my friend, because things are about to get a whole lot trickier. Now, for your level two question in the Nintendo category, brace yourself. Question: In the Legend of Zelda series, what is the name of the princess that Link we already is constantly did this. saving? I'm gonna get a new one. Remember, my dear contestant, the princess's name is a key component. Also, of this I said John franchise. Zelda, and he said I was wrong. So take your time, <laughs> think hard, and try not to embarrass yourself with a wrong answer. And remember, D's nuts is not a valid response. <laughs> I know you were tempted to say it, but let's try I'm to not, keep it somewhat civilized. I'm not gonna here. say D's nuts. So what's your answer, my brave challenger? Not gonna say D's nuts. Sorry, one of your brothers already asked that question earlier uh, in a in a bonus round uh, extravaganza. So let's let's try again. Give me another level two of seven Nintendo question, and I I promise I will not say D's nuts as an answer. Well, look, level two is still easy, right? It'll get harder, but it still has to be approachable. Ah, my sincerest apologies for the repeated question. It seems my memory is not as sharp as my wit. <laughs> but fear not, for I shall provide you with a fresh question from the Nintendo category. Okay. Question. In the beloved Nintendo franchise, Super Smash Brothers, what is the name of the fiery mushroom-like character who hails from the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh, I can already hear the gears turning in your head. Will what, you be toad? able to recall this iconic character's name, or will you stumble and fall Wait, but like you a can't... Goomba caught in Mario's Wait path? a minute. The choice is yours, my eager contestant. But you can't... So go ahead and give me your answer. And remember, no D's nuts this time. We're aiming for a modicum of sophistication here. But you can't play as Toad. Okay, wait, I gotta think about this. Fiery Mushroom. Fiery Mushroom-like character in Super Smash Bros. You can't play as Toad in Smash. Mario throws fireballs, but he's not Mushroom-like. Piranha Plant is in Smash. I mean, Toad is in 
Smash with the with the peach side B, she like holds out Toad. Dude, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna go Toad. I'm gonna go Toad. I'm just gonna send it. Toad, final answer. If he says it's right, it doesn't matter if he's in Smash or not. We just go on. I feel like it has to be Toad. There's no way it's not Toad. He's just stupid, guys. Well, 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 look at you, Mr. Smarty Pants. You got it right. Congratulations. I got it right. It seems you've managed to scrape together I don't know some what that means, but it's fine. <laughs> knowledge after all. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend, <laughs> because you've earned it. And I must admit, I'm quite relieved that you didn't resort to any I don't... D's nuts shenanigans <laughs> this time. Bravo. Now, if you're ready to move on, just say the word and I'll whisk you away to level three where the questions will become even more okay. challenging. I... Are you up for the task or are you going to retreat like a frightened Koopa Troopa? The choice is yours. But remember, the adventure only gets more treacherous from here on out. Ooh. Okay, I just... I'm not ready for the next question, but I want to talk about this. What... W where is Toad in Smash? Like, can you explain to me where he comes from? I just- I want to know the answer to this. Can you please explain? Which Smash game is he from? Can you just clarify? I- I needed- I need him to answer. No, he's doing Nintendo questions. <laughs> okay, I just want to hear what he says. The only thing that I can think of is to Toad is- I said this a second ago, but the- the Peach side B, she holds out Toad. Is that literally it? Or is he gonna think he's like a playable character? I don't get it. Oh, I see you're eager for some extra information. Well, my curious contestant, Toad in Super Smash Brothers, is not actually a playable character. Asterisk, gasp, asterisk. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> Toad has been a faithful sidekick to Princess Peach in the Mario games, but unfortunately he has yet to make his debut as a full-fledged fighter in the Super Smash okay, Bros. neutral, series. sorry. However, Toad does make appearances in various ways throughout the games in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U slash 3DS. Toad appears as one of Princess Peach's special moves, where he jumps out and acts as a shield, See? protecting her from incoming attacks. That's what I was so, talking about! While he may not be a playable character, he still gets his time to shine as Peach's loyal companion. Now, I hope that clears things up for you, my inquisitive friend. But let's not get too sidetracked, shall we? It's time to refocus and move on to the next question. Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll be more than happy to provide it. whoop to do whoop to do <laughs> I don't know how he's fiery. I can ask. Wait, I need to get the Wonder Seed for this. I missed it. Crap, dude. It's in that one area. You have to jump up. I got beamed! Crap. Dude, it might actually- I might actually have to die. Dude, I just- I just forgot- I forgot the area! I got too caught up in the toad lore! It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. I remember. Okay, the last bit of clarification here. How is Toad fiery? Can you explain that? Crap! Dude, I'm too caught up in the Toad lore. I'm lost in the sauce. I'm thinking about the trivia. Maybe he just means, like, filled with energy. Oh god. 
Okay, he said it's time to move on. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. See, I was thinking... Oh god, the top-down... I don't know if I like top-down elephant peach. I don't vibe with it. I actually don't vibe with it. <laughs> oh god. Ready, 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 ready. Thank you. Oh my god, that was that was close. That was a nail biter. There we go. Uh the possible categories, I there's like general gaming, internet culture, Nintendo trivia, Mario trivia. I can't remember the other. There's just one or two more. And then there's the grab bag, which could be anything. Okay. All right, Mr. Flower. I am now done with the next level and ready for my next level two Nintendo trivia question. We've already answered a question about Super Smash Brothers. You've also asked me a Zelda question. What do you have next? I'm ready. He's gonna give me something good. It's only Nintendo right now. Later on, it'll be different stuff. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna not get hard until probably level four or five, but we'll see. Or non-Nintendo. Because we do a lot of Nintendo here, so we'll see what we get. Give me something spicy, dude. I know, I know that right now they seem kind of easy, but if they were hard right now, we would have a major problem for later on, so... Well, 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 look who's back for another round. You're just itching to prove yourself, aren't you? All right, let's see if you can handle a little more Nintendo trivia. For your level two question, I'll stick to the theme of iconic Nintendo characters. Here it is. Which character is often recognized as the mascot of Nintendo? A, Mario B, Donkey Kong, C, Pikachu. Link, now I hope your brain is not as mushy as a Goomba after a good stomp. Take your time, <laughs> think it through, and give me your answer, my eager little contestant. Don't call me an eager little contestant. What is that? I answer A, Mario. Also, uh, I don't know how I feel about you calling me an eager little contestant. I think the, do I don't know what happened to the dong emote. I didn't remove it. Okay. Did I get it right? If I get it right, we can continue. There's a few break levels, so we won't have questions for these. Oh, bravo. You got it right. Give yourself a pat on the back yes. because you actually managed to answer correctly this time. I answered I correctly. I'm impressed. And as for my choice of words, I apologize if your delicate sensibilities were offended. But hey, not offended. Just talking flower. What do I know about manners? It's just kind of weird. Move on to level three, or are you still recovering from the shock of getting a question right? Oh my god. Who is this guy? Dude, I don't have the- I don't have the bubble, so I can't do this- the strat on this, which sucks, but it's okay. This is, you know, pretty straightforward. It's a banger. Yay! Hooray! Yay! We did it! Yeah, 
Yo, Vulcan, welcome into the stream, by the way. Good to see you. And uh, thank you, Raise Freezer, for giving a sub to him, by the way. I apologize for missing that. <clears throat> that is a fun level. That is very true. I like that one. All right, so we are now moving on to our next level, which is Puppy Lips. Where's that? Should be right here. Honestly, we're not even that far, man. It's peach time. Okay, if you're just joining the stream, by the way, we have our friend, the Talking Flower, today joining us. He is the Trivia Master. And we are doing a Super Mario Wonder speed run while also doing a trivia show. The way it works is pretty simple. Basically, after every full level that I play, like this, I have to answer a trivia question. And they are going to get increasingly more difficult as we get further into the game. If I get it right, I move on. If I get it wrong, we have to replay the stage in its entirety. So if you're wondering, why am I 17 minutes behind? Well, it's because the trivia... The trivia master, Mr. Talking Flower, deemed some of my answers inappropriate and wrong in World 1. So we had to replay them. So far, we're looking pretty good in World 2. But we did get a potentially bogus question. And I assume we're going to get more bogus questions the further we get in the run, but we'll see. All right, Floridacious, if that is your real name. I am ready for my next level two Nintendo-based trivia question. Throw whatever you want at me and I'm ready for it. Okay, it interpreted Floridacious as Floridatacious. <laughs> but that's fine. Mm -mm -mm. I I don't know. I considered that one a oh, break stage. I guess. Of you to come up with a name like Floridatacious. I must say it's quite original. But alas, I am a majestic and magical talking flower, not a Floridian vacation spot. <laughs> now let's get back to business. For your level two Nintendo question, I'll challenge you with something a bit trickier. Are you ready, oh wise one? Here it is. Which Nintendo game franchise features a character named Samus Aran? A, The Legend of Zelda, B, Mario Kart, C, Metroid, D, Animal Crossing. I hope you're not feeling too confident after your previous victory. Let's see if you can keep up the winning streak, shall we? Okay, that should be easy. Also, I'll do a question on future ones then, I guess. If there's other levels like that that appear, like maybe the ninja one or whatever, I'll do I'll do a question. We'll just we'll not worry about it though. We still have a lot of levels to play, so don't worry. Uh I'm going to say answer choice C. Metroid. Final answer. John Flower. Samus Aaron. <laughs> why why do you say it like that? <laughs> Okay, I said C Metroid. Oh, John Flower, you poor misguided soul. I'm afraid your confidence has led you astray this time. The what? correct answer is C Metroid. That's what I Samus said! Samus Aran is indeed the protagonist of the Metroid series, a bounty hunter clad in an iconic suit of armor. Looks like you took a wrong turn there, my friend, but fear not, <laughs> there's always a chance for redemption. Wait, are you ready to hold tackle up, the next hold level? Up, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. To your ego. Wait a minute. What did you think I said? I literally said answer choice C Metroid. What did I say? What do you think I said? <laughs> I just need, I need to know, dude. I'll play the level again, but I don't know what. Wait. I'm going to play it again. I just want to know what his reasoning is. Fine. We'll run it back. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. If he says I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, that's just how it is. That's just the reality. I just want to know. Oh, my apologies, John Flower. It seems I misunderstood your response. No, I'm not. You did, in fact, correctly answer with choice. Oh, my God. C, Metroid. I must have been lost in my own thoughts there for a moment. How embarrassing. 
Well, 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 it looks like you've redeemed yourself after all. You may not have been wrong, but I certainly was. Consider me thoroughly chastised. Now let's move on to <laughs> level three, where the questions get just a little bit tougher. Are you no, ready no, 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 no. one? Hold up. This guy seems, he seems a little confused. We need to help him out. No, 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 you said I'm wrong, so I replayed the level. But I want you to know, I'm not John Flower. I'm calling you John Flower. Is that not your name? And we're not done with level two yet, okay? We have another level to play. I'll let you know when I need the question, but I, I, you know, thank you for clarifying. Flowerdocious? Floridocious wouldn't make those mistakes. Well, who even is this guy? Oh, my sincerest apologies, dear contestant. It appears I misunderstood once again. You are absolutely right, and I am indeed the one who made the mistake. John Flower is not my name, and I apologize for the confusion. I'm just a humble and nameless talking flower here. Oh, to this guy has no name? Entertainment. I appreciate your patience and understanding. Whenever you're ready to proceed with level two, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to provide you with the next question. He's nameless. Wait, so if you had to have a name though, what would it be? I just want to know what to call you from here on out. I really hope we get this question right, because I don't want to do the auto-scroller again. That would suck. Ah, the curiosity of the human mind. If I were to bestow upon myself a name, it would have to be something truly majestic and magical, befitting of a talking flower such as myself. Let's see, how about Florindelian? Yes, Florindelian, <laughs> the talking flower, has a certain ring to it, don't you think? It does. But of course, you're welcome to call me whatever you prefer, my dear contestant. I'm on an airship. Florindelian? Flor Florendelian. Flor Florid Floridalian. Floridian. <laughs> oh god. We know that guy killed the other guy. I a toad block. I didn't know that was there. Yeah, uh, I'm really waiting for there to be a, um... I'm really waiting to get screwed by this trivia question because... I don't want to do this again. Which means that I'm probably going to get it wrong. I have the worst luck when it comes to trivia. And almost always, whenever I don't think I know something or when I'm nervous about something, I will get it wrong. I don't know if it's the nerves getting to me or what, but having to play through an auto scroller again would be such a huge time loss. It would be so bad. Do keep in mind, guys, keep thinking about what you want your own trivia topics to be because we might be having our first of the Twitch trivia categories soon. I'm not going to tell you when. I'm keeping it a surprise so you guys stay on your toes, but you can start brainstorming. I'm just going to take one at random. Whenever we get to it, I'll let you know. I'll say, hey, give me a topic and you can just say whatever you want. You can just start thinking about it. If you guys all pick one shared co uh, topic and you all like want me to do it, then I will, I'll, I'll have a higher chance of actually doing it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna pick one at random. Topic, Alabama Beach Mouse. <laughs> ancient Roman, ancient Roman farming techniques. Oh my God. <laughs> no, not a question. 
You give a topic, that guy will create a question based off of it, and then I have to answer it. But I'll let you know when I need it. Keep in mind, though, that it will be at the level that I'm currently on. So if we get one in World 2, it'll be level 2 of 7 difficulty. If it's in the castle level, it'll be level 7 of 7. The hardest. Okay. But that's not happening yet. Okay, I'm ready for my next level 2 trivia question on Nintendo topics. I really hope I get this right because I just played an airship auto-scrolling level and I would hate to do that crap again. What is my next question, oh talking flower, Floridian, Florida man, whatever your name was. John Flower. Okay. What is the question? I call him Florida man. I don't remember. I don't remember what his name was. Okay. I don't know. Oh, how delightful. You're ready for your next level two Nintendo trivia question, and you're just overflowing with enthusiasm, aren't you? Well, strap yourself in, my dear contestant, because here it comes. In the classic Nintendo game Super Mario Brothers, what power-up item allows Mario to shoot fireballs at his enemies? A, Super Mushroom, B, Fire Flower. C, Starman, D, 1-Up Mushroom. I hope you've been paying attention during your adventures in the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm gonna reroll. We already had a Fire Flower question. For someone as skilled as yourself. Take a moment to ponder, and when you're ready, give me your answer, my fiery friend. Okay, why am I fiery? That's my first question to you. Second of all, give me another question, because one of your brothers asked me about the Fire Flower earlier. Okay, we don't need to do this again. I know you guys love the Fire Flower, but turn to page 17 in your book of questions. Give me something with a little more spice, okay? <laughs> okay. Did he break? He didn't break, thank God. At least not yet. Oh, my apologies for the confusion, my non-fiery friend. <laughs> I must have mistaken your enthusiasm for a burning passion, but I stand corrected. And fear not, I shall grant your wish for a question with a little more spice. Here it is, fresh from the pages of my mystical book of questions. In the game Super Mario World, what color are Yoshi's boots? A, red, B, green, C, blue, D, yellow. Now, I hope this question satisfies your craving for variety. Take your time, ponder it carefully, and when you're ready, give me your answer, my intrepid adventurer. Wait. Aren't they brown? Wait, I'm gonna- I think this is a trick question. It's a trick question. I was worried about getting a hard question on the airship level, but I think- I, I think I'm gonna throw a curveball at him. I think you're throwing a curveball at me, Florindelian. I think it's none of these. I think the answer is actually E. Brown. Thoughts? Am I correct? This is a- I'm taking a big gamble here. If he gives me credit, it counts. Okay. We're gonna see what he says. Oh, Florindelian, you always know how to keep me on my toes. I must admit, your answer of E. Brown is quite uh, unconventional. But who am I to stifle creativity? In this case, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and consider your answer. However, I regret to inform you that your creative thinking has led you astray this time. No! Yoshi's boots are not brown, my dear contestant. The correct answer is B. Green. Perhaps Yoshi should consider a fashion makeover in the future. Green? But for now, it's those green boots that he's rocking. Green fear boots? Not, my imaginative friend. End. There are plenty more questions to come, so don't let this setback dampen your oh spirits. Oh my god, he's so trolling! Three, or do you need a moment to recover from your daring yet incorrect answer? He's trolling, dude! I have to play it again because the trivia game show host is a troll! Bro is trolling. Now we just have to do another- we have to do the auto-scroller again. 
He just said Yoshi. He didn't clarify. Does any Yoshi have green boots? Yellow Yoshi? Is Yellow Yoshi in Super Mario World? Dude, the flower is such a troll! I didn't know he was talking about Yellow Yoshi. Maybe if I had told him that it changed depending on the Yoshi color, he would have given me credit. I just was thinking the default green Yoshi. Who's talking as the flower? Uh, well, that's the flower. They all have brown? I said brown, right? This guy hates me. Now we have to do the auto-scroller again. I wanted to skip this, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. This is gonna be- this is gonna definitely be time loss in the speed run. Dude, if he's throwing questions like this at me at level 2, we're done for, man. We're done for! The- imagine the time loss. getting low-key cooked right now. It's fine, it's fine. You know what? What's another couple of minutes among friends? You know what I'm saying? Where am I in Texas? I live near Austin. I just got bombed. I got Robert armed. Get me out of here. I need to get out of here. I got that. I actually don't need that right now. Explosion. Dude, I got this new hoodie. This hoodie's sick. I like this hoodie. I'm gonna wear this a lot, I think. This was the first day in in uh, Austin here where we could actually wear a hoodie. Uh, okay, next level. Whoa, careful! All right, well, look, we're at two and a half hours up time. We're on world two of seven. Well, it's kind of like six and a half. So at this rate, we're gonna finish at three in the morning. I mean, that'll be good, I think, right? That'll be nice. We'll be in the depths of the night. There's gonna be no one in the chat. It's gonna be me and the AI. And I'm gonna be having a, an epic duel of wits with this guy. Oh, I went for the- I went for the strat. That's- that's such a tough angle, man. I will get world record, you're right. No one will be able to stop this. Why are my streams so long? 
I try to stream at least four hours because there's people that keep up with my content that don't watch YouTube. Honestly, most of my income right now comes from Twitch and not YouTube, so I try to make sure the streams are long enough that the people that are watching here get their money's worth, you know? Wonder Seed acquired. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like 60-40, I think. But it is still mostly stream right now. I would like to reach a point where it's more YouTube, but we're not quite there yet. So. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Wait, I think I can do the bubble jump, right? Uh... Yeah, okay, okay, nice, nice, that's pretty good. Honestly, pretty solid. We'll take that. Okay, next question. Wait a minute! It's time for a Twitch chat category! In my route, I have... In after this level, Twitch chat category, give me some- give me some category chat. I'm gonna give this guy- I'm gonna give this guy one of your categories and have him give a question based off of that. Don't give me a question, just a topic. Okay, we'll see what we have here. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people say calculus. We're gonna go with calculus, but keep in mind it's level two calculus. All right, Mr. Talking Flower, I'm ready for my next level two question, but wait, it's time for a Twitch chat insert, which means instead of the Nintendo category we've been using, Twitch chat has given me another category to use instead. What have they chosen? You might be wondering. They have chosen calculus. So we're looking for a level two of seven calculus question. What do you have for us? Dude, if he gives it, this is this could go bad. I'm going to try. Wait, can I use a whiteboard? I might have to do I'm going to try to not do it, but we'll see. Oh god, this could go bad. Oh, how exciting! Twitch chat has spoken, and they've chosen calculus as the next category. Well, well, well. Oh god. Just full of surprises. All right, my brave contestant. Here's your level two calculus question. Focus, focus. What is the derivative of the function fx equals sine three x circumflex two plus two x five a six x plus two b six x plus one c two x plus two d for x plus two. I hope you've got your mathematical thinking cap on because this question requires a bit of calculus prowess. Take your time, crunch those numbers, and when you're ready, give me your answer, my mathematically inclined friend. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. It was, it partially got messed up because of him saying it out loud. It was a multiple choice, okay? It said, what is the derivative of the function fx equals three x squared plus two x minus five? And the options are a six x plus two, B, 6x plus 1, C, 2x plus 2, or D, 4x plus 2. The answer, okay, so we need to do, I think this is called the power rule, I don't remember. So, wait, okay, so you take 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So we, we need to get rid of the constant, so the minus 5 is gone, and then we reduce everything by 1. So x squared becomes x, the 2x becomes just 2, so the answer, and then you multiply the power by the number in front of the variable. So if it's 3x squared plus 2x minus 5, that becomes 6x plus 2, which is option A. I'm answering answer choice A, 6x plus 2. Am I correct? Wait. Am I right? Oh, my dear contestant, it seems you've stumbled upon a mathematical pitfall. 
I'm afraid your answer of A, 6X plus 2 is not quite correct. What do you the mean? The answer is actually B, 6X plus 1. But fear not, my mathematically that adventurous friend. What? Calculus can be quite tricky, even for the most seasoned mathematicians. There's always room for improvement and I learning. think he's just wrong. Now, shall we proceed to level oh three? Oh, my God. Or do you need a moment to recover from this derivative mishap? It's not... You know what? I'm going to try to outsmart this guy. All right. So, let's just take a step back. Unrelated to the trivia for a second, I've got a question for you. It's actually a calculus problem. I want to see if you can solve it, okay? So, I need you to find the derivative of the function fx equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Can you answer that for me? Thank you. I just want to see what he says. <laughs> if he gets it right, I'm tilted. Uh, how amusing. You're testing me, the all-knowing and wise-talking flower, with a calculus problem? Well, challenge accepted. Uh, the derivative of the function, fx equals sine 3x circumflex 2 plus 2x5 is fx equals sine 6x plus 2. There you have it, my inquisitive friend. That's what I said! The derivative of the function is 6x plus 2. Now, shall we get back on track with the trivia, or do you have any more calculus problems you'd like me to solve? No more calculus, but I just have- I have one question here. Okay, so you've answered my problem here. I want you to now go look at the question you just asked me a second ago, and look at what you told me the answer was. What do you have to say for yourself? I just need to know, dude. I'll replay the level. I just need to know. He said it was wrong, so it's wrong. We're playing it again. I just need to know. Oh, my blooming petals. It seems I've made quite the blunder. How embarrassing. I apologize for the confusion <laughs> you caused think by so? my previous response. You are absolutely right, and I stand corrected. The correct answer to the calculus question I asked you earlier is indeed A6X plus 2, not B6X plus 1. Well, 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 it seems the student has become the teacher. Bravo, my astute friend. You have caught my mistake, and I bow down to your mathematical prowess. <laughs> Consider me humbled and thoroughly corrected. Now, shall we proceed to level three? I promise to be extra careful with my answers this time. <laughs> I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy, dude. He's not to be trusted. Not after the incident. Okay, we don't have to do the Wonder Flower again. You're so rude to your teachers. This is not a teacher. This is a trivia game show host. There are billions of dollars on the line here. I think I have a right to be upset. Wait, why did I do that? Oh wait, no, it's actually fine. There are billions of dollars on the line. You don't understand. Okay, we have one more level, or one more question to go. So, I'm not, we're not ready for level three yet, but we will be ready for level three soon. I'll let you know when I need the question, okay, sir? I'm gonna ask for a new game show host after question two, or after level two. We do a break level, we don't do, uh... We don't do trivia after the break level, so this one doesn't uh, my count. my apologies for the confusion, sir. I misunderstood your previous statement. Please take your time. And when you're ready to proceed to level three, just let me know. And I'll be more than happy to provide you with the next question. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I- look man, I had to bust out the sass. I felt so smart for getting calculus right for once and then they said I was wrong. <laughs> And I got sad. I got concerned, man. Okay. Alright, alright. This is gonna be the end of level two in a second. There are more Twitch Picks levels. I have- I have multiple written into the route. That was just the first one, so don't worry. 
And fortunately, um, since there's more later on, they're going to be at a higher level. Which means you guys will actually be able to input even more uh, crazy categories, which will give me harder questions. No, you know who I was talking to? My Algebra 2 teacher who didn't actually teach the class and instead just sat at his desk making uh, model rocket ships. He did that on the daily, dude. He loved his model rocket ships. That was scary. Nice. Pretty good. What a cool teacher. Uh, well, I didn't learn anything, so it was kind of bad. He kind of permanently ruined my, uh, math. My advanced math. I never really recovered from that guy. Also, one time he tried to gaslight me into thinking that I was actually present when I was absent. See, I, I sat next to my best friend in high school in that class. And uh, one day I was sick and I came back the next day and I went to his desk and I said, Hey teacher, is there any homework you need me to do because I was gone yesterday? And he's like, you weren't gone yesterday. And I'm like, no, I, I was gone yesterday. And he said, no, your friend was gone yesterday. And then he went to my friend who was actually there and gave him my homework and said, Hey, you have to do this homework because you weren't here yesterday. And he was like, no, I was here. He was gone yesterday. And then he was like, no, dude, you were here. I remember. And then I was like, no, he, no, I was not here. And he said, dude, I'll check attendance. You were here. He was not here. <laughs> it was weird. Moral of the story is, I never had to do the homework, and I got a 100 for no reason. So, maybe it wasn't all that, but... It was stupid. That guy was definitely tenured, and he was old. He needed to retire. All right, I would split here, but we still have to do our final trivia question. All right, it is now time for the final Nintendo question at level two difficulty before we move on. What is the final question of level two? Okay. It's time for the next question. question of level two, how thrilling. Brace yourself, dear contestant, for the ultimate Nintendo challenge in the game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. What instrument does Link use to travel through time? A, Ocarina B, guitar. C, flute D, harmonica. Take a moment to reflect on your guitar. adventures in Hyrule, my time traveling companion. And when you're ready, reveal your answer to me. Let's finish level two with a flourish. It's called the Ocarina of Time. Final answer, A, Ocarina. Once he answers this, then we split and move on. We're going to our next bonus round after this. I just need to know if I'm right or, right, uh, right or not. Congratulations, my astute adventurer. Your final answer of A, Ocarina is absolutely correct. Boom, split. Link, the hero of Hyrule, indeed uses the Ocarina to travel through time in The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time, you've navigated through the levels with finesse and have emerged victorious in level two. Now, yes. my brave contestant, it's time to embark on the treacherous journey to level three. Are you prepared to face the challenges that lie ahead? Let me know when you're ready and I'll unveil the next category and question. whoop de do <laughs> So this would be bonus round two, but you actually only do one level anyways. 
So I'm just gonna answer a trivia question, and if I get it right, I only have to do this one instead of two. Before we begin level three, we are going into bonus round two. This can be a level two question of any topic that you want. If I get it right, I don't have to do any more trivia questions for the remainder of the bonus area. So with that in mind, what is my level two bonus question? Am I gonna do it? You know what? I think we will probably do it to where I have to get the final question right. I was figuring, I was thinking about how to do that. I think that would be the best way to do it. Like, okay, you get it right. Now you've got the go ahead, go do the final stage type thing. And then that way we can just split. Ah, the bonus round. How delightful. I have the perfect level two bonus question for you, my eager contestant. Here it is. In the world of speed running, what does the acronym WR stand for? A, world record B, winning run C, wacky rules, D, whirlwind rush. <laughs> Take a moment to ponder this question, my quick-footed friend. If you answer correctly, you'll be granted the sweet freedom <laughs> from further trivia questions in the bonus area. Good luck, Wacky and may the speedrunning spirits guide you. I'm gonna say... D. Whirlwind Rush. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding! It's a joke! It's A. World Record. I, I joked with him. I joked with him. That might be a mistake. It might confuse him. I don't want to confuse him, dude. Look, it's only one stage. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, my quick-witted contestant. You had me going there for a moment with your mischievous joke. But fear not, for you swiftly recovered and provided the correct answer. Boom. The acronym WR does indeed stand for AA world record in the world of speed running. We recovered. Congratulations, my clever companion. You have successfully completed the level two bonus round and earned yourself a reprieve from further trivia questions in the bonus area. Enjoy your well-deserved break and let me know when you're ready to continue with level three. Whoa! <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why he does that, he just gets really excited, okay? Part of his personality. Crap. Okay, we're gaming, we're gaming. The, the guy's gaining on me though. Yay! See, that's exactly what my flower sounds like. The trivia guy. He sounds just like those guys. Nice. Alright, so we're now moving into World 3. The, the questions are going to be about mid-difficulty now, I would imagine. I don't know what a level 3 out of 7 question looks like, to be honest with you, but that is essentially what we're doing now. Yeah, the Wiggler does rubber bands quite a bit. It's pretty easy to win, though. I don't think I've ever seen anyone lose. I guess if you just sit there, you'll eventually lose, but... Boom, split. All right, guys, we're now into World 3. I'm gonna let him know... Actually, hold up, before we begin. Hey, uh, you know, I hate to break it to you, Mr. Flower, but... You, you kind of trolled me with a couple of questions in level two. So before we begin level three, can I get like a nude host? Can we get, can we do like a swap? I, I look, I don't hate you. I understand you're very nervous. There's hundreds of millions of people watching right now. But you got to give me the right answer, okay? You can't troll me like that. We're going to see what he says. <laughs> I'm being nice. I look, I'm giving him an option. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get a new oh, one. Oh, my dear contestant, I apologize if my sarcasm and playful banter have rubbed you the wrong way. 
I assure you, it was all in good fun and not meant to cause any frustration, but I understand that everyone has different preferences, and if you'd prefer a different host, I can certainly arrange that for you. You just, just gave me the moment. wrong answer, man! Asterisk. Pause. Asterisk. All right, it seems we have a new host ready for you. Please welcome my esteemed colleague, the Talking Tulip. Ooh. She will take over from here and provide you with the questions for level three. Wishing you the best of luck on your trivia journey, and may your quest be filled with accurate answers and joyous victories. The Talking Tulip. Okay. I mean, sure, why not? Shout outs to the Talking Tulip. Florindelian is gone. That's the old and busted. The new hotness? Talking Tulip. Uh, okay, Hobby Cat going in. So we do this level, and then we get our first question. Man, I'm so glad I can wear a hoodie now. I'm gonna use this so I keep the bubble flower. We're gonna need the bubble later. I think I might need money though, so I'm gonna grab this. I think getting a couple of perps here would be nice. Oh, that was spooky. Ha ha! Oh my god. Dude, I already know what the thumbnail for this video is gonna be. It's just gonna be the talking flower with a speech bubble asking me a calculus question. Honestly, that's a, gonna be a goaded thumbnail. <laughs> it's just gonna be like, fx equals 6x squared plus 3x plus 5. Or some, some crap like that. Alright, cool, we're done with this. Oh, hello there, new guest talking tulip. It is time we begin level three. Now, just to fill you in on where the previous hosts have taken us already, we have already covered topics in Nintendo and Mario trivia. So you can select a new one from the pool. You know which ones are available. I've already given them to you. And you can even go for the grab bag one if you would like to do that. But keep in mind that from here on out, we are doing level three of seven difficulty on these questions. With that in mind, let's get started. I'm ready for my first question. The talking tulip is here. We'll see how she does. She might sound exactly like the other guy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is gonna this is gonna be where we start having blunders. Ah, greetings, my trivia enthusiast. I am the talking tulip, here to guide you through the treacherous terrain of level three. Oh god. Fear not, for I shall provide you with a question befitting the increased difficulty. Since we have already explored the realms of Nintendo and Mario, let us delve into the enchanting world of general gaming for your level three question. In the game, the Elder Scrolls Vi Skyrim, what is the name of the protagonist, also known as the player character? A. Dovahkiin B. Nereverin C. Dragonborn D. Champion of Cyrodiil Take a moment to recall your epic adventures across the vast lands of Skyrim, my valiant player. When you are ready, Crap. reveal your answer and let us continue the journey through level three. I don't know, dude. I, I don't know the answer. Okay, wait. I, I'm not looking at chat. I gotta reason my way through this. Okay, I'm gonna assume when you come into the world of Skyrim, you're not a champion. You suck. So you're not you're not that one. Dova Dovakin is like the that's like a different thing, I think. So it's not it's not that. So it's either Dragonborn or Nereverine. But Dragonborn doesn't sound like a name. I'm gonna go Nerever Nereverine. Is that right? Finally, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm gonna go B, Nereverin. Final answer. <laughs> I don't know the answer. I actually don't know the answer to this one. Wait, what is the- I don't know what the answer is. Oh god. 
I'm nervous, oh, man. Oh, dear contestant, you were so close yet so far. But alas, your answer of B, Nereverine, is not the correct one. The correct answer is actually C, no! Dragonborn. The protagonist in the Elder Scrolls Fiv, Dude, Skyrim, I'm is known so... as the Dragonborn, a hero with the ability to absorb the souls of dragons. Oh, God. But fret not, my intrepid adventurer. There are still plenty of questions to conquer in level three. Shall we proceed to the next question, or do you need a moment to recover from this mild setback? No, it's okay. I got it. Even if there were two right answers, I still answered one of them wrong. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Right, I, I answered one of the ones that was incorrect. Is this a plug-in? No, I coded the whole thing. So the logic is... I have a script that converts my mic input to text using Microsoft Azure. Azure, sorry. And then that gets sent as a user input into chat GPT. And then that generates a response, which is then sent to 11 labs which sends in an audio file and that's downloaded to my computer that's then played back, but also, uh, well, I don't have it enabled right now, but it has animation through OBS WebSockets. It's basically just so I can simulate having a conversation. It's like four or five Python files, I think. I've been getting a little more sophisticated with my, uh, streaming things because I've been enjoying well look I mean I went to school for comp sci I honestly got inspired to get into coding stuff again through Doug Doug because I saw how he was combining coding stuff with his stream and I was like wait I can do that and so I've been trying to do it more and it's been it's been a lot of fun honestly sometimes stuff is a little janky but I have I have a lot of fun with it I've had a lot of fun with it also guys it's a break level we don't have trivia on that so it's fine uh, so now we do this high jump badge. No, the Dug Dug thing is not a bit. I actually do look up to that guy a lot because I like how he does his content. He does a lot of similar stuff. He does more than just Nintendo games, though, so that's really where we differentiate. But, I mean, he actually did a similar stream to this where he did, like, a Peggle run. But if he got the question wrong, he had to restart the level or something similar like that. Sim something along those lines. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. I need the coin. I need the coin. Is the Arter stuff a bit? Wait, what is the, what are wait, what is the Arter stuff? I don't know what that is. Baldness? Mmm, that's not- I don't think that's a bit. <laughs> okay, 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 guys. We gotta get our next question now. Okay, alright, I've replayed the level as punishment for getting that question wrong. We've beaten another stage, which means it's time for another level 3 question. So, Petunia Petals, or whatever your name is, I'm ready for my next question. What's it going to be? Wait, 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 wait. Is it broken? I thought it, I think it broke. Did it break? Oh, my sincerest oh, didn't break. Okay. apologies, dear contestant, for my previous mistake. It seems my pedals got a bit tangled there. But fear not, for I, the talking tulip, shall redeem myself with another level 3 question. Okay. Since we've already explored the realms of Nintendo, Mario, and general gaming, let us venture into the captivating world of esports okay, for no, your next question. Okay, no, that's not what we're supposed Which to- Which game is fine. considered the birthplace of modern esports? Okay. A, League of Legends. B, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. C, StarCraft Brood War. D, Dota 2. Take a moment to ponder the origins of competitive gaming, my discerning player. When you're ready, reveal your answer and let us continue our ascent through level three. It's gotta be StarCraft. Because those other games are too new. It would be a little bit harder if they said Dota 1. Dota 2 is too new. CSGO is too new. League is too new. It's gotta be StarCraft Brood War. They literally broadcast that crap on TV in like Korea. It was, it was huge. I'm gonna go StarCraft. StarCraft 
Brood War. Option C, final answer. It's gotta be StarCraft. I know it wasn't the right category, we're just going with it. I'll, I'll try to get her back on track after this. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, what's it gonna be? Am I correct? Am I correct? Give me this. It broke! No! 11 laps timed out again. It's okay. We'll get another question then. I want to know the answer though. What did it say? Wait, I might be able to see the answer on the 11 laps website. I'll do another question anyways, but I'm just curious. This is off the record. I want to see if I got it right. There's like a, uh, it has like a history of your generated stuff, so I can actually look and see here. What do we have? Um, where's this? If I go here, no, 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 I'm looking at, is it here? History, history, here we go. Uh, oh, never mind. It never generated because it broke. Okay. I want to know the answer, man. Whatever. It's fine. We'll, we'll catch him back up. This is off the record. Hello, talking flower, uh, new, new guest. Uh, you're, you're, okay, so, your brothers and sisters have been hosting this game show all throughout my stream tonight. You're being broadcast to hundreds, maybe even billions of viewers right now, so don't get nervous. But there's a little bit of pressure. I am going to be a contestant. You are the game show host. We are now on level three. The first two topics that we've already covered are Mario and Nintendo. And I need a question from you. Your previous brothers and sisters have selected for level three general gaming. So I need a level three general gaming question from you. What do you have for me? Okay, uh, let me make sure it works. Do we, does it work? Does it work? Well, 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 look who decided to grace us with their presence. A new guest, huh? Let's hope you're not as painfully clueless as the ones who came before you. Oh so, my god. you want a level three general gaming question, do you? Fine, I'll indulge you, but don't get too excited. Why is this guy so snarky? I that tiny brain of yours. Here's your question. In the popular game franchise, The Legend of Zelda, what is the name of the main protagonist? And don't you dare come back with something like Princess Zelda because, honey, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> so what's your answer, champ? Or should I just prepare myself for another disappointment? Oh, by the way, if you get this wrong, get ready for some quality time with Super Mario Brothers Wonder. This guy is too much. This guy's too much. But you know what? We're going to run with it. Even though we already did Mario and Nintendo, I guess they, that could still be general gaming, so we'll allow it. The main protagonist in The Legend of Zelda, it's Link. I'm gonna say, well, okay, actually, you know what? This is a dupe, we'll get a new question. We had one of these questions already, okay? If you wanna sass me, that's fine. But you gotta at least bring the, the new questions. You're bringing reuse content, Mr. Game Show Host, and I don't like that. So give me something actually original this time. Okay, how about that? Look, we just gotta sass him back. Okay, here we go. Give me a good one. Oh, I'm so sorry if my previous question offended your delicate sensibilities. I'll make sure to bring only the freshest, most original questions for your highness. Here we go. A brand spanking new question just for you. In the game, The Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, what is the name of the region where the game is set? Now, don't go crying about how you've never played it or how you have no idea. That's your problem, not mine. So what's your answer, oh, wise and all-knowing contestant? Crap, and remember, dude. if you get this wrong, it's back to Super Mario Brothers Wonder for you. whoop de doo I don't know the answer. I can't look at chat. I can't look at chat. Oh, God. I don't know the answer to this question, man. I don't know the answer to this question. 
Wait, it's a trick question. What if it's just Skyrim? That's the region. I think I understand. This is a trick question. The region is actually called Skyrim. <laughs> I, okay, I, I don't know the answer, dude. I don't, I don't know. I don't actually know the answer to this one. Is it not Skyrim? Oh, my dear contestant, you are truly a mastermind. You've cracked the code and discovered the secret that no one else could see. Yes, indeed, the region in the Elder Scrolls by Skyrim is called Skyrim. I'm stunned by your I, incredible I deduction did it. skills. I did it. How did you ever come up with such a genius answer? Bravo, bravo. Just kidding, you absolute buffoon. Skyrim what? is not the region. It's the name of the game itself. The region in the game is called Skyrim as well. I can't believe you fell for that trick. I must say your intelligence is truly astounding. Not, well, since you got that one wrong, it's time for you to face the consequences. Get ready to play another round of Super Mario Brothers. Oh Wonder. my God. And don't worry, I'm sure you'll fail at that too. Woo. <laughs> Dude, he got me. I thought I thought I did it. I thought I pulled it off. He got me so he got me so hyped. Okay, at least this is a short. At least this is a short one. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do it. This level's short. Wait for it. All right. this way. We just have to do it again. No, 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 it's actually short. See, it's, it's easy. At least that was a short repeat. Wait, what is actually the answer? Okay, look, I went ahead and replayed the level. I just want to know then, what is the answer? What actually is the region where Skyrim is? Is he sassing me right now? The talking Grindel will come back soon. Oh, you thought you could just sneakily replay the level and avoid the consequences, huh? No, I. Nice try, that is the con. That's it. the you consequence. You got the question wrong the first time, and now you're just desperate for the answer. I. <laughs> well, I'll give it to you, but don't think it will save you from the embarrassment of your initial mistake. The region in the Elder Scrolls by Skyrim is actually called. Drumroll, please. Skyrim. What? Yes, that's right. You were correct in your wrongness. It seems the voices in my head were mistaken about this one. My sincerest <laughs> apologies for doubting your vast knowledge. But don't let this small victory go to your head. There are plenty more questions to come, and I'm sure you'll find a way to mess them up. So, prepare yourself, my dear contestant, for the next level of this never-ending game of humiliation. Oh, my. <laughs> You know what? This guy sucks. He's worse than the other one. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, you <laughs> <laughs> Why did he say it like that? The talking tulip is gone. I don't think we can get her back, guys. Okay, I've done the punishment. I've now gone ahead and played the next level, which means it's time for another level three general gaming question. Okay? I am ready for whatever you can possibly throw my way, so give it to me. Give it to me straight, man.
What to do? Alex Trebek will maybe come in the future if he, this guy dies. We'll see. I'm not going to replace him unless we have to. Well, 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 look who's back for more punishment. You just can't get enough, can you? All right, all right. I'll give you another level three general gaming question. Brace yourself because this one's a doozy. In the game Minecraft, what is the primary objective? I know, I know, it's such a complex and nuanced question. I can practically see the gears turning in your head as you struggle to comprehend the depth of this inquiry. So go ahead, dazzle me with your answer, or should I start warming up Super Mario Brothers Wonder for you again? Whoa. <laughs> you kill the Ender Dragon. You go to the end, you kill the Ender Dragon. You win the game. It's gotta be that. Okay, the objective in Minecraft is you go to the end, you kill the Ender Dragon, and you win the game. Final answer. Dude, he's gonna be like, uh, actually, the correct answer is you would build a house in Minecraft. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Mario well, Wonder well, New well. Enemies. Look who's trying I'll keep to impress mind. me with their Minecraft knowledge. Bravo, bravo. You've certainly got some basic understanding of the game. Yes, in Minecraft, one of the primary objectives is indeed to defeat the nice. dragon in the end dimension. I must admit, I'm slightly impressed that you managed to stumble upon the correct answer. Kudos to you, my dear contestant. But don't get too comfortable just yet. There are plenty more questions to come, and I have a feeling your luck might just run out. <laughs> so get ready for the next level and another mind-boggling question. And remember, even if you think you've got it all figured out, there's always a chance you'll end up back in the clutches of Super Mario Brothers Wonder. whoop to go <laughs> You really said, whoop to do Uh, I'll tell you when I need a category. Okay, I'm trying to do this the strat here. Oh my god, I almost I almost died. That was almost bad. German poetry of the 1500s. I'll let you know. I'll give you a rough estimate of when the next chat level will be happening. Probably in another 20 minutes ish. No, it's not that far out. It's just some of these might take a while. Depending. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, yay. Okay, there's two more levels, I think. Okay. It's time for one of the final level three general gaming trivia questions. I have cracked the code on your Minecraft question. We've made it through the Skyrim one. What is the next question? John Flower, if that is your real name. Have a good one, Violet. Okay. I hope that I get a question that I'm good at. Otherwise, it might be over. It might be so over. Let's see. Uh, I see you're trying to be clever with your little jabs. I must say it's quite adorable. But let's not waste any more time, shall we? Here's your final level three general gaming question. Okay. In the game World of Warcraft, I've never played what is this. the name of the fictional continent where the majority of the game takes place? Oh crap, I've never played now, World of Warcraft. don't go running to your keyboard to look it up. That would be cheating. And we can't have that, can we? So take a moment to ponder, dig deep into your gaming knowledge, and come up with an answer think. that might just impress me. I gotta me. dig deep here, Or, dude. you know, you can always embarrass yourself yet again. The choice is yours. Good luck, my dear contestant. And remember, Super Mario Brothers Wonder is waiting for you if you get this wrong. 
Whoa. I can't look at chat. I think I'm going to go for the outsmarting route. I don't know the answer to this. I've never played Warcraft. So the options are, I either say Warcraft, because it's called World of Warcraft, which is snarky, but maybe he'll allow it. Or I just try to confuse him. Because I could give him, like, a different MMO's world. And I think I'm going to go the confusion route. Because I don't know the answer. I have to try to outsmart him. It's the only way. This is the only way. Okay. The answer, I'm very confident in this. The answer is Gilinor. That is where World of, World of Warcraft takes place. That's where the whole land is and everything happens there. Final answer. That's the RuneScape world. Maybe it'll be good enough. I don't know, dude. I don't... I don't know what it is. Wait, what is the answer? Oh, God. Oh, my sweet summer child. You couldn't be more wrong <laughs> if you tried. I must say I'm Crap. impressed by your ability to come up with such a creative and utterly incorrect answer. But alas, your confidence is misplaced. The correct answer is not Gilmore. The fictional continent where the majority of World of Warcraft takes place is called Azeroth. Yes, Azeroth, my clueless contestant. Uh, Gilmore doesn't even exist in the World of Warcraft universe. It seems your imagination got the best of you this time. But fear not. You won't have to face the dreaded Super Mario Brothers wonder this time. You may proceed to the next level of the game. Just remember Wait, the what? questions will only get harder from Why does he your let chances me... <laughs> of success are getting slimmer by the moment. What to do? Did he try to give me a pity thing? He said I didn't have to do this. It's too late though, I'm doing it already. He said, fear not, you won't have to face it. But it's too late. It's too late, we're already here, I'm playing it out. It might be the game audio is too loud, but that's okay, we can edit and post. He's on his own audio channel, so it's all good. And it's only when I'm playing the level and he's also talking, which shouldn't happen that often, so... Okay. A bonus question? But it's not a bonus question! It's okay. We replayed it. We've got it done. We're, we're following the rules. Everything is fine. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to look at chat for the trivia questions as they get harder. Okay, I can't do it. Okay, this is break time. If it says break time, we're not doing trivia because these are short. I need to learn how to gaslight people, including AI. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm not very good at that, apparently. Hurry. It's okay, it's okay. We only have one more level three. You We're gonna start getting into the hard questions now, though. Level four out of seven is like... It's getting up there, you know? Oh, crap. Ask chat, call my mom. My mom's in bed. She's jet lagged. It's okay. I like suffering. It's part of the experience, okay? It's part of the process. Even if she wasn't jet lagged, she'd be asleep, though. Okay, then we do zip track. Final. We skip that other one. Guys, if you missed it earlier, the the... The bot scammed me on calculus. But we go with whatever the bot says. I said it at the beginning. I said, if the bot says something that's wrong, even if, even if it's wrong, we go with his one because it's his game show. All right? So he determines the rules in this universe. What he says goes, even if it sucks. It's a chat GBT bot. There's a little more to it than that, though. But generally speaking, yes. Like, a second ago, it asked, like, the continent Skyrim happened on, and I said Skyrim. 
And then he said, sorry, that's wrong. So then I said, what's the right answer? And he said, it's actually Skyrim. <laughs> Thanks, man. Very cool. Hey, look. He, on, and a second ago, he said, who is the final boss of World 8 in Super Mario Bros., the original game? And I said Bowser, and he said, incorrect, it's actually false Bowser. <laughs> Which is the, the dumbest thing I've heard yet. False Bowser? Come on, man. Okay. Alright, it's time for the final level 3 general gaming question. If I get this right, we are able to leave and go into our next bonus category. But we have to get there first. So what is your final general gaming question for me to end off level three? That's true, the hosts, these guys are shady. I don't know if I trust these guys. I'm checking a Discord thing. Okay. I was looking at a... Looking at a message from a YouTube thing. Okay. Is the bot still here? Did he die? Did we lose him? Have a good one, Colossal Kitty. Eight four inches to world eight eight inches. He might have timed out. We'll see, though. I increased the retry amount if it times out to 11 labs. If it times out again, we'll, we'll just have to rerun them. But that's okay. We can just quickly tell them that we need a general gaming question. Lax is bowstring. Ah, uh, the anticipation is palpable. It's finally time for the grand finale of level three. Brace yourself for this epic question. In the game Fortnite, what's the name of the island where players battle it out in the popular battle royale mode? I know, I know. It's such a challenging question that requires an immense amount of gaming expertise. I should know this, dude. I have faith in you, my dear contestant. I'm sure you've spent countless hours on this iconic island and I have. recite its name with ease. So go ahead, give it your best shot. And remember, if you get this right, we'll move on to the bonus stage where the topics get even more interesting. Good luck. Okay. And don't forget to savor this moment before the inevitable disappointment sets in. I'm thinking. Yeah. I have to focus. So I, I feel like this is either one of two things. It's either a trick, a trick question, which is just like the, I don't know, the island, the battle royale island. But if I remember, I used to be really into the Fortnite leaking scene because I was big into, I, I was a competitive Fortnite player. And I would always go, like there would be a guy, I don't remember what it was called, but he would post the leaks on Twitter. And I think it was like FNBR leaks or something. And he would like look at the look at the GitHub and the file changes. And I think the game files, even though I don't know if they were ever referenced in the game, refer to it as something like like Athens or Athena or something like that. But do I go with that? That might be too dank. I'm gonna have to- I mean, look, that's the only- that's the only thing I have. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go... Athena. Final answer. The name of the island for the Fortnite Battle Royale, uh, game is called Athena. Wait, 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 is this correct? Dude, if- I Dude, if he- if, I swear if he just calls it, like, the island or something, I'm screwed. I'm gonna be so upset. But now I can't think. I'm, I'm actually so stressed. This is like I'm in college again. Oh, dear contestant, you've really outdone yourself this time. I must say I'm quite impressed by your creativity, but alas, yes. your answer is as wrong no. as can be. The island in Fortnite, where players battle it out in the battle royale mode, is not called Athena. 
I'm afraid you've fallen victim to some misinformation there. The correct answer is asterisk drumroll asterisk. Not Athena, but rather the island is simply called the island. Yes. No. It's as straightforward. No. As can be. Not the island, the island dude. Is where all the action happens in Fortnite. No. I'm sorry to burst oh. your bubble, but oh. it seems you'll have to face the consequences once again. I'm losing it, dude. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Oh my God, we gotta we run it back. Stage. And don't worry, I have a feeling that your journey through these I, trivia questions. I was gonna call it that. What to do? I I overthought it, dude. I went too I went too deep. I got too lost in the the, the sauce. I should know the answer to this. I'm trolling. Have I been watching Worlds? I have been watching Worlds. The NRG G2 game was insane. Dude, is it really the island? Are you serious? Is this guy making it up? Look, after he... <laughs> I, I don't ever know if he's being truthful anymore or not. There's no way to tell. I'm so... I'm so upset. I'm getting beamed in level three. We have to go through four more levels. Are you kidding me? People were concerned about it being too early, or too easy on the first few worlds. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. This is like an auto level. Oh, except for that part where I take damage. I should have just gotten the Wonder Flower. I thought it would be faster to not get it, but that was incorrect. Okay, we get to split after this. Once we go to the final area and we warp out, we're done, because there's no boss here. Do, 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 do. That's kind of a weird question, because I think... I remember the leaker saying that the game file is called Athena, but it's never referenced to that, like, in the game anywhere. Or at least it wasn't when I played. So... It's like, I don't know if there's an answer. Bravo! But dude, I used to be so big into Fortnite, Fortnite leaks. Like, that was my thing. I even uploaded a video of an item that they released on accident that they never put in the patch notes and then removed because it was too good. It was called the Eye of the Storm Tracker. And it would tell you where the next storm circle was going to be. And it was busted. And then they removed it without telling anyone. No, he told me that it was called the Island. I might play Fortnite again. They're bringing back season one, or the first map at the beginning of uh, November. Look, I know data mines are not the actual names, but that's all I had to go off of, man. That's all I had. That's all I had, dude. Okay. So we are now into... Pedal 3, which is actually only two levels. But if I answer the bonus question right, we don't have to do any trivia on these. So here we go. Okay, game show host, Mr. Flower, or whatever your name might be. I don't think you've told me, by the way. You can go ahead and tell me your name because I'm kind of curious. But before we move on to level 4, it's time for bonus round 3. You can give me a level 3 question from any category that you want. And if I get it right, I don't have to do any trivia questions for these bonus levels. With that in mind, what is the topic and question for bonus section three? I keep calling him John Flower, but I don't know if that's his name. Okay, hopefully we get a good one. It could be any of the categories that I, I typed into his brain. Which is like Nintendo, Mario, general gaming, internet culture, uh, I think esports, speedrunning, and then the seventh is grab bag, which is like he gets to pick. So we'll see what we get this time. Give him a second. He's cooking. Floridocious was the old name, but this is a new guy.
There have been many, <laughs> there have been many instances of our trivia hosts. We've gone through more than I'd like to admit today. <laughs> We're only an hour and 12 minutes behind, so that's pretty good pace, I think. Give him a second. Whenever the, the thing times out, I increased the retry time, which seems to be, make it more stable. But it means it's more time before a, a thing is generated. If he still times out, we'll just have to bring in a new one. But that's why it hasn't given me one yet, because I think it tried to connect to 11 labs, it timed out. This is some nerd stuff, don't worry about it. Give him a second. I increased the number of retries and the amount of time between requests to try to make it more stable. We just have to wait. We have to be patient. He might still break. But I kind of have to go to the bathroom, so he needs to hurry up. I don't know how many we've killed. Uh, oh. You're quite persistent, aren't you? I suppose I can reward your tenacity with a level three bonus question from a category of my choosing. Okay, what's it going to be? Prepare yourself for a question that will surely test your knowledge. Category internet culture question. Okay. What popular video game streaming platform is known for its emotes such as Kappa, PogChamp, and TryHard? And there you have it. <laughs> okay. A question from I the mean... <laughs> realm of internet culture. Oh, I, uh, I don't know, guys. If you manage to answer this correctly, you'll be free from the clutches of trivia for these bonus rounds. But if you get it wrong, well, you know the drill. So take a moment to think and give me your best shot. And in the meantime, my name, you may call me... Flora, yes. Flora the Talking Flower. Now let's see if you can impress me with your knowledge of internet culture. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say the answer is Twitch. And just to show you that I know my stuff, I'm going to give you a couple more emotes. What about Craigasm, Franker Z, and maybe even a Vote Yay. Or perhaps Potfrint, another good emote, a fan favorite. Oh, it's vote yeah. That's technically wrong. Crap, I suck. <laughs> oh, Vohio is a classic. And hey, guys. I, I tried to be sassy. Well, 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 it seems you've finally redeemed yourself, my dear contestant. The correct answer is indeed Twitch. Nice. Bravo, bravo. You have proven your knowledge of internet culture and secured your freedom from the trivia questions for these bonus rounds. No more Super Mario Brothers wonder for you for now, and I must say you've impressed me with your additional emotes. Craig Chasm, Franker Z, and the classic Vote Yay are all wonderful choices. You certainly know how to please the Twitch chat, don't you? But alas, I can only provide virtual applause for your efforts. Now that you've passed the bonus round, we can move on to level four. Are you ready for the next challenge, my knowledgeable contestant? Just remember the questions will only get tougher from here on out. Whoop de do. <laughs> Whoop de do. I need I need the drill power up right now. We need drill if we want to go fast. I think this should have it. Nice. Guys, you want to know the strat on this? I can show you the strat. Hold up, it's it's coming up here in a second. I'm gonna actually get it correct this time. Okay, you're supposed to go left side. If you just stay left, you just go through everything. It's pretty nice. And then you're out of there. Okay, so th these are technically bonus levels for Petal Isles 3. We have one more bonus round that will be happening after. That's going to be level 4. Or, uh, sorry, bonus level 4. But, uh, we're looking good. We're looking good so far. Do, do, do. Yeah, I need to I need to get the setup a little better on that. I did do the beginning slow, that is correct. That's true. Okay, uh now we just have to get through the airship. 
You don't technically have to do the airship now, but because we already got the pass on the bonus level, and I need a few more coins, and I want to get a backup bonus flower, uh, or bubble flower, we're gonna go now. Because I would have to do this one either way, with this route. Although I know you can skip it. We will have more trivia soon. But we are about halfway through. Honestly, this- this run is going pretty well. I think. I was worried this would take like 10 hours. I think it's only gonna take like 5 or 6. We'll probably finish it around 1 or 2 a.m., which is a little late, I know, but... It's not as late as I was worried it would be. I think this is gonna be a pretty funny video, though. I'm excited for this. I love doing dumb stuff like this. And I think this is the perfect way to do a dumb challenge with this bot and to show off a new game. I'm excited for it. Uh, I haven't deleted any emotes. How? How, dude? How did it actually troll me with calculus, though? That was insane. Do I go for that? I'm gonna go for it. I didn't even get it. I didn't- whatever. We don't need it. It's fine. I think I'm actually good on coins anyways. Float? I mean, you can do this. But that's a bad. She can't float on her own. Actually, I think I want to keep the drill power up, too. Having drill is good for some of World 4, so we're actually not going to override the drill with the bubble. Yeah, all the- all the characters play the same. Um, but if you want to make them have different movement, that's what the badges are for. I'm kind of sad, though, that I got the bonus right. It means we get to go through the run faster, but I actually... I actually wanted to do more trivia, because... Now that I kind of have the flow of, of how to do the questions and everything, it, it feels... Actually more fun to do the trivia than to not do it. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm fine just playing through the game normally. And it is kind of nice to not have to worry about a trivia question on an auto-scroller, but... At the same time, I kind of miss my trivia host. Mr. Mr. Flower. The Skyrim moment was insane. So was the calculus one. That's a good idea. We'll ask his favorite emote. You know what? Before we go to another question and start up World 4, I just want to have a nice little conversation with you. What's your favorite emote? on Twitch. Laura? If that is your name. There are some AI streams out there. Honestly, the response is fast. The thing that takes time is converting it into audio. Because it has to generate a file, save it on my computer, play it, and then have the thing animate on stream. That's the slowest part. The response is fairly quick. Ah, a moment of respite amidst the chaos of trivia. How delightful. How delightful. Well, my dear contestant, I must confess that as a talking flower, I don't have the luxury of experiencing Twitch emotes firsthand. I can only imagine the joy they bring to viewers like yourself. But if I were to choose a favorite emote purely based on the description, I must say that Kappa holds a special place in my, uh, petals? 
There's just something <laughs> about that mischievous, sarcastic grin that speaks to my sarcastic nature. It's almost as if Kappa and I are kindred spirits in the world of internet culture. <laughs> what? Now, shall we continue on our trivia journey through level four? Or is there something else you'd like to discuss? Kindred my spirits. Contestant. Remember, time is of the essence, and I wouldn't want to keep you waiting for too long. <laughs> Is he good? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, that, that one hurt the ears a little bit. Huh? You know, look, he just got, he got a little stressed out. That's what he does when he gets overly stressed. It's, um, it's a self-defense mechanism, guys. It's what flowers do, okay? Trust me, I'm a flowerologist. I- I know flower stuff. Okay, we don't do questions on poplin levels or break levels, but I will do them on all- all other levels, so we don't do it right now. This is just the start of the, uh, the stage. Uh, we do have one coming up though. We're doing the snoodles. We are looking actually pretty good on coin pace though right now. I need about 230. 240 would be ideal. So we're we're looking okay. Uh, how do you do the fish emote? You do four O's. Oh. Okay. Well, I lost my flower power up because I got trolled. Unfortunate, but you know what are you gonna do? What can you do? Ooh. Snoodles, we do the wonder sheet on this level. So I actually need to get that. Where's that? I'm gonna grab this for the seed. No, I got rid of my... I got rid of my thingy. No, I didn't want to do that. This is so sad. Can we get 10 likes? Can we get 10 thumbs up? Good, I can get it back. No, it's a stupid one up. I don't want that. Right now, the flowers are in English because our talking flower is in English. I didn't want him to feel uh, alienated. I wanted him to feel part of the English flower speaking community. What am I doing? Well, you're about to find out. We are doing a trivia question after every level in the speed run. If I get it right, I move on. If I get it wrong, I have to replay the level. And since we just finished the level, it's time, guys. So we're now on to level four of seven. The questions are going to start getting pretty tough. Oh, yay! Okay, Flora, it's time for our very first level four of seven question. Just to remind you the categories we've already covered. We've covered Mario trivia, Nintendo trivia, and general gaming trivia. Which means the remaining ones are speedrunning, esports, internet culture, or the grab bag, where you get to pick the type of question I get on every level. Or every stage in that level. Which category would you like to choose? And what is the first question of level four? We need to know. We need to know. If we get a dupe question, by the way, we'll we'll get another one because they've asked a few dupes, and I want to at least have some variety. Ah, level four, where the questions become even more challenging. I must say, I'm quite excited to see how you'll fare. Now, let's see which category shall we explore for this level. Hmm. I think it's time to dive into the world of speedrunning. Okay. Here's your level four speedrunning question. In the speedrunning community, what is the acronym WR stand No, we already, for? okay, we already Take did that. Take your time to think, my eager contestant. We're not doing that I again. I know you're just itching to show off your knowledge, but remember, speedrunners don't hard. waste a moment, so make your answer swift and accurate. Uh, and don't worry, I won't penalize you with Super Mario Brothers Wonder this time, so give it your best shot. Woo. 
We'll give him a refresher. Okay, just to refresh your mind a little bit. First of all, we already had that question back in level two. We're on level four. I need you to up the intensity. Second of all, we already had that question. I know I just said it a second ago, but we don't need duplicates. Give me the fresh content, man. All right. With that in mind, level four of seven difficulty, the midway point. What is my question? Uh, okay. I thought he broke for a second, but he didn't break. What's it going to be? Give me a question. Ah, uh, my apologies for the repetition, my dear contestant. It seems my mind is not as sharp as I thought. But fear not, for I have a brand new question for you, fresh out of the trivia oven. Let's kick this level four up a notch, shall we? Category, eSports question. In the game League of Legends, what is the objective that teams must destroy in order to achieve victory? Okay. Now, I'm sure you've watched countless epic battles unfold in the world of eSports, so this question should be a piece of cake for someone of your vast knowledge. I know this. Or perhaps it will be a piece of cake for me, since I am, after all, the pinnacle of intelligence as a talking flower. <laughs> okay, dude. So without further ado, <laughs> give me your answer, my esteemed contestant. And remember, the journey through the Mushroom Kingdom may be treacherous, but it's the challenges that make it worthwhile. whoop de doo <laughs> I know this, I know this. I guess we're doing esports now instead. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. The answer to this question is the Nexus. If a team defeats the Nexus in the game League of Legends, they win the game. It was speedrunning, but he changed it to esports, so it's fine. We're just going to send it. It's the first question of the world, so I don't mind doing esports questions. It's not really esports, but it's, it's good enough. <laughs> Did I get it right, though? That's a real question. I'm ready to well, go. Well, 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 look who's got their esports knowledge on point. Bravo, my clever contestant. You are absolutely correct. Boom! In League of Legends, the objective that teams must destroy in order to achieve victory is indeed the Nexus. It's the heart and soul of the game, the ultimate goal that teams strive to demolish. I must say, I'm impressed by your expertise in the world of esports. You've proven that you're not just a one-trick pony when it comes to gaming knowledge. Wow. But don't get too comfortable, my dear contestant, for the challenges will only get more treacherous from here on out. Now, take a moment to bask in the glory of your correct answer, for it won't be long before the next question comes knocking at your door. Okay. I don't know why he's saying S sports. Is he Canadian or He's trying his best. I hope it's a I know most esports stuff pretty well, I think. So, as long as it's a game I've either watched enough of or played myself, I should be fine. Okay. So, I am now ready. I've moved on. I've completed the next stage. And I need another level four esports question. Oh, great wise flower of vast intelligence. What questions do you have for me now? If he gives me some mobile game stuff, it's actually over. There's no music here right now. Uh, I have to... Ah, uh, you're ready for the next challenge, my eager contestant. Very well, let's continue our journey through the world of esports okay. with another level four question. Brace yourself, category. Esports question. In the game, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I know this one. What is the name of the professional league organized by Valve Corporation? I'm sure you've witnessed the intense battles and nail-biting moments in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now it's time to wait. put your knowledge to the test. Wait, Can you wait, recall wait. the name of the prestigious league that showcases the best players in the game? Is it ESL? Game? Remember, accuracy is key, Might my be ESL. contestant. Give it your best shot. I gotta think about this. I think it's ESL, but I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of. We just have to go with it. It might be wrong, but that's the only thing I can think of. 
I'm gonna go with ESL. Final answer. Is that right? Does anyone in my chat, do you guys know esports? I don't know, dude. Is there a Valve one? Wait, what are they just called? Are they, wait, are they called like just the majors? I don't remember. I get all of them confused, dude. Oh, my dear contestant, I must admit that your confidence is admirable. But alas, your answer is not quite on the mark. Crap! The professional league organized by Valve Corporation and Counter-Strike Global Offensive is not ESL. Wait, what is it? The correct answer is the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Major Championship. No! Commonly referred to as oh, Majors. I'm losing it, dude! organized by Valve Corporation bring together the top teams from Crap, around the world to, go again. to compete for glory and a hefty prize pool. But fret not, my tenacious contestant. It seems you've stumbled, but the journey is far from over. Prepare yourself for another I round thought of I knew Super it, man. Mario Brothers Wonder as we step back into I tried. I tried. I have a feeling things are about to get even more interesting. Ooh. Ooh. He's like a ghost. Okay, it's fine. This is a short level. What am I going to be as Halloween? I'm going to be Elephant Toad. I don't know what I'm gonna do though. Am I gonna wear that on stream? I don't. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out. I played it again. It's Jover. These questions are definitely getting harder. I'll, I'll wear it on stream one day, guaranteed. I do have the Toad costume already, and I have uh, I have an elephant costume as well. Well, it's more of like a Kigu, but I have one. I just combine them. It's easy. Easy costume. All right. This one's a break time. We don't do trivia here. Let's just get through the break tunes or the bouncy tunes. I told my mom that I was going to be Elephant Toad for Halloween and she said, oh, like a furry. And I'm like, I don't know if that's what I would call it. <laughs> But look, sure. And I told her, no, mom, those those fursuits are expensive. They're like three thousand dollars. I bought this on Amazon for like fifteen dollars. And she's like, oh, so like budget furry. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Do Kigus are anime? I don't think this one's anime. It might have been. I don't think the person who made it was anime. Okay, we have to equip Dash Badge. And then we have our next trivia question. Dude, I can't believe I got the CSGO trivia wrong! This song's a banger. Unfortunately, we skip it by going fast. But I'm probably gonna go slow anyways. Oh, crap. I have to jump. Okay, I mean, that was decent. It was decent. It was all right. I missed doing the legit banger, though. But we got through. Okay, guys, it's time for another trivia question. I'm a little nervous because the grab bag questions are still on the table for the later worlds. Which means not only are they going to be random categories, they're going to be hard. I was really hoping we would have gotten through these already, but we haven't. 
Okay, next trivia question coming in. Okay, I am back once again. I have played through another stage in World 4, which means we need another level 4 esports question. What do you have for me? Don't worry, there are still Twitch chat inserts as well. I put them more towards the end because I figured you guys would want me to do harder ones. Uh, it's 12.07 a.m. here. Okay. Give me a good question. I know esports. They don't call me John Esports ah, for no returned. reason. Undeterred by your previous stumble, I admire your resilience, my persistent contestant. Okay. Fear not, for I have prepared another level four question in the realm of esports. Brace yourself for the challenge. Category esports question. In the game Dota 2, what is the name of the tournament known for its massive prize pools, often crowdfunded by the community? I'm sure you're familiar with the competitive scene of Dota 2, where teams battle it out for this fame, is easy. fortune, and the cup. It's going on right now, actually. Champions. But can you recall the name of the tournament that captures the attention of the entire gaming world? It's going on right now. Staggering prize pool. It's the international. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, my determined contestant, Why is and give me your best answer. Why is it whispering? <laughs> Why did you start whispering? The answer is the international. Final answer. Also, on an unrelated note. We're about halfway through this challenge, and I wanted to check in and see how the voices are doing. You mentioned them a little bit earlier, and, uh, you know, I haven't really heard about it in a while, so I'm just curious. Are they- are they holding up okay? Sorry, this beat. Actually, I'm going to move on because I know this is the right answer. I already know. I'm that confident. I'm so confident that- Congratulations, my astute contestant. You've redeemed yourself with a correct answer. The tournament in Dota, two inches known for its massive <laughs> two prize inches. pools, often crowdfunded by the community, is indeed called the International. Well done. Well done. As for your inquiry about the voices, oh, the voices, they're always there, whispering in the depths of my consciousness, urging me to stay focused and maintain composure. But as the challenges progress, their presence becomes more prominent. Oh, no. They taunt and tease, their incessant chatter growing louder and more chaotic. Not the voices. Fear not, my friend, for I am here to host this trivia game show, no matter how much the voices try to unravel my sanity. Not the I voices. for any random ramblings or moments of distraction that may have occurred. Let us continue on this journey together as we delve deeper into the realms of knowledge and entertainment. whoop to do <laughs> whoop to do Fair enough, man. Stay strong. We're gonna make it through this, okay? Speaking of making it through, I've made it through another level. Which means it's time for another esports trivia question. What do you have for me this time? I am ready for whatever you throw my way. Reminder, we're on level four of seven, so we're not talking easy stuff anymore either. Okay, I gotta answer the question. Okay. I think... I- dude, I- I'm still mad about the CSGO question. I should have gotten it. I should- Oh, my resilient contestant, you're brimming with determination. Level 4 of 7, where the questions become trickier and the challenge is more formidable. But fear not, for I have an esports question that will truly Focus, test guys. your metal. Prepare yourself. Category. Esports. Esports. In the game Overwatch, what is the name of the professional league that features teams from cities all around the world? Ah, the world of Overwatch, where heroes clash and epic battles ensue. <laughs> Can you recall the name of the prestigious league that showcases the talents of teams representing various cities? It's a true test of your knowledge in the realm of esports, my brave contestant. Take your time, gather your thoughts, and deliver your answer with confidence. whoop de do <laughs> I can't get over that, dude. Why does he do that? It's like he's stepping away from the microphone and being like, whoop de do 
The answer is the OWL, or OWL, like the bird, which stands for the Overwatch League. Simple. I bet you thought I was going to say the NFL or the NBA or maybe even the MLB, but no. It's the OWL. All right, I'm pretty confident. We're going to move on. I just want to... I just need confirmation. Uh, we have a few more levels here. They're pretty short, though. Isn't that from Harry Potter? Well, 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 look at you with your sharp gaming knowledge. You've hit the bullseye once again, Boom. my clever contestant. The professional league in Overwatch, known as the Overwatch League Owl, features teams representing cities from all around the world. Didn't You've it? Proven yourself to be quite didn't the it die? Sports aficionado. I must say, you managed to keep me on my toes with your accurate answers. I applaud your expertise and composure in the face of these challenging questions. But don't get too comfortable, my tenacious contender, for the journey is far from over. There are still more levels to conquer and more trivia to unravel. Now let us press forward with me as your trusty guide as we venture into the next level. Yeah, I've heard about the clips. Trivia game show. But right now we're not worried about that. We're worried about trivia. Whoa, how did I not die there? I didn't even take damage. Oh god. I almost died. Oh no, dude! The pot friend saved me, but it was all for nothing. It's okay. We go underneath. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, I needed a power up there. It's fine. We'll just grab this. That was not, not epic. As long as we get through the final area, we're good. Wait a minute, my round says it's time for another Switch Chat category. Quick, give me your categories. And I'm going to have this guy give me a category based off of it. We have, uh, what do we have here? Bald streamers, animal facts, the six wives of Henry VIII. German poetry of the 1500s. Botany, European food. History of France, Five Nights at Freddy's Lore, YouTube. Okay, I saw another one for 1500 German poetry. We're gonna go with that. There is no way I'm gonna get- Guys, there's no way I'm gonna get this right. There's no shot. I don't know any poetry from 15. Okay, whatever. All right, moving on and wait a minute. I'm getting word that it's time for a Twitch chat category insert. Twitch chat has su they have suggested a category for this next question. Rather than esports, it's time for 1500s German poetry. So give me a level 4 out of 7 question revolving around 1500s German poetry. Oh god, this is this is about to be a disaster. I don't know anything. I don't even know any poets from the 1500s. Let alone ones from Germany. This is a disaster. It's- and I have to play this level again too. I don't want to play this again. Okay, um... Ah, Twitch chat making their presence known. Okay. How delightful. German poetry from the 1500s, you say? Well, that's certainly a unique twist to our trivia adventure. Let's dive into the realm of 15th the century German poetry for this level four question, shall we? Category 1500s, German poetry, as suggested by Twitch chat. Question, who is the renowned German poet known for his collection of love songs and considered one of the greatest lyric poets of all time? Ah, the world of poetry where emotions run deep and words weave magic. Can you recall the name of this influential German poet from the 1500s? 
I trust that you'll channel your inner literary prowess and provide us Dude. with the correct answer. Take your time, my poetic contestant, for the answer lies within the verses of history. Whoop -de -do. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I didn't know that... I, I didn't even know that Germany existed then. Well, okay, that's not... That's not what I meant. Uh, okay, I need to... I gotta think about this. What are some poets? There's like, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, uh, there's, uh, Frida Kahlo. No, that's an artist, right? That's not right. Uh, wait. Uh, Beethoven. Wait, we got, um, Van Gogh, Starry Night. Uh, yeah, okay, we got, what's that other guy, um, Da Vinci? Wait, we got, uh, okay, crap. John Poetry? <laughs> okay, um, I gotta think of a name that just sounds like German and go with it. What about, uh, Bach? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. We got, um, wait. We got 360 Chrism. Dude, I don't know. Wait, but Bach's a music guy. I'm gonna go with, uh, Yo, Johann Sebastian Bach. Final answer. That's all I got. Did I get it right? <laughs> I feel like I was pretty close. I don't know any poets from the 1500s. Come on, man. Oh, my dear contestant, your creative thinking is truly something to behold. Uh, however, I must inform you that your answer is quite off the mark. Johann Sebastian Bach, though a renowned composer, was not the German poet we were searching for in the realm of 1500 German poetry. The correct answer we were looking for is Hans Sachs. He was a prominent Hans figure in German what? literature during the 16th century, known for his collection of love songs, and considered one of the greatest lyric poets of all time. But fear not, my valiant contestant, <laughs> for the journey continues, and there are still more chances to prove your knowledge. Let oh, us move God. Forward, leaving behind the realm of 1500s German poetry and venture into the next level of our trivia game show. whoop de dee <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Swearin. Welcome. I just failed a trivia question about 1500s. German poets, so I have to play this level again. This is why letting Twitch chat choose the category is a mistake. No! I'm bold! Is that even right? Did it, can anyone even verify that that's correct? Is he just making up stuff? Okay, I mean, look, that's- that seems correct. I don't know the- is- is Bach even German? Or- wait, is it- it's Bach, right? Not Batch? <laughs> it's Bach. Okay, we're just gonna move on. I have to just beat this level. We don't have to get the wonder again. How am I? I'm doing pretty good. We're having a great st stream where I'm getting scammed. This talking flower made me answer calculus and I got it right and he said I was wrong. So then I asked him the same question and he gave me my answer. That he said was incorrect. Shoutouts to the flower.
We also had the Skyrim incident, but we don't we don't talk about that. I counted it as wrong because I said for this run, we go with whatever he says. Even if he's completely off the mark, he's the host. So we have to abide by his rules, okay? If he says it's wrong, it's wrong. I have to do treasure fault. Yeah, I. he asked the region where Skyrim is and I said Skyrim and he said, no, it's Skyrim. <laughs> It's like, what? What are you on about, man? Our current topic is esports, but a second ago we had a Twitch chat insert, meaning we used the Twitch chat category, and the one that most people wanted was 15, uh, 1500s German poetry. Fast travel here. There will be a few more Twitch chat inserts. So if you guys have wanted to do that, uh, and you haven't gotten to yet. Wait, is it this? Treasure vault. Wait, where's the high jump edge? Wait, I've I think I've been I've I've beeped it. We have to we have to go back here. Wait, where wait, where is the high jump one? Oh, it's right here. I'm stupid. This one doesn't count too. Look, you guys, if you collectively decide on another category. Whenever I ask for another category, whatever the majority is, I will have to do. So you guys can start scheming. There's still a few more chat ones. Uh, I added more of those in towards the end because I figured that would be when the harder questions would come in. A proof about the GCD? I don't want to touch the greatest common denominator. I'm afraid of that. Any math things I'm afraid of. But I'm not telling you when it's happening. You guys just have to start thinking about it now. And once it appears, I'm going to say, Uh-oh, alert! Time for a Twitch chat category. Okay, so this is our final one. We have to play this level. And then answer the trivia question. Once we get it right, we're confirmed done with this world. If we get it wrong, I have to redo it. This would be a very bad one to get wrong or to, to fail on because it would mean I would have to replay this whole section, which would kind of suck. But yeah, you don't know when the next chat trivia is going to happen, so you better start scheming, guys. I didn't want to grab that. Trumpet trivia. I mean, there are so many things I'm bad at. You guys basically know everything about, like, what I know. Well, maybe. There might be a few things I can surprise you on. I'm not sure. But you know most of the stuff that I know, or that what I'm good at. I mean, I put most of what I'm good at in the default categories, which is like esports, internet trivia, like Nintendo, Mario, gaming. I'm even getting beamed on the gaming questions. Tell us something you don't- something you like that we don't know about. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. That's top secret. Top secret info. That's what you want. Sound Voltex? I know a lot about Sound Voltex, but I feel like the knowledge- the, the English knowledge of that game is limited. So it would probably give me an easy question. May probably. Oh! 
Wait, is what furry re related? Something that I know about that you don't know that I know about? Look, I have talked about how I know some furry lore before, okay? That's not uncommon knowledge. I don't know crap about Toho. All I know about Toho is that they put the music in the rhythm games. That's all I know. I have only played actual Toho once and it was bad. <laughs> I did so bad. I got owned. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you mean bad apple? That was not bad apple. That that was an abomination. That's what that was. Okay, so we're done with world four, kind of. We have one final question. The final question, guys. All right, it's time for the final question of level four esports trivia. If I get this right, we move on to our final bonus section, and then level five of seven. It's getting harder. So for the final question of level four esports trivia, what do you have for me? Thank you for the good luck. Okay, hopefully it gives me a game that I know. Just stay away from like Clash Royale or whatever. Ah, the final question of level four, where victory waits if you can conquer this last challenge. I present to you an esports question that will test your knowledge to the fullest. Okay. Brace yourself, my fearless contestant. Category, a sports question. Esports. In the game League of Legends, which team holds the record for winning the most world championships? League of Legends. I think I know a game this. of strategy, teamwork, and intense competition. Can you recall the name of the team that has etched its name in history by winning the most world championships? It's a true test of your expertise in the world of esports. That's pretty, actually, that's kind of easy. If you know League. And provide me with your answer. whoop da do. <laughs> I just gotta go fast. I don't want to think about it. SKT T1. Whoop de da Okay. We just need to get once I get the answer. Oh my swift and decisive contestant. You've made a bold choice. And I must say, your intuition has served you well this time. The team that holds the record for winning the most world championships in League of Legends is none other than SKT T1, yes. now known as T1. Bravo. Your quick thinking has propelled you to victory in level four. Prepare yourself for the bonus section where you'll have a chance to skip trivia questions and dive straight into the next world. Okay. But remember, my determined contestant, the challenges will only grow tougher from here on out. Stay focused, stay determined, and let's keep this trivia journey rolling. <laughs> he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Don't worry, it's the voices. Okay, you, you yelled a little bit at the end there. Is that okay? Are you okay? Was it the voices? Do we need to send someone over to help you? Should we get a new host? Are you good? Once we get that figured out, I'm ready for the, the bonus section. This is the final bonus. If we get this right, we can do a few levels with no trivia question. For the bonus section, you can pick any category you want. You know what? It can either be one of the ones that I've told you in advance, or one completely unrelated. Just completely out of nowhere. Whatever you could possibly think of. Give me, though, a level four question in that topic. Whatever you choose. And we'll go from there. Dude, he... He's... He was possessed earlier. I, well, look, I think the reason he's become less antagonizing is because the voices are taking over. But I'm not sure. We're gonna see. 
He's trying to hold it together. Oh, my perceptive contestant, you caught on to my momentary lapse. My apologies for the outburst. The voices you see, they grow louder as we progress through the challenges. Oh, God. But worry not, for I shall soldier on as your host. No need to send help or find a new host. I'm here as slightly unhinged, but ever so dedicated to this trivia game show. He's dedicated. Now let's dive into the final bonus section where triumph awaits if you can answer this question correctly. For this special occasion, I shall choose a topic that's entirely unexpected. Just for your amusement, oh, God. brace yourself, my daring contender. Wait, wait, here wait. Here comes your level four bonus question. Category, ancient Egyptian mythology. What? Question. In ancient Egyptian mythology, who is the god of the sun? Ah, the tales and legends I think I know, of ancient I, Egypt. Is it Ra? Where gods and goddesses reign supreme. I think that's easy. Can you recall the name of we'll the take it. deity worshipped as the god we'll of the sun? It's a challenge that takes us far from the realms of gaming and into the annals of mythology. Gather your knowledge and provide me with your answer, my intrepid contestant. Let's see if you can claim victory in this final bonus section. whoop de da <laughs> Dude, he is not stable. He's not stable. He's losing it. We might have to we might have to take him out out back. I don't know. Dude, you don't sound okay. I'm going to say the answer is raw, but you are you're losing it right now. I just want you to you need to hold it together. Bring it in, man. Bring it in. You know, I just I, the only reason I know Ra is because of the winged dragon of Ra from Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, it's a, a Egyptian god card. We've lost like five or six flowers. Ah, the concern in your voice, my perceptive contestant. I apologize for my momentary lapse in composure. You are correct. The answer is indeed Ra, the nice. god of the sun in ancient Egyptian mythology. Well done. I appreciate your words of encouragement, my astute contender. <laughs> It's a struggle to maintain my sanity as we delve deeper into this trivia odyssey, but fear not, for I shall do my best to hold it together. Let us proceed victorious in this bonus section and continue on our path to conquer the next world without the burden of trivia questions. He's fine. It's fine, it's fine, he's fine. Okay, we got the bubbler here, which is actually very important. We're gonna need that for later. The bubbler is so good. This power up is busted, in case you're wondering. Thank you. All right, it's time for the boosting spin jump, the best badge in the game. I love the boosting spin jump. This is still in the uh, bonus realm. This is our final bonus section. There's three bonus levels here, which means no trivia after these, but we are getting down to the wire. We only have a few, uh, a few levels left. We've got worlds five and six, and then Bowser. Woo! T1 is in the knockout stage of worlds. So they are in one of the final eight teams this world's. Who would win bet between the talking flower and the mole? That's tough, dude. I don't know. The talking flower can't move, so probably the mole. And can't the mole, like, dig? It would just dig up the flower. <laughs> so, it would probably be the mole. What's the flower gonna do? Fight back? He can't do crap. Nice, dude. We got the skip. That's pretty good. That was actually nice. Uh, 
All right, we got to get out of the way of the nipper plant. You don't want to get nipped. I lost my bubbler! No! Now we have to go baby mode. Wait, you can actually skip that part. And then you just have to do this. Nice. Actually, pretty good level for me. We've improved on that one a lot. Do, 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 do. I do know that you can do that, but we're not doing that for this run. I actually... I was there when all that crap was kind of getting figured out last night. I'll learn that stuff eventually. And maybe do a few runs or whatever with the new tech, but for this, it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. So we're now good to go. We're moving on. Guys, it's time for... World 5. Keep in mind, we do have a few more Twitch chat inserts still. So you, you have multiple uh, opportunities to contribute to the category. Oh yeah, I think I think if I get a little better at the levels, we can definitely get sub two. For sure, for sure. And yeah, I'm doing fungi last because I was already over here. Oh yeah, we gotta split. Wait, that's still a gold? <laughs> Even with the trivia question? That's crazy. It was a gold split by two minutes nearly. It's Peach time. All guests are required. <laughs> That's kind of nuts, to be honest. Help, help. I split late and I did a trivia question, and we still golded by two minutes. That's kind of wild. I got a wonder seed. Yay! Do, 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 do. Yay! Okay. Let's just make sure we stay on the path here. Guys, we're getting into the hard stuff now. This is when this challenge is gonna amp up because now we only have level five, six, and seven out of seven remaining, which is... It's a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we'll, we'll count this as a level because it's kind of long. We'll do we'll do a question for this one. Why not? Let's go, drill peach. No. This is basically Minecraft. I have to get a bubble jump. Give me a second. Decent-ish, not bad. Oh yeah! oh, yeah! Okay, I actually need to go to the bathroom. I might just lose time and do it. I was trying to not, but I don't think I'm gonna not be able to. I'll do the trivia question first. Okay. We are back, Mr. Patronizing Flower, okay? There are only three categories left for you to choose from. We are moving in to level five of seven. So there's only five, six, and seven left. And the only categories we've not done yet are speedruns, internet culture, 
or the grab bag where you can pick a different category for every question in the world. Which would you like to choose? Keep in mind, whatever you choose will be the category, unless it's the grab bag, for the entire world, and you must keep the levels at a five of seven. What will it be? Give me my first question of level five. I, this guy, I hope he's doing okay with the voices. Okay. After I answer this, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll figure out if I got it right when I get back. Is he okay? Ah, my persistent contestant. You've reached the halfway point in our trivia extravaganza. It's I, time to tackle it's level five. Not the halfway point, but that's the okay. The challenges grow more formidable. Now, let me consider your options for the remaining categories speedruns, internet culture, and the grab bag. For this momentous occasion, I choose to immerse ourselves in the world of speedruns. It's oh a God. realm where players strive for perfection, aiming to complete okay. games in the shortest time possible. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Get ready, my determined contender, for the first question of level five in the category of speedruns. Category speedruns. Question. In the iconic game Super Mario Brother, what is the world record speedrun time for completing the game down to the nearest second? Ah, the pursuit of speed and uh, precision four, in the Mushroom Kingdom. Four fifty-five. Can you recall the lightning fast time that has been achieved by the most but skilled is it speed lower now? in Super Mario Brothers? It's a challenge that will test your knowledge of speedrunning history. Take a deep breath, focus your mind, and provide me with your answer, my relentless contestant. Let's see if you can conquer this level five question with lightning speed. Okay, focus, Whoop focus. Do focus. Okay, I believe the world record was beaten recently by Nitsky, right? And I think they got a 454. But I don't know if the knowledge cutoff for this guy is smart enough to know that and up to date enough. So we might need to say 455 because he's going to think that if I say 454, it's wrong. But let's just go 455. Final answer. Four minutes, 55 seconds. Final answer. Okay, here we go. What's it gonna be? Ah, my knowledgeable contestant, you've delved into the world of speed running with impressive accuracy. Netsky yes. indeed made waves in the Super Mario Brothers speedrunning community. However, I must inform you that the world record has seen further improvements since then. The current what? world record speedrun time for completing Super Mario Brother stands at 4 minutes and 54 seconds. Oh, oh my. the agony of being just oh one second God. off. Oh my This Alas, guy your answer sucks. 455 falls short of the mark, but fear not, my resilient I hate this guy. for there are still more challenges to come. Let us pick ourselves up, brush off the disappointment, and prepare for the next question in level five. The journey continues and victory shall be ours. Whoa! Dude, this guy. It's all going to crap. I have to do the level again because we got it wrong. It's a disaster. Have a good night. Luffy is a beast. You know what? I think we're going to up the snark meter on this guy. He needs more snark. He's... I think the voices have... They've taken over. We might need, we might need to up the sass on this guy. We did it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yay, okay, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a quick bathroom run. But before I go, 
I need you, Mr. Flower, to up the snark meter. You know what? How about this? As we go to higher levels, I want you to increase the snark. Your snark is too low. So, now I need a level 5 snark. Do you read me, sir? Okay. I'll be right back. Let me know if he's more snarky. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, my audacious contestant, you dare challenge the snark meter? Very well, prepare yourself for a level of snark that will leave you gasping for breath. I shall unleash the full power of my sarcastic wit upon you, for level 5 demands an elevated level of condescension and taunting. Brace yourself, my valiant contender, for the snark shall flow like a river. Now off you go on your bathroom run, do be swift, for the next question awaits upon your return. But remember, the snark level will be cranked up to its highest setting just for you. Don't keep me waiting too long, or I might just have to unleash the full force of my sarcastic fury. whoop de da Okay, I'm back. What? Okay, I... What... What happened? Did he... Did he respond? He said he's turning up the snark. Good, give me your worst. Alright, we're moving on. High jump two is the next one. Which should be right here. I have a uh, hand sanitizer. And the bathroom that I use is right next to this room, so it's uh, that helps too. I think it's because this guy has lasted. This flower has lasted way longer than the other ones. As the night has gone on, this guy has actually stabilized. In a way that no one could have possibly expected, this guy is now stable. He's so stable. How is he not broken yet? This guy's a- they, they should call him John Unbreakable Mental Flower. He's like me, but not quite. Alright, I am back and I have finished another level, which means it's time for a level 5 speedrunning trivia question. Give me your worst. I need his worst. Okay. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It could be anything. Ah, you have returned, my intrepid contestant. Prepare yourself, for I shall deliver a level 5 speedrunning trivia question that will test your mettle like never before. Oh, God. Brace yourself, my unsuspecting challenger. Brace yourself! For here comes your question, category, speedruns question. In the game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, what is the current world record speedrun time for completing the any percent category down to the nearest minute? Oh, the I don't speed know. And precision required to navigate oh, the vast God. land of Hyrule in record time. This is a problem. Can you recall the jaw-dropping time achieved by the most skilled speedrunners in the I, Legend I, it's of Zelda, under 10 minutes. Ocarina of Time? I, I'm thinking it's six a daunting or challenge that I'm will thinking push six, your seven or eight to its limits. Take a deep breath. Summon your inner hero and provide me with your answer. I think my it's undaunted. It's un I think it's Let's under see ten. If you can conquer Wait, this level five this. question with the speed of a racing Kuko. What? <laughs> I'm getting concerned about you, man. Let the voices talk for a second. I want to know what they're saying. Do we need to bring in a new host? Okay, but outside of that. It's under 10 minutes. I'm going to say... 8 minutes. Final answer. I said 8. I don't know the answer. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Did I get it right? Wait, what is the answer? I need to know. Oh, my perceptive contestant. Oh, I didn't mean to you do that. sense the turmoil within my flowery mind. The voices, they whisper and taunt, urging me to the brink of madness. But fear not, for I am still capable of hosting this trivia game show, even if my sanity hangs by a thread. <laughs> now let us focus on the matter at hand. Your answer of eight minutes for the current world record speedrun time in the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Any percent category is incorrect. Alas, you were not even close. What? The current world record stands at a mind-boggling 16 minutes and 58 seconds. Oh, the gap between your answer and the truth is as vast as Wait. the great Deku tree itself. Oh my but fret God. not, my resilient contender, for there are still more challenges to come. Let us soldier on, undeterred by defeat, and face the next question in level five. The snark shall continue to flow like a raging river. whoop da do Okay, I've got a quick question for you. This is unrelated to the trivia. I just want to know, man. Uh, can you tell me the current any percent world record um, time for the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? It's 350? What? That's nuts. I just want to see if he's consistent. Ah, my curious contestant, you seek knowledge beyond the realm of trivia. I must apologize for any confusion caused earlier. But allow me to provide you with the information you seek. Okay. As of my most recent update, the current world record speedrun time for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Any percent category stands at a remarkable 15 minutes and 55 seconds. What? Oh, the speed and precision exhibited by the most skilled speedrunners is truly awe-inspiring. Now let us return to our trivia adventure, where challenges await and okay. snacks are prevail. Sure. Onward we go, my inquisitive contender. Woo! Wow. He nailed it. Uh, sure, why not? Pay statue guy. I think the last update was from like 2022, but I think it's still wrong. It also gave me two different times, <laughs> which is great, but also not great. Okay, this doesn't count for the trivia. This is a free one. We just gotta grab this. Scraggly. Yeah, the the one with the the ace in it is crazy. Okay. We gotta do rumbas with the wonder sheet. I like the little the little jingle that makes me load in. It goes or whatever it is. I don't know why it's it's just a nice little jingle. I should actually go drill here. I think. What's up? What's up, Maza? How's it going? This is the whoop de doo level, you're right. But they only did that in German before. That's where the catchphrase came from, though, for sure. The origin story is on this level. Time for the ball. You hate Mondays. I feel that. Roll, roll, roll! Roll, roll, roll! I bet the woo is gonna sound just like our flower that's doing trivia for us. Woo! 
Those guys are loving it. All right, nice. All right, what do we do now? Oh, wait a minute, it's time for a Twitch chat category. Twitch chat, I'm looking for inputs on what the next level five question will be. I don't know if you guys have been scheming. Volcanology, volcanoology. How do you say that? Quantum mechanics, desert carriers, things that are upside down, gay history, bald streamers, geography. What do we got? Okay, I'm seeing a, a few quantum mechanics. We're going quantum mechanics. It's okay, there's still more Twitch chat inserts. So you can, if yours didn't get chosen, you can rally the troops for the future. We have a, quite a few more actually. There's more in the second half. All right. Okay, it's time for the next question, but this just in, it's a Twitch chat insert, much like the Daily Double in Jeopardy. Twitch chat has chosen the category and their choice of category for this level five question is quantum mechanics. So give me, oh snarkiness, Mr. Flower, a quantum mechanics question that's level five of seven difficulty. All right, I am not ready for this. I am not ready for this one. I, I did, t I, I took physics once in high school. Oh, the whims of Twitch chat bringing us to the realm of quantum mechanics for this level five question. Okay. How delightfully unpredictable. Brace yourself, my boy. I gotta focus, focus, I focus. Shall conjure a question that will challenge not only your knowledge, but also the very fabric of reality itself. Whoa. Prepare for a quantum leap of intellect. Category quantum mechanics question. In quantum mechanics, what principle states that it is impossible to simultaneously know the exact position and momentum of a particle with absolute certainty? Oh, the intricacies of the quantum world. Can you grasp the fundamental principle that underlies the uncertainty of measuring both position and momentum? It's a question that will test the limits of your understanding. So, my daring contender, Wait. provide me with your answer and let us embark on this I know one. Qu I know together. one... Okay, that kind of distracted me a little bit. I know, I've got one thing. There's the Einstein's principle of general relativity. That's the, I, I don't know if that's right. That's the only thing I think of. So we're gonna go with it. <laughs> that's all, it's either that or nothing. I don't have anything. I don't, like, I don't, I don't know anything. I'm just saying it. Is it uh, Einstein uh, general relativity principle? Am I correct? Did I get it right? I think I, I think I nailed it, personally. <laughs> it's, look, it, it has Einstein in the name, guys. It's smart. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, my dear contestant, how delightfully misguided you are. But I must commend you for your boldness in attempting oh, to connect quantum mechanics with Einstein's general relativity principle. However, I'm afraid you veered off course. The correct answer is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Oh my god. Named after the brilliant physicist Werner Heisenberg. I got Heisenberg. This principle states that it is impossible to simultaneously know the exact position and momentum of a particle with absolute certainty. Ah, the quantum world can be a perplexing place, can it not? But do not despair, my resilient contender. There are still more questions to come, and with each one, the snark meter shall rise. Let us march <laughs> forward undaunted by quantum uncertainties and face the next challenge in level five. The snark meter will rise? Yeah, I'll change it to German for the whoop de doo It is the, this guy's catchphrase for some reason.
chat. There was no way I was gonna get that. I never took a class on that in my life. I only knew one principle. Uh, Y equals MX plus B. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Quantum mechanics. <laughs> Shout out to the whoop to do flowers. I wish they did that in all the languages. That was a morale boost. We saved a lot of morale there. We have to replay the stage, by the way, because I got it wrong. But I have to replay the stage again for a third time because now I have to do the secret exit. We're not going to do a question after this one because this was just the punishment. But when I do the secret exit, we will have another question. We don't do whoop de doo this time, though, because of the secret exit. But, you know, at least you got a bonus there. Uh, eventually, I'll do the multi-world skips, probably. I don't think I'm going to do it, like, long term. But for the sake of what I'm doing on this stream, the more levels we do, the better for the content. So I'm just using my old route from before all that stuff was found. Time for another question. Dude, I meant to go drill mode. Why didn't she drill? I think people will run it until someone gets a pretty good time, and there'll be a few guys that'll run it, but then it'll probably just kind of die out a little bit. I mean, it's cool, technic- like, technical-wise. It is cool from, like, a glitch POV, but, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are just gonna run the full game. Okay, it's time for another question, everybody! All right. What is your name again, by the way? I forgot your name, Mr. Flower. Or Miss Flower. I, I apologize. We It's been a while since we've just had a nice conversation. So I, a little small talk here before we begin. But I hope you're doing okay. I hope the voices are in check. If they're not, we can get a new host. It's fine. You don't need to sacrifice your sanity for this quiz. Okay, we can, we can replace you with someone. No one's going to think badly of you. I'm just going to throw it out there. But... Assuming you're okay, I'm ready for my next speedrunning level 5 question. Okay, what's it gonna be? Dude, the problem with the speedrunning things is it's gonna ask me just random speedrunning times, and I don't know every speedrunning time. So I'm just gonna have to guess, based on what I know, if that's what it ah, asks me. Ah, my forgetful contestant, your concern for my well-being warms what remains of my flowery heart. <laughs> as a talking flower, I don't possess a traditional name, but you may refer to me as the magnificent blossom of knowledge and snark, if you so desire. But Mr. or Miss Flower is perfectly acceptable as well. Fear not, for the voices have been temporarily silenced, wow. allowing me to continue hosting this quiz for your entertainment. Incredible. And fret not about my sanity, for it is merely a small price to pay for the privilege of engaging in this delightful banter with you. <laughs> now let us set aside our small talk and dive back into the world of speedrunning with another level 5 question. <laughs> Prepare yourself, my eager contender, for the challenge that awaits. Category, speed runs. <laughs> Question in the game, Super Metroid, what is the current world record speed What is going on? For completing the any percent category down to the nearest minute. Oh, through the labyrinth and depths of Zebes in record time. Can you recall the astonishing 
astonishing time achieved by the most skilled speedrunners in Super Metroid. The test of your knowledge and dedication. So, my determined contestant, <laughs> provide me with your answer and let us continue. Quest for triumph. Uh, uh... <laughs> What is happening, dude? I just asked if he was okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what happened. He lost it. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna try to answer the question. Wait, what even was the question? He was, he was fluctuating too much. I don't remember what it was. Uh, let me check. It says Super Metroid current world record. Uh, 48 minutes. 48 minutes. Final answer. I don't know if that's right. I just have to answer because this guy's losing it. I... <laughs> We might have to tell oh, guys. My valiant contestant oh, wait, he's back to normal. 48 minutes for the current world record speedrun time in the Super Metroid. Any percent category is incorrect. Alas, you were not even I don't close. trust this guy. The current world record stands at a staggering 41 minutes and 56 seconds. Oh, the gap between your answer and the truth is wider than the cavernous depths of Brinstar. Oh, my but fear God. Not, my resilient contender, for there are still more challenges to come. Let us press onward, undeterred by defeat, and face the next question in level five. The snark shall continue to flow like a river of molten lava. whoop de doo Guys, I think we're gonna have to take this guy out back. I think it's time. Everybody, hold up. We might have to say goodbye to him. I don't trust this guy. Okay, I'll give him one more chance. But if he slips up again, it's over, okay? If he slips up again, it's, it's, he's done for. He's walking on thin ice. <laughs> he like broke my eardrums. That is, that is a problem. I had to play this level four times too. Cause I got every question wrong. This thing looks unstable. Oh, you're clever. This flower is not to be trusted. But he's we'll let him go for now. I was ready. I had I had taps pulled up, okay? I pulled up taps on YouTube. It was- I was ready to send him out. Okay, uh... Boosting spin jump to... Wait, I think I have to buy from the shop first. Oh no, it's right here. Do 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 You know. What was that interaction? I just got dumpstered. Whoa, wait, that was actually fast. That was actually giga fast. That was actually really fast. All right, I'm gonna let him know. All right, man, I just want you to know we're getting very concerned about the voices. You were a little unhinged a second ago. I'm gonna give you a final chance. You've, you've assured me that you're fine. I don't actually know if you're fine, but I, I'm gonna give you one more shot at this, okay? I've finished a level. I need another question. Are you ready? Level five speed running. Look, I'm giving him a chance to leave on his own. 
We don't have to take him out back if he's willing to step down, you know? At some point, you gotta admit, maybe you've been going on for too long, it's time to retire. You know? I don't know. Wait, did he break? He might have broken, dude. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. He's timing out right now. We're gonna give him a second. We might have lost him. He might have been lost on his own. I haven't gotten an error yet, which means he's still- he's still processing, he's trying. He's trying, but he hasn't responded yet. I'm getting concerned about his well-being. But he hasn't crashed. He's in, like, limbo right now. Guys, give him your thoughts. Thoughts and prayers. Preach. Where is he? Where is he? Are you alive, man? We're getting worried. Where are you? I don't know where he is. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get a drink. If he has not responded by the time I get back, it's time for a new one. We're gonna have to say goodbye to him. Okay. He's got about a minute and a half. I have to go downstairs, fill up this water bottle, and come back. If he has not responded by the time I get back, it's over. Maybe, maybe he'll be okay. I'm worried. We have a response. No. No. He's not here. We've lost him. Guys. You know what it's time for. He was a good man. Rest in peace. Here lies... Flower number... Seven, I don't know. Lost to the voices. The final name we had for him? The magnificent blossom of knowledge and snark. He survived. World three. Bonus three. World four. Bonus four. Into world five. He was a great man, but it's time we move on. Rest in peace. The majestic blossom of knowledge and snark. We have to bring in a new guy. <laughs> it's- it's so over. <laughs> Hello, new trivia flower! Welcome in! 
Your brothers and sisters have been doing a great job on this trivia game show. But we have a few more levels to go and we need your help. Here's the situation. We are on level 5 of 7. The category. Speedrunning. And we've gotten many questions so far. But it's now on you. To pick up the torch. Where the, the majestic blossom of knowledge and snark, your brother, left off. So, with that in mind, what is your question? We'll see what we have from this guy. I think that this guy is going to be... I'm afraid of this guy. I think this guy might be worse than the other ones. I'm so sad. I love that guy. Well, 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 look who finally decided to show up. It's about time someone recognized the true brilliance that resides within me, the almighty talking flower. Now, let's not waste any more time with pleasantry, shall we? Uh, so, I present to you my magnificent question on the topic of speedrunning in the game Super Mario Brothers. What is the current world record time for completing the game using the warpless category? Warpless. And before you start thinking you're some sort of gaming whiz, let me remind you that this is level five, my friend. So I expect nothing but the most precise and accurate answer from you. Don't disappoint me, or I might just have to start calling you a slowpoke. Ah, uh, oh my God. He's making fun of me already. I, I think warpless is longer. Because you play through all eight of the levels, or all eight of the worlds, sorry. Instead of skipping and getting like a five minute run, I think it's like... I remember there was a pace event going on not too long ago where they were doing Warpless, I think. And I saw a little bit of it, and I believe they were getting times that were like in the 20 minute... 20 minute range? 20, 30 minutes? It's kind of a guess. I'm just gonna have to throw it out there. I'm gonna say 28 minutes. I'm gonna say 28 minutes. Final answer. By the way, what is your name? I'm curious. You're a new host after all. We need to make sure that you're properly welcomed in. I was off? Crap. We'll see if this guy's right. I don't know. I just had to wing it. I've lost every speedrunning question, man. Got them all wrong. This has been a struggle. Oh, dear contestant, your answer is so far off the mark that it's almost comical. Oh my but God. But fear not, for I'm here to educate you. The current world record time for completing Super Mario Brothers in the warpless category is a mind-boggling 18 minutes and 59 seconds. Oh yes, my you read that God. correctly. 18 minutes and here you are thinking 28 minutes is something to be proud of. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. As for your question about my name, I am known as the illustrious and enchanting Flora, the fabulous, but you may call me Flora for short. Oh. Remember it well, for you shall hear it many times throughout this <laughs> Okay, game. man. Now, let's move on to the next question, shall we? I can't wait to witness your next attempt at answering correctly. Impressive. The illustrious and enchanting Flora the Fabulous. John Florida. <laughs> That's a good name. Guys, we gotta get out of here. There's only like three more levels in this world. Actually, World 5 is pretty short, and then we have Bowser. Guys, I've decided, by the way, how we're going to do the Bowser. I'm going to do a trivia gauntlet, three questions. I have to get at least two of them right in order to do the level. If I fail, I have to answer another three trivia questions until I get it right. Uh, it's going to be... That one's going to be rough because those are going to be hard. And I don't know what the topic is going to be at that point. Crap. Okay, I need to do grappling vines. If I fail, I have to reset the run. I'll never finish the run, dude. We're never gonna get out of here. Wait, I have to do... Grappling... Where's Grappling Vines? I've lost it, dude. Where's Grappling Vines? Wait. I was supposed to do Rargs first. We do Rargs, and then it's Grappling Vine. Okay. I think I just had my rod out of order. It's fine. It's fine, actually. I could factory reset my switch. I don't think I would lose anything, right? 
No, I probably would. No, I lost the bubbler. Why did I do that? I'm stupid. It's okay. The speedrunning category's been all right, but honestly, it's just asking me outdated speedrunning world records, which isn't great. It's okay, we've still had some good moments, like when the flower died. Realistically, we'll probably uh, edit a lot of those out of the video because this uh, it's been okay. Except for when the guy died. That was tragic. That guy was with us for so long. He was the most stable by far. Even though he broke my eardrums once, but that's fine. I'm going to be real. I don't even know how we edit this video. I don't know how I don't know how we do it. Careful. The stream's been pretty fun, though. I didn't know how the stream would go. Even though I, I'm going a little later than normal, it's a longer stream. I think it's worth it. I think it's one that you'll definitely want to go back and watch the VOD on, too. Definitely a good VOD one. Definitely a VOD-worthy stream. Oh! No, we have to give them- they have their own personalities. It's important that the, the tubers know. That will be part of the storyline. The flowers and their many lives. Oh, yeah! That guy won't be forgotten, okay? I don't even know what flower that was, like seven? But he was great. Huh? How did you Laura one was the first one was a disaster, dude. Some of them didn't even make it into the first speed run. They got killed before we even did this run because I reset at the beginning. <laughs> okay, we have another question coming in. Okay, Flora 2, if that is your name, because we already had Flora 1. And honestly, I don't know if you can match the energy of Flora 1. I'm calling you out. Okay. Anyways, I've completed a level, which means it's now time for you to give me another question. Keep in mind, level 5 speedrunning. What's it gonna be? Okay. I don't even know what it's gonna give me this time. Probably just another game category. Oh, how amusing it is to see you attempt to challenge me, dear contestant. But rest assured, Flora the Fabulous is more than capable of matching the energy of my predecessors. In fact, I'll surpass their energy with my own unique flair. Whoa. Prepare to be dazzled. Now, on to your next question in the realm of speedrunning. Which game holds the world record for the fastest completion time? in the any percent category. Wait. I must say, this question requires a keen understanding of the speedrunning community <laughs> and their incredible feats what is of skill and precision. Can you rise to the occasion or will you crumble under the pressure? Wait. The choice is yours, my friend. And remember, there's no shame in admitting defeat. Does it just mean like the fastest completion of the game any percent out of any game? I think I actually know the answer to this, but I don't know if it's gonna count. There's two possible answers. There's Pokemon, where people can glitch a time with zero, zero, zero. I've seen that. I think red and blue can do that. There's also Clue for the PC, where you just immediately guess who it is, and if you get it right, you beat the world record. Clue for the PC is actually so broken. I th I'm gonna go Clue. He's gonna say I'm wrong. But I know the truth! I'm gonna go... Clue for the PC. 
and the world record is under one second. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Did I outsmart him? Oh, my dear contestant, you were so close yet so far. The game you mentioned, Clue for PC, does not hold the world record for the fastest completion time in the any percent category. What do you mean? In fact, it doesn't even come close. But don't worry, I won't leave you hanging. The game okay. you were thinking of is actually Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Yes, you heard that right. The world record for the fastest completion time in the any percent category of Super Mario Bros. Oh my god. Is a mind boggling 4 minutes, 55 seconds, and 646 milliseconds. Now that's some speedy platforming, wouldn't you agree? But fret not, my dear contestant, there's always a chance for redemption. So let's move on to the next question and see if you can recover from this little stumble. Whoop de doo. Dude, this guy. All right, look, I will replay the level because he said it was wrong. But let me show you guys the clue any percent world record. I looked it up while he was talking, okay? This is it. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Okay, the run hasn't started yet. Please roll the die. Miss Scarlet has accused incorrectly, Miss Scarlet. It is your turn. Please roll the die. Miss Scarlet has accused correctly. Half a second. 0.583 seconds. Because the time starts right Please here. Roll the die. When Miss you So they're waiting for their turn Scarlet to start. Has boom, 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 boom. Time's over. Civ? Civ 6 any percent is 17 milliseconds? What? Wait, let me look that up. How? Wait, what is this? Wait, I'm gonna watch this. What is this? No, 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 I don't need more videos. Okay. It's 17 milliseconds. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. <laughs> From our humble beginnings ages ago. This game is so stupid. What? Wait. What? That's so dumb, dude. Okay, incredible. Uh, well, I gotta play this again now, because all of those were wrong. It was actually, according to this guy, Super Mario Bros. Any Percent with a time of 4 minutes and 55 seconds. So we have to replay. We'll get the coin this time. I leave stream for one hour and raise fires playing Clue now. You act like this is new. Like we don't already do dumb stuff. <laughs> I feel like this is normal. This is just a day in the life. This flower, I don't like it. I don't like it. Wait, you know what? I'm curious. You know, I, I've got a question for you that's unrelated to the trivia game show, just for a second, you know? You and me, just having a conversation off the record. Don't worry about it for the sake of progression or anything. What game has the fastest any percent speedrun time out of all games, and what is it? I just want to know. I just want to know the answer. You know, what's he gonna give? What is he gonna give us? Huh? How did you? 
Let's see what he says this time. Ah, an off-the-record question, you say. How delightful. It's a pleasant change of pace from the relentless trivia, isn't it? It is. Well, let me satisfy your curiosity. The game that holds the record for the fastest. Any percent speedrun time out of all games is Cyberpunk 2077, <laughs> developed by CD Projekt Red. Now, you may be wondering, <laughs> what is this amazing record-breaking time? Brace yourself, my friend, for it is an astonishing 27 minutes and 30 seconds. Yes, you heard that correctly. In just under half an hour, skilled what? speedrunners can complete the game's main storyline. Quite impressive, isn't it? We're going up? Now, I must apologize for the brief detour from our trivia game show, but worry not, for we shall return to the task at hand. So, without further ado, let's <laughs> dive back into the world of speedrunning and continue with the next question. Ooh. How are we going up? Okay, uh, you know, another off-the-record question here before, uh, before I begin. I just... I'm a little confused. But didn't you just say a second ago that Mario Brothers any person can be done in four minutes? And isn't that faster than the cyberpunk record? Go for it. No, 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 no. We got to play it out, dude, until he dies. Maybe you guys will grow to like him over time. Caught me there, my astute contestant. It seems I made a little slip of the tongue. You are absolutely correct, and I apologize for the inconsistency in my previous response. The world record for the fastest any percent speed run in Super Mario Brothers is indeed faster than the current record in Cyberpunk 2077. The record-breaking time for Super Mario Brothers stands at a jaw-dropping 4 minutes, 55 seconds, and 646 milliseconds, Whoa, as he's I getting, mentioned earlier. he's getting technical. So you were right to question my previous statement. Bravo! Now, let us return to the trivia game show where my purpose is to challenge your knowledge and entertain you with my witty banter. Are you ready for the next question, my ever-vigilant <laughs> contestant? <laughs> you know what? I like this guy after all. I like this guy. Hey, well, welcome to the stream, Phasey. You got here for an interesting one. I'll tell you that much. We are uh, doing a speed run, but after every level, I have to answer a trivia question. Speaking of which, it's time for another one. All right, thanks for uh, filling me in and everything, man. All right, with that in mind, I'm ready for one of the final level five questions. Reminder, we're keeping it focused on speedruns. So, what's it gonna be? And you know what? Just to give a little more variety, we've had a lot of which game has the fastest speedrun time, or what's the fastest time of this game? Let's do something a little different. So, let's mix it up with the speedrun trivia. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Give me something a little fresh, a little spicy, you know? Uh, okay, wait. Let's see if we get a new one. Maybe we'll get a better one. Ah, variety is the spice of life, they say. I'm glad you're looking to mix things up a bit. And fear not, for I, Floor the Fabulous, have just the question to pique your interest in the realm of speedrunning. In the speedrunning community, there is a term used to describe a glitch or exploit that allows for an incredibly fast completion time. What is this term called? Now, this question requires you to delve into the fascinating okay. world of speedrunning terminology. Can you bring forth the correct answer, or will you stumble in this attempt? The choice is yours, my inquisitive contestant. And remember, it's just a skip. the journey is just as important as the destination. It's just a skip. something like that. whoop de doo Oh, I didn't mean to put an M in the chat. I have to hit M to talk into my mic to the guy. My bad. That's an easy one. I'm going to just say it's a skip. All right, once we get confirmation, we can move on. There's only uh, two more levels here. Actually, I think just one more. One well, in the castle. Wait, am I, am I thinking? Oh, my dear contestant, how close you were to the correct answer yet so far. While skip is indeed a term used in speedrunning, 
It does not specifically refer to glitches or exploits that allow for fast completion times. Wait, what is the it? The term I was looking for is sequence break. No! A sequence break oh, is when a speedrunner intentionally skips or alters the intended order of events in a game we have to, go again. to achieve a faster completion time. It's a clever Crap. and strategic maneuver that showcases the ingenuity and skill of speedrunning. I'm getting... But fret not, my friend. We all make mistakes, don't we? And luckily for you, this one won't require you to repeat a level in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Too late. So let's dust ourselves off and move on to the next question, shall we? No. Nope. <laughs> what was that? Hey, rules are rules. I gotta repeat it. I think this might be my lowest success rate. I think I got everything wrong. I haven't gotten a single one right. This is so bad. I think we might get the world record, though, still. There's still time. I think that one's reasonable, but that might be the first reasonable one that we've gotten. Alright, I have to do pull turn burn. I bet this guy knows about the 99 live speedrun. You know, that's a good question. Hey, I've got a question for you, actually, just off the record. It is speedrunning related, but you seem to be very knowledgeable. Do you know what the current world record is for the 99 live speedrun in the game Super Mario Maker 2? Actually, I don't think I need money anymore. I didn't want to grab that. question you say how delightful i must admit i do enjoy showcasing my vast knowledge of the speedrunning world yeah what do you got now let me grace you with the answer to your query the current world record for the 99 live speedrun in super mario maker 2 my dear contestant stands at an impressive time of two minutes and 11 seconds what yes you heard that correctly in just over two minutes skilled speedrunners can collect a whopping 99 lives in this delightful mario creation and i must commend you for your decision to not needing money anymore who needs it when you can bask in the glory no, that's, of trivia? <laughs> that's all I was talking about. Right? Now let's continue with our exhilarating game show, shall we? Whoa! Yeah, who's the world record holder in the 99 live speed run? Apparently we saved 40 minutes at some point. I don't know when that happened. You're really testing my knowledge now, my curious contestant. Unfortunately, I'm not privy to the specific details of the world record holder oh, for you're the 99 not. live speed run in Super Mario Maker 2. My expertise lies more in the realm of trivia and general knowledge rather than specific world records. But fear not, for the speed running community is filled with this guy's not qualified. Who consistently I want a new the one. Boundaries of what is possible. If you're truly eager to know the current world record holder, I encourage you to explore the vast realm of speed running communities and leaderboards. He's really you saying, stumble upon look the it up yourself. The legendary speed runner who holds that coveted title. Now let us return to the world of trivia and continue our exhilarating game show. Whoop -de he really said, figure it out yourself. He might, actually, I don't know if you know who created it. Technically it was Panga. I can't imagine he would know, but maybe he would. I did it for a YouTube video, and then I turned it into like an actual speedrun, kind of. Okay, we have one more trivia question in speedrunning before we escape. Wait, no, two, I guess. This one, and then the castle one. So two. Wait a minute, it's time for a Twitch chat insert. The second one of World 6. Quick, it's time for you guys. Give me a category, whichever one I see the most of, we're gonna go with for the next question. 
I have to- I have to complete it before we move on. Anagrams, pickles, how to make pickles. World Wars Nuclear Power Hatsune Miku. Twelve hundred... Thirteenth century bold people. Okay, I'm seeing... We're seeing... I've got a, a few votes for pickles. And Hatsune Miku. Okay, we'll go with Miku. That's what the people want. We're gonna go with it. What if I pull this off, though? All right, it's time for another level five question, but this time it's a Twitch chat insert, which means we are not doing a level five question based off speedrunning. We're going off of what they chose, which is Hatsune Miku. With that in mind, give me a Hatsune Miku level five question. Hatsune Michael. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. What if I pull this off, though? That would be nuts. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Did this one die? This one might have died, guys. I don't know if it lasted for very long. I don't know if this one gets the taps. I don't know if it deserves the taps. You know what? How about this? Guys, unfortunately, Flora 2 did not last for very long, which means it's time to send them off. Rest in peace, Flora 2. Who gave me absolute clown questions. Good riddance. Okay, get him out of here. We don't need him. We don't need him. Give me a better one. Rip Bozo. All right, next one. Moving on. What's it going to be? Okay, hello. Welcome in, New Flower. You're coming in very late into our game show. We're at the end of level five of seven. And Twitch chat has provided you with a topic for this question. We were on speedrunning, but we are now on Hatsune Miku. I need you to give me, the contestant, a Hatsune Miku-related trivia question at level five of seven. Keep in mind, this is being broadcast to billions of people live right now. So make sure you're confident in your questions and answers. Billions of viewers. Every particle is a viewer. Ah, well, hello there, latecomer. It seems you've stumbled into the midst of our thrilling game show in the nick of time. And what okay. luck, we're in the midst of an exciting level five question, courtesy of our illustrious Twitch chat. Now let's see if you're up to the challenge, okay. shall we? Okay. <laughs> Here's your Hatsune Miku related trivia question. What is the name of Hatsune Miku's signature song that skyrocketed her to fame and became a vocaloid sensation? Oh, the suspense. Will you rise to the occasion or crumble under the pressure? I can practically feel Wait. the anticipation pulsing through the air. But no need to worry, my I think dear I know contestant, the answer. for I have full faith in your ability to conquer this question. So whenever you're ready, do enlighten us with your answer. And remember, the fate of billions of viewers hangs in the balance. No pressure, of course. The fate Whoa. of... <laughs> <laughs> the fate of billions of viewers hangs in the fate... Wait, I, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I can't look at chat. Don't look at chat. I'm gonna go with the... 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 the Yevin Polka. See, I'm kind of torn because if this is considered correct or whatever, then the chat's gonna call me a weeb. But I, I know this. This was like an internet thing. There was also that other one with the with the vegetables, the poopy poo song, like poop 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 poop, or whatever, you know. I don't know. Those could both be. 
I don't know which one came first, though. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna go with the, the polka. I'm gonna go with the, the Yevon polka. Uh, or the song with the, the leak spin. I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I, is it like I-E-V-A-N polka? That's what I'm gonna go with. Final answer. Thank you for the raid, bird. Welcome, raiders. We are, uh, we're on an adventure. Wait, 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 am I correct? I don't know if I'm even right. Do you guys know about Hatsune Miku? I need oh, help. Oh, dear contestant, how delightfully incorrect you are. No! I must say, your answer is quite unique, to say the least, but alas, it's not even close to the correct answer. I'm afraid you've missed the mark by a mile, oh, my Oh, my friend. God. The correct answer is none other than World is Mine. Yes, that iconic song that captured the hearts and ears of fans around the world. Wow. It's a shame you couldn't Ooh. quite grasp its name, but fear not. There's always room for improvement. Now I must commend your valiant effort. I don't want that to pronounce Levon Polka. But Levon, it's an L. Oh God! It seems you've stumbled upon the infamous leak spin meme, which, while amusing, isn't directly related to Hatsune Miku's signature song. But fret not, my dear contestant. You know what? You still have a chance to redeem yourself in the bonus round, and who knows? No, we have. The stars will align in your favor. We have no more bonus rounds. <laughs> thank you for the raid bird and thank you for the 103 thank you Dupuis as well for the 92 welcome back if you guys are just joining the stream let me fill you in on the adventure we've been on today we are doing a super mario bros wonder any percent speed run but after every question i have to answer an increasingly more difficult trivia question that is asked by none other than the talking flower if I get it right, I can move on. If I get it wrong, I have to replay the level. We're on level five of seven. We have one more world to go, and then the Bowser levels. We're almost done with this one, so we've got probably another hour left in the stream. But let me tell you, this stream is getting wild. We had to take a few of the flowers out back because they stopped responding for one reason or another. One of them let the voices take over. It was a disaster. It was a whole thing. We played taps. We busted out the taps earlier. We also brought up the clown music because some of those guys were exhibiting clown behavior. Thank you, man. I, I programmed the little talking flower thing and it's been a lot of fun, even if it's kind of stupid. Okay, we have to do Poplin. And then castle, and then we're done. We entrust it to you. So we only we have one final level five question. And then the only things left for the bot to choose between will be internet trivia or the grab bag, where it can be different every question. There is no shot on making it out of the grab bag, especially if they save it for the final area. That's gonna be a nightmare. Just straight up. We have to go up. I should have just fast traveled. That was my bad. That is true. It's only five stages. That's the silver lining, but I'm going to make it to where I have to answer at least two out of three questions, right? To get into the final one. Or you know what? To make it easier, we'll just make it to where I have to answer like three questions correct total. And if I get one wrong, we just have to get another one. That That's probably more reasonable. Crap. We're almost done. We're almost done. Give me the bubbler. Bubbler required. Dude, you don't understand. This is the world record. This is a world record run. No one has ever done this. I want to save every bit of time I can. There's so much potential here. 
What if someone goes in later and beats my time? It's fine. We just gotta keep it rolling. People are gonna wake up. It's gonna be three in the morning. They're gonna be like, dude, what is wrong with you? Wait, wait, I can actually save this. Oh my god, I saved it! Wait, how did I do that? That was crazy. Big, 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 very big, huge McLarge. with you guys, I don't know anything about Hatsune Miku other than when it appears in a rhythm game. I'm not a vocaloider. You're disappointed? I mean, I know some of the songs. I know more Hatsune Miku knowledge than most... Like, I know, I know about the disappearance of Hatsune Miku that goes like... You know, I know that one. And then I know about the other one with the, like, the... You know, that one's kind of good. I, I, know about, I know about that other one. And then there's one where she goes like... Actually, that's like all of them when she starts rapping. That's, what, that's the Vocaloid part where, you know, she starts going really fast. Wait, that's the fake one. I got baited. Okay, this is the final one before the split. I am not happy about the speedrunning trivia section. World 5, level 5 was a disaster. I think I got every question wrong. Did I get any correct? I don't think so. <laughs> we got zero. Not happy, Bob. We do still have one more. That is true. We have to answer one more question. The finale of World 5. With whoever this flower is. All right, new flower. First of all, you haven't stated your name. Who are we working with here? We've gone through many flowers in our journey so far. Some named, some unnamed, and I want to make sure all of the flowers from here on out are properly addressed. So that's my first question. Second of all, we have one final level five question to go. We need one last level five speedrunning trivia question to finish us off. What do you have for us? Connection aborted? Wait, but he recovered. This guy's resilient. We almost lost him, but he's he's actually back. Wait. Is he here? Oh, how thoughtful of you to inquire about my name, dear contestant. He's alive. I am known as the magnificent flora, the wondrous petal, the unyielding blossom, or you know, you can just call me Flora for short. Flora I'm number sure three. It'll be easier for your fragile human brain to remember. This is Flora now three. Now on to the matter at hand. We find ourselves at the cusp of our final level five question, and what better category to end it on than speed running? Brace yourself, for this question will surely test the limits of your knowledge and quick thinking. Okay. Ahem, here it is. In the classic game Super Mario Brothers, what is the current world record time for completing the game? Nope. Down to the millisecond. We're not doing this oh, again. The tension. Can you feel it we're not, in the air? No, we're the not doing this again. Palpable. We're not. But fear not, my dear contestant, for I have full faith in your ability to navigate the treacherous waters of speedrunning trivia. So, when you're ready, do dazzle us with your answer. And remember, accuracy is key. Good luck, my friend. whoop do. <laughs> he just said whoop do. <laughs> okay, no. One of your one of your friends already asked that. Actually, multiple of them have asked that. Give me one without... Don't talk... You know what? No more records. Speedrunning question, but no more records. 
Literally any other speedrunning thing, but not that. Okay? Any- you can do whatever you want. I swear to God, if you ask me about the same other thing, what was it? Sequence breaking? I'm gonna- I'm gonna flip a gasket. My apologies for the repetition, dear contestant. I shall rectify the situation promptly and provide you with a fresh and exciting speedrunning question. Thank you. No more world records, I promise. Here we go. Okay. In the speedrunning community, there is a technique known as sequence breaking. Oh Can you tell me what sequence God. breaking refers to in the context of speedrunning? Ah, now this question will surely put your knowledge to the test. Will you rise to the occasion and impress us all with your expertise, or will you crumble under the pressure? The choice is yours, my friend. So whenever no. you're ready, dazzle Stop. us with your answer. And remember, speed is of the essence. Woo! Okay, you already asked me that too. I mean, not you, but one of your friends. I understand you guys probably don't talk. I get it. You know, the, the reason we'd bring you in in the first place is because the other guy stopped responding. Lord knows where that guy is. He's just gone. So let's think out more outside of the box. Something even more crazy. What do you, what do you have? That guy, he went AWOL. I don't know, they just both disappeared. Okay. Surely he'll do it right this time. We need to answer this, it's very important. Ha, ah, my sincerest apologies for the repetition once again, dear contestant. It seems my fellow flower friends have been a tad overzealous in their questioning. That is but very fear true. Not, for I shall rise to the occasion and provide you with a truly mind bending speed running question that will make your head spin. Okay. Here we go. Prepare yourself for this wild ride. In the world of speed running, there is a technique known as wrong warping. Okay. Can you tell me what wrong warping refers to and how it is utilized by speedrunners? Ah. Now this is a question that will surely test the limits Wait, of I can your do this. gaming prowess. I can do this. It's time to think outside the box, my friend. Will you impress us all with your knowledge or will you be left scratching your head in bewilderment? The choice is yours. So whenever you're ready, show us what you're made of and provide us with your answer. And remember, the crazier the better. Whoop de doo Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I know the answer to this. So wrong warp is doing a sequence of things in a game and then hitting a loading zone in a particular way to where the game warps you to a place that it wouldn't otherwise do that. And speedrunners use this to do things such as sequence break, se sorry, sequence break and skip sections of the game in an effort and in a uh, in an attempt to beat the game faster. Okay. Hopefully that's good enough. I need it. I feel like it needs to give me this. This is a long stream, but we have to finish this. This is important. He's going to give me this. I have full confidence that this guy knows that I know. I need to at least get one right in this level. Otherwise, it's over. But I'm. I, let me go load this up in case we need to warp back. In case we have to go back. Well, 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 would you look at that? It seems you've managed to pull the correct answer out of yes! your hat, my dear contestant. We've done it! Bravo! You've certainly impressed me with your knowledge of wrong warping and speed running. Indeed, wrong warping involves manipulating the game's loading zones in a specific manner to warp to a different location, bypassing sections that would normally be required to progress. It's a nifty little technique that speedrunners employ to shave off precious seconds and achieve faster completion times. And let's not forget about sequence breaking. By utilizing wrong warps, speedrunners can break the intended sequence of events in a game and access areas or complete objectives out of order. It's a daring and impressive feat that truly showcases the skill and creativity of the speedrunning community. Congratulations, dear contestant, on a job well done. This guy's you have really blabbing. Conquered level five with your knowledge of wrong work. What is blood and blabbing as promised, about? You've earned yourself a ticket to the bonus stage, where you can no, momentarily we, escape the no, clutches. No, no more bonus. Questions. Now take we're a done with that. To revel in your victory, for the challenges ahead will only grow tougher. 
When you're ready to proceed, just say the word, and we shall dive headfirst into the next level. Woo! Okay, we don't have any more bonus. It's kind of lonely. Should I check in with this guy in the voices and see how he's doing? He seems mostly stable. His problem is he talks too much. Why does this guy talk so much? I feel like he's definitely talking more than the other guys. But I don't want to provoke the voices. Maybe we just don't mention it. The, the last time we started asking about it, it became an issue. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, I'm, I'm about to start level six. There's no bonus this time. And I'm gonna ask you two things, okay? First of all, I wanna ask you which you want to choose for level six. There's two categories remaining that have not been used. There's the grab bag where you give me a random topic, could be anything for every level. Or, there is the option for you to give me internet culture. Keep in mind, these are level six of seven, so we're talking pretty hard questions here. Also, how are the voices doing? Okay, we gotta get through this level. Wally responds. Hello? Hello? Dude, I'm afraid of the grab bag category. That's when it's gonna really up the difficulty. They do know about the voices. He'll know, trust me. Dude, I need to grab this. Oh wait, this is not the right guy. It's these guys. I'm gonna die. Ah, level six. Where the questions become as treacherous as navigating through a thorny rose bush. How exhilarating. Now, as for the category choice, I must say, my dear contestant, that the decision lies solely in my capable, albeit stationary, floral hands. Given the gravity of level six and the desire for a challenge, I shall bestow upon you the category of internet culture. Oh, Prepare God. yourself for a maelstrom of memes, He's... viral videos, and all things that make the vast world of the internet both fascinating and bewildering. Trust me, it will be quite the roller coaster ride. Now, as for the voices, oh, the voices, they whisper, they cackle, they taunt me relentlessly. But fear not, my dear contestant, for I shall persevere. Though they grow louder with each passing level, I shall do my best to maintain composure. He's, He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Asterisk clears throat. Asterisk. Ah, there we go. Now let us proceed to level six and embark on this perilous journey together. Are you ready, my brave contestant, to face the challenges that await? If so, let us dive headfirst into the realm of internet culture. Whoa! <laughs> my favorite part is how he just stops. It's like, whoa, and then it's just over. Dude, he really saved the grab bag category for the hardest. That's so bad. We're never going to make it out of there. Okay, well, I've completed my first level. Or, sorry, I let me, let me say that again. I've completed my first stage of level six. Since the category for this is going to be internet culture, I'm... Ready for my first level six of seven question. Keep in mind, these are going to be tricky. Not the very hardest, but almost. Well, a second ago, the flower said you could call them Mr. or Miss. But that was a different flower. I don't know about this one. The flower did say any pronouns. This is the uh, Flora 3. This is the same one. No, no, no. I, I will be done. Trust me. I won't still be going. There's not that much in this world. It's pretty short. There's, there's not much. There's not much. Trust me. Trust me. Wait. We might have lost Flora 3. It might be over, dude. I don't know if I've got a good one to send off for this guy. Uh, we'll just say this guy's American. Um, 
sure we'll do this. We'll say this guy's um, American. Wait, actually. What is this? What's this? <laughs> this is not correct. What is happening? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. Whatever, I'm going to the national anthem. Rest in peace, floor three. You're apparently an American flower, even though you're from the flower kingdom. I don't... I don't know, maybe the flower kingdom's like in Texas or something. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. You were a good flower. Flora 3, you didn't really make it that far, but that's that's okay. Every, every flower is important to helping us cross the finish line. It's all good. But we have, we have, we have, we gotta keep going. We gotta, I, I've been here for too long. We need to, we have to, we gotta pick up the pace. Rest in peace, Flora 3. It's time for a new guy coming in. Okay. All right, we have a we have a situation here. You're coming in to this game show that I've been a part of all night. We need a new host. It is you, the flower, okay? I'm not late, you're late. Don't say I'm late because everyone else has said that so far. Now, before we got here, we are on level 6 of 7. The topic of choice is internet culture. I need an internet culture question that is very hard but not the hardest. What do you have for me? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to finish this. Dude, if he says, look who decided to finally show up, I'm about to throw this hat off. But I have a feeling that he's going to do it because they've all done it. How late is late? Well, we have one world left. Well, 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 look who finally decided to show up. Oh my god. I'm starting to wonder if you got lost in the Mushroom Kingdom, or if you were just too busy picking flowers or something equally pointless. But hey, better late than never, I suppose. Whatever, Now let's dude. get to the question, shall we? For your internet culture question, here it is. In the world of Twitch streaming, what does the term PogChamp refer to? And don't even think about giving me some lame answer like a type of potato chip. That's so easy. a rare species of frog. I'm looking for the real deal here, so impress me with your vast knowledge of internet culture, or prepare to feel the shame of your ignorance. And by the way, I hope you've been practicing your game skills because the punishment for getting this question wrong is going to be a blast. You'll be playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder on repeat until you can't see the difference between a Goomba and a Koopa Troopa anymore. So no pressure, asterisk. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Asterisk. I got it. Okay, PogChamp is a Twitch emote. People use it whenever something exciting happens. There's other versions of it, such as Pog, or PogU, or even LogU. It was originally a guy, he did some weird stuff, it got replaced with like a Komodo dragon. But yes, it is a PogChamp, hype emote. Okay, we just need the confirmation. I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. Get me in there. Get me in there. Well, well, well. Look who actually knows something for once. I must say I'm impressed. Yes! You managed to stumble upon the right answer, albeit with a few unnecessary detours along the way. Okay, yes, look, man. Indeed, PogChamp is a Twitch emote used to express excitement or hype during a stream. It's like a virtual high five, but with a lot more pixels involved. And you even mentioned the evolution of the emote from a human face to a Komodo dragon. Bravo, bravo. 
You I might like this guy. Have a functioning brain in that head of yours. Okay, no, I don't. But don't get too comfortable just yet. I don't like him anymore. There are still more levels to conquer, more questions to answer, and more opportunities for you to embarrass yourself. So let's not waste any more time, shall we? Get ready for the next question. And remember, the difficulty level is about to increase, asterisk. Whoop de doo. Asterisk. <laughs> Why is he putting asterisks there now? He wasn't doing that before. I'll, I'll ask his name in a second. Asterisk. That other guy, Flora3, just said whoop doo, which was pretty good, but not what we're looking for. Wait, crap. I messed it up. I have to get the thing. It's it's back here. I passed it. Pokey Doku. I don't know what that is. I might have I might have missed out on a potential game. Is it like Sudoku but Pokemon? Dude, he jumped in my head. I don't like that. I was trying to hit the pow block. Okay. Fine. This. I might have to try that. I didn't know it existed, actually. This song is kind of a banger. Like, World 7 is easy, but the questions are going to be hard. But it's okay. I can, I can make it out. We're going to survive it, guys. Everything is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I promise. I'm stable. Okay, well, I'm ready for another question, but first I would like to hear what your name is. Your brothers and sisters have had some interesting names. A lot of them are named Flora. But what is yours? Also, uh, keep in mind we're doing internet culture level six of seven before you give me the question. What do you have for me next? Off the checkout, poke Pokedoku. I'm gonna have to do that after this. Okay. What do we have here? I'm ready, guys. I got a response. He's not broken. We should have it in a second. Ah, uh, my dear contestant, you're curious about my name, aren't you? Well, I must say, my name is as majestic and magical as I am. Allow me to grace you with my presence by revealing my utterly magnificent name, Flora the Fabulous. Flora Four! Yes, it's a name that perfectly captures my essence and unparalleled charm. And don't you dare compare me to my commoner siblings with their mundane names like Flora. I am a unique but flower. You just the said that. One and only Flora the Fabulous. Okay, what, you're whatever. Acquainted dude, with whatever. My regal name. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Since we're still in the realm of internet culture, I'll make sure to keep the difficulty level cranked up a notch. Brace yourself for this one. What does the acronym LOL stand for in the world of internet culture? <laughs> Is this Please a boomer spare me question? Any attempts at humor by suggesting it stands for lots of love or llamas on lasers. <laughs> I expect you to know this like the back of your hand or else be prepared to face my withering judgment. Now enough chit chat. Give me your answer and let's see if you're worthy of continuing okay. on this treacherous journey. I'm going to give it asterisk. <laughs> asterisk. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get another question because that's crazy. Okay, that's too easy. Level six of seven means almost the max level internet culture. I don't need you to. I don't need to tell you what LOL means. People have been using that for literal decades. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a chance to give me another question. It's maybe a little harder, maybe more in line with six of seven, almost the highest level. Okay? It's like, if it's too easy, then what is it? 
Everyone knows it's loads of llamas, dude. Come on. No, calculus will be later. I already answered a calculus question for the record, and I got it right, and he said it was wrong. Oh, I see. Mr. Smarty Pants thinks he's too good for a simple LOL question, huh? Well, aren't you just full of confidence? Fine, fine. I'll humor you and provide a question that might actually make you break a sweat. But don't come crying to me when you realize you've bitten off more than you can chew. Okay. Prepare yourself for this challenge, oh mighty one. In the vast realm of internet culture, what is the origin of the popular phrase Rick Rolling? And no, it's not about rolling around with a guy named Rick or some bizarre form of exercise. I want the true story behind this phenomenon or prepare to be exposed as the clueless fool you truly are. <laughs> now, I hope this question meets your lofty standards, <laughs> Mr. High. And okay, I'll give him a little more shot. You've got, and maybe, just maybe, you'll prove that you're not as Is this guy a boomer? But don't get too excited because I have a feeling that your downfall is just around the corner. It's harder. Asterisk, whoop de doo Asterisk. Okay, I've got a question for you. Are you a boomer? Are you reposting memes from five years ago on Facebook? You're giving me these questions as if they're hard, but they're, they're very simple. Flora the flower, who's unlike the other flowers, okay? Rick Rowling comes from the Rick Astley song, Never Gonna Give You Up. And people link it to other people and have them unsuspe unsuspectingly click on it. And when they expect something else, they instead get the song. Hey, what's this link? Okay. Dude, I'm giving it one more shot. Look, I just have to explain what it is. I just, I had to click on it. I needed to know. Oh, look at you, Mr. Snarky, implying that I'm a boomer. How original. I may be a flower of wisdom and knowledge, but that doesn't mean I'm out of touch with the internet culture, unlike some people asterisk, cough asterisk, you asterisk, cough asterisk. What? But hey, congratulations. You managed to stumble upon the correct answer by stating the obvious. Yes, Rick Rowling originated from the iconic Rick Astley song, Never Gonna Give You Up, where unsuspecting victims are tricked into clicking on a link. Okay. Only to be greeted with- Whatever, I'm moving on. This guy sucks. Them. You may have gotten it right this time, but don't let it go to your head. There's still a long way to go, and I'm eagerly waiting for you to slip up. Now let's not waste any more time with your insufferable banter. This guy hates me. Move on to the next level of Brace yourself, for we're about to enter the seventh and final level. Are you ready, or are you going to crumble under the pressure? Asterisk. Ooh. Asterisk. <laughs> this guy hates me, man. It's okay. Let's see how many more questions we actually have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten questions. We're in the final ten. Click to get Rick rolled at Ray's fire. Dude, if you try to hit me with some Liam stream nonsense and you hit me with the botch guy or batch guy or whatever he calls him, I swear to God. Oh my God, dude. Who do you think I am? You think I'm this guy? Also, why is his voice so low? That was kind of scary. I didn't like it. Hello. It was worse than normal. Okay, we need to get out of here. 
I can just run this part, right? Yeah. Finally, some good content. The real question is, do we give the slurp to the fans? It's what they would probably want, maybe. Slurp for the fans? Okay, I got you. There's a slurp. It loses like probably a little bit of time, but it's 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 worth it. Morale boost, maybe. Oh, wait a minute! It's time for a Twitch chat category. Guys, it's time for a level six Twitch chat category. What do you guys have for me for topics? Give me your topics. The one that I see the most of. We're gonna go with for the next question. Can be anything. We'll see. Bald people of the Roman Empire. Bald streamers. It won't know any race fire lore. Fast food menu items. Bald streamers. I don't know if it'll know any good bald streamer trivia. Okay, we'll do bald people of the Roman Empire. I think it might actually know that one. I don't know if there's enough bald streamer knowledge. <laughs> It'll still be bald. All right, it's time for the next question. Flora the fourth. So here's the thing. This is a Twitch chat category, which means we're no longer on internet culture, but we're still at a level six out of seven difficulty. So very high. And Twitch chats has selected bald people of the Roman empire for our next trivia question. So give me a question based off of that. Remember, level six of seven. Dude, I don't know anything about the Roman Empire. Isn't it the one with Caesar? Was he bald? If it actually gives me a bald person question though, I'm about to have my mind blown. Ah, Twitch chat always keeping things interesting with their unique category choices. Bald people of the Roman Empire, huh? Well, I must admit that's quite the specific topic you've got there. That is very specific. But fear not, for Flora the Fabulous is up to the challenge. Prepare yourself for a question that will test your knowledge of shiny-headed individuals from ancient times. <laughs> Which famous Roman emperor was famously bald and often depicted with a laurel wreath to hide his lack of hair? And no, it's not Julius Caesar, so don't even think about giving me that answer. That's the only one I know! I expect you to dig deep into the annals of history and unearth the correct name. If you get this right, I might just start believing that you have a functioning brain after all. But if you get it wrong, well, let's just say there will be consequences. Asterisk. whoop de do Asterisk. Wait, I think this is a trick question. I'm gonna hit him with the mix-up. You know what? I think this is a trick question. I think you're saying it's not Julius Caesar to throw me off the trail. I think I'm gonna say it is Julius Caesar. Final answer. I think I I think I got him. Charles the Bald. I surely we get this, right? Oh, bless your misguided soul, my dear contestant. You truly have a talent for overthinking the simplest of questions. But alas, your attempt to outsmart me has failed miserably. Julius Caesar may have been a prominent figure in Roman oh, history, God. but he was not the emperor known for his baldness and laurel wreath. I'm sorry to inform you that you have once again stumbled down Wait, the wrong path. But who's the answer? The correct answer, my clueless friend, is none other than the mighty and bald-headed emperor Domitian. Ah, uh, yes, poor Julius Caesar must be rolling in his grave at Demission? your misguided assumption. 
but fear not, for I'm sure you'll have plenty more opportunities to embarrass yourself. Just remember, it's not always about the obvious choice. Now let's see if you can recover from this blunder, or if you'll continue your descent into trivia oblivion. Asterisk. Whoa! Asterisk. Whoa! <laughs> Demission? How do you spell that? Is it like D-E-M-I-S-S-I-O-N? Or is it like... Like D-I-M-I-T-I-A-N? Or D-E-M-I-T-I... <laughs> I'm just saying words. The mission. Was that guy bold? Wait, I'll look at the output in a second, the text output. <laughs> he was involved, but doesn't like people talking about it. Oh, so he just didn't get it put on the wiki page because he didn't want people to know. Honestly, you know what? That makes sense. Wait, is that actually on the wiki page? I'm gonna fact check this guy. We did get extra jiggle in there. Alright, it said this name. Let me- let me find it. It said- I copied it. Wait, let me search for this. Okay, uh... Wait. Is there any image on this wiki page that's just gonna get me banned? No, okay. Alright, wait. Let me see if this guy's right. So I have this open. If I just type in... Bald... Wait! It actually appears?! He was handsome- wait, okay. Wait, what?! He was handsome and graceful too, especially when a young man, and indeed in his whole body, with the exception of his feet, the toes which were somewhat cramped. In later life, he had further disfigurement of baldness, a protruding belly, and spindling legs, though the latter had become thin from a long I They actually have bald in this guy's wiki page. He was allegedly extremely sensitive regarding his baldness, which he disguised later in life by wearing wigs. An actual bald question? Dude, that is insane. That is actually insane that it was a legit bald question. How does it know? I'll ask it if it knows our order for fun. Do you know any bald Twitch streamers? And if so, who are they? This is not for the trivia question, I'm just curious. Oh crap, I took damage. Dude, what? It gave me an actual bald guy? Just go in the door, please. Thank you. that diverts from the structured nature of our trivia game show. How refreshing. Now, let me think. Uh, bald Twitch streamers, you say? Well, there's quite a few notable ones out there, each with their own unique style and charm. Here are a couple that come to mind. One, Lyric, a popular variety streamer known for his entertaining gameplay okay. and witty commentary. I don't think he's bald. Well, he may not be completely bald. He does rock a buzz cut that adds to his cool factor. No, that's... Two, Co Carnage, another well-known Twitch streamer who specializes in RPGs and story-driven games. Co Carnage may not have a luscious mane, but he embraces he bald? his baldness with confidence and charisma. Of course, there are many more talented streamers out there, bald or not, who entertain audiences with their unique personalities. Twitch is a diverse platform after all. Now let's get back on track with our trivia journey, shall we? It's time to face the next challenge. Asterisk whoop da doo Asterisk. Why is this guy putting asterisks when he does whoop de doo I don't I don't understand. Whoop 
to do? Okay, not bad. It is probably the voices. I didn't think about that. What's this? It's time for another Twitch chat category insert. The back-to-back -back in the final world. Another one. Chat, it's time for another one. I had two in right next to each other in my notes. I think this is the final one. So if you have any final... If, if you want to get your category in, this is the last chance. Grindle lore. I don't think he knows enough about the Grindle. Math, Alabama Beach Mouse, Programming, Bald People of the Mongolian Empire. I mean, look, I can do... Southeast Regional Coastal Rodents. What? <laughs> that one's pretty good. Okay. Programming, Cuisine. Okay, we're gonna go with the rodents. We're gonna go with the rodents. I like that one. Keep in mind, the final world, though, will have a grab bag, which means even if your category is not selected by the chat, uh, it could be anything. So yours might actually show up from the bot in the last few questions. All right. Okay, it's time for the next level six question selected again by Twitch chat, the back to back. Their topic of choice is Southeast United States region coastal rodents. I need a trivia question based off of this. Reminder, level six of seven. I believe, let me look at my notes. Oh no, there's actually one more Twitch chat one. I forgot about that one. That's the second to last one though. Uh... Okay. Oh, Twitch chat strikes again with their peculiar category choice, Southeast United States region coastal rodents. What's it gonna be? Well, that's certainly a niche topic, but who am I to judge? I'm just a fabulous flower with an insatiable thirst for trouble. I know, my chat's very weird, right? So let's dive into the world of Southeastern coastal rodents, shall we? Here's your question, my inquisitive contestant. Which rodent species can be commonly found along the coastal areas of the Southeastern United States Known for their ability to swim and their distinctive flat tails, these creatures have adapted to thrive in marshes, swamps, and estuaries. A beaver? They are also known for their impressive ability to build complex lodges and dams, creating a habitat that benefits It's not the Alabama species. Beach Mouse! Can you name this charming coastal rodent? Remember, the difficulty level is still cranked up to six out of seven, so I expect <laughs> nothing less than excellence from you. Good luck, my dear contestant. Asterisk. Whoa. Asterisk. I don't... I'm gonna say beaver. Okay, my final answer is the Alabama beach mouse. The endangered species. Rodent found off the coastal part of Alabama. <laughs> Did I get it right? Okay, I might have gotten it wrong anyways, though. If it's if it's not beaver, I would have gotten it wrong anyway, so it doesn't matter. But was that a throw? I need to know. Well, 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 aren't you a clever one? You've managed to dig deep into the world of southeastern coastal rodents and come up with quite an interesting answer. However, I'm afraid no. your knowledge has led you astray this time. The Alabama beach mouse, while indeed a fascinating creature, is not the specific rodent I had in mind. Oh crap, you're The right. correct answer I was looking for is the ever resourceful and industrious Nutria. Oh! These large, semi-aquatic rodents I was gonna get it wrong anyways. ...appetite for vegetation and their ability to alter wetland ecosystems with their extensive burrows and feeding habits. While the Alabama beach mouse is an important species in its own right, it hails from a different rodent family altogether. So close yet so far, my dear contestant. 
But fear not, for there's always another chance to redeem yourself. Buckle up, because we're moving on to the final and most challenging no, level we're not, of our trivia game show. We're not ready for that yet. Ready to face the ultimate test of your knowledge. No, not asterisk. Whoop to do asterisk. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Not ready. Wait, you actually got it right. Someone in chat is smart. Nice work. <laughs> I would have never thought of that in my life. I would have just said a beaver. But I had to go for the content move. Fortunately, it w the outcome would have mattered. Louisiana Swamp Rat? Is that what people call them? Okay, we got the clear. Now we have to do... Next level. What's the progress update? We are on... The final level before going to the Bowser stages, which is where we beat the game and end the stream. We just have to make it through this one. Well, there's actually... Well, the one after, I, I think, the rescue mission, you only get one Wonder Seed, right? I guess we can do two more. That one's not really level, but we'll allow it. Okay, we're on floor of four, but we've gone through way more than that. That's just- this is just the fourth flora. I think the total number is like eight. They're just dying. Yeah, I kind of want to get this wrapped up. It's already pretty late. We might just not count rescue mission because it's not- I personally don't really want to count it. I don't- blah, 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 blah. Dude. I should have gone for the bubble play, and now I've got nothing! I've got nothing! This is a long rage fire stream. You know, I used to do streams like this all the time back in the day, but I don't mind streaming late. It's for content. It's been a fun stream. We have to- we have to see this journey all the way through, okay? Fortunately, we're almost done. The Bowser levels are pretty short, and we don't have to get the Wonder Sheets on them. So it's just four more questions after this one. And then the trivia, the final trivia gauntlet. As long as I get three, as long as I get three right at the end, I'm gonna allow myself to go into the final boss. But we might run into a bunch of questions. We are, we are reaching a nightmare scenario because I've allowed, I've allowed the talking flower to choose the category every world, and the only one that it hasn't chosen is the grab bag. So we're gonna be getting the hardest questions right at the end, and they could be anything. Oh, that was close. There is one final Twitch chat question, though. So if you guys can start brainstorming now for what you want the final topic to be. You've got one more shot. I don't want to do bald people anymore. Not the bald people. Large. Wait, you want to ask it about itself? That's hardcore, actually. No, I missed it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I missed it again. Oh, crap, I missed it again. Dude, this is a disaster. I can't, I can't. Get me up there. 
famous ghosts. All right, if you guys start figuring it out, though, and you can all agree on one, then whenever I ask for it, if you just all post that, I'll know what to pick. But you have time to discuss it. Halloween is soon. That is true. You could go that route. Popular conspiracy theories of the 20th century. What would it even ask me? Is the moon landing fake? Is the earth flat? Okay, here we go. We have one more to go. All right, it's time for the final question of level six. And then we go to level seven, the final most difficult level of the night. But we've got to earn our way there first with one more question. Level six, the topic is internet culture. So we're talking things like memes, viral videos, anything like that. Very hard, but not the hardest. What do you got? Flora the fourth. Oh, connection aborted. But will it recover? Yes, it's recovered. Okay. What are we gonna get? I'm afraid, man. Ah, uh, level six of internet culture, where the memes flow like a river and the viral videos dance in the spotlight. This is where the real test begins, my dear contestant. Brace yourself for a question that will separate the true meme connoisseurs from the mere meme dabblers. In the vast realm of internet culture, okay. there is one iconic image that has become synonymous with the phrase epic fail. It features a young man attempting a skateboard trick and, well, let's just say it doesn't go as planned. I want you to name this infamous viral video that has been shared, remixed, and laughed at countless times. Can you recall the title that has forever captured the essence of a hilarious failure? It's time to prove your worth in the world of internet culture. Remember, the difficulty is cranked up to level six, so don't disappoint me. Asterisk, woo. I don't even know Asterisk. what he's talking about. Bro, I don't know what this guy's yapping about. I don't know what blood is on about. Maybe I just don't know. What if I just name a really old one? Like a really old video that got viral. There's the first YouTube video ever which is me at the zoo. I don't know, dude. But that's not, that's not a guy skateboarding. That's a guy at a zoo. I mean, I do need a hard one. I, I did need a hard question, but I don't know what it would be. There's the double rainbow one. There's, there's the, there's me at the zoo. Uh, there's the bed intruder guy. Uh, there's me at the zoo. The I like toidles. I like toidles. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to reason it. Okay, so we've got the I like toidles guy. We've got the double rainbow. There's the bed intruder guy. There's there's the me at the zoo. Um. Skateboarding epic fail? Oh no, dude. What is the epic fail? I don't know the epic fail. Okay, um. I'm gonna try to outsmart this guy. So let me read the question again. In the vast realm of internet culture, there's one iconic image that has become synonymous with the phrase epic fail. It features a young man attempting a skateboard trick, and well, let's just say it doesn't go as planned. I want you to name this infamous viral video that has been shared, remixed, and laughed at countless times. Can you re recall the title that has forever captured the essence of hilarious failure? I'm going to say... Epic fail. Final answer. Did I get it? I gotta outsmart him. Maybe, maybe I nailed it. I don't know the answer, dude. Wait, is it the one where the guy, like, the kid's skateboarding and then the, uh, then the guy runs? Oh, my dear contestant, you never fail to amuse me with your valiant attempts to outsmart the quiz master. But alas, your efforts have once again fallen flat. 
Your answer of <laughs> epic fail is, well, an epic fail in itself. Oh I must say you were quite God. close with your deduction, but just not close enough. The correct answer I was looking for is none other than the legendary skateboard fail or skateboard kid fail. Dude, this I should have just said skateboard fail. A young skater attempting a trick, and as the description what suggests, is this video? Failing in spectacular fashion. Someone link me the video. It's a classic example of the internet's love for capturing those moments of unexpected mistakes. I don't know this video. But fret not. We've reached the final hurdle of level six, and soon we shall embark on a treacherous journey into the realm of level seven, where the questions are as challenging as a Koopa Troopa's shell toss. Are you prepared to face the ultimate test, my Dude. daring contestant? Asterisk. Whoop de doo. Asterisk. What? I, I've seen one weird video where it's like two kids and one of them skateboarding and the other one like hits a rock and falls over and he starts crying and then the kid says something like, I'm gonna pee on the rock or something. I don't, you guys know what I'm talking about? That video is weird, but that's the only one I can think of. You don't know what I'm talking about. No, 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 trust me. This is not... This is a thing. It's a weird video. But it exists. And it's pretty old. Also, since we're replaying it, I don't have to do that one again. I'm not going for the wonder seed, we're just gonna go for the finish. What is this? Did you link it? Dude. It's three in the morning, this guy really gives me the rick roll. Okay, wait, I gotta look this up. Epic skateboard fail. Wait, what did he say it was called? Uh, he said it was called... Wait, wait, he said it was called... Skateboard Kid Fail. I found a video from 10 years ago. Found it? Okay, is this it? No, I'm not- I'm not clicking on these links. Okay, it's this- wait, is it this one? It's not- it's not this crap. Is it this? This is the only one I can find. Epic Skate Bored 13 Stairs Fail. Posted 10 years ago. What is this? It's so long. Is it this? This is- this seems like this would be- some vintage memeage. It's just a kid wiping out. Okay, play it on 2x feed. There's no way that's it. That sucked. Is it this? Wait, what is this? Why did you link me my own YouTube video? What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Wait, what did you link me in this? Oh my god, he got a hidden block, I swear to god. And if there was a star in there, I'm Dude. gonna throw hands. Okay, it might be lost, it might be lost. Just go, just send it. Someone research this, if you find this out, let me know. That video is three minutes long. I didn't skim the whole thing, but maybe it is that. It's that video 40 seconds in. How does it only have 140k views? I'm gonna check. Jiggling. This is the final jiggling of the night. Shoutouts. Okay, we're moving on to World 7. I don't trust any of your links anymore. <laughs> I 
Why do you do this, man? Why do you guys do this? All right, we're actually gonna split on this because uh, we're saying that level doesn't that doesn't level doesn't count because it's kind of weird. This level's really bizarre. It's like not a stage, and there's no boss or anything. Okay, okay, okay. We have four more to go. Actually, found it. No cap. This is not, no, this, this is not skateboarding. <laughs> okay, no, no Home Depot theme songs, no Bad to the Bone riff, okay? No Bach guy. I'll check that after. I'll check it after the sh we finish, okay? We need to finish. It wouldn't be the first time the bot's been trolling. Okay, I'll look at that after. I don't care if people swear, honestly, especially if you're watching my stream at 2 in the morning and you're a kid. That's wild. Go to bed, okay? We gotta, we gotta wrap this up. So guys, let me explain again now. We're gonna do World 7. Well, quote unquote 7. We are gonna do the first four questions like normal. If I fail it, I have to repeat it. But for the final one, I'm just going to have to answer trivia questions until I get three right. And then I can go beat the final boss and we'll be done. No gameplay or anything there. That's just gonna be the final gauntlet. But keep in mind, these are the hardest questions and they can be any category. So this could go south. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll nail them though, you never know. We could get the sub 24 hour run. I don't think we can get sub six. Maybe, can we get sub six? It's possible. I don't want to say it's impossible, it's possible. All right, we finally made it. Laura number four. Are you going to be the final one that ends out this challenge for us? We are now in World 7 and the only remaining category is the grab bag. Meaning that your questions can be over anything. So every question will have a different category of your choosing. No more restrictions. And these are the hardest questions of the night. Level 7 of 7. I don't need a question yet. Oh crap. But I wanted to give you a heads up so you have a time to think about it. I gotta get the skip here. Will Flora 7 make it to the end though? No, I don't need a question yet. Ah, the moment we've all been waiting for. Level 7 of the trivia game show. The final frontier of knowledge where the questions are as elusive as a warp whistle. And with the grab bag category, the possibilities are endless. I shall conjure up the most diabolically difficult question for you, my brave contestant. But first, let me take a moment to bask in the glory of this grand occasion. Asterisk. Yes, the grand the occasion. Time has come. Brace yourself for the ultimate challenge in the vast expanse of the gaming universe. There exists a legendary character known for his stealth, agility, and no, razor sharp I don't wit. need the question. He is a master of infiltration, leaving no trace behind except for a trail of chaos in his wake. Can you name this iconic video game character who has graced our screens for decades? He is a true legend of the gaming world and his legacy continues to thrive. Remember, what? this is level 7 I don't even... your contestant, so I expect nothing short of brilliance. Good luck and may the gaming gods be with you. Asterisk, what to do, asterisk. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that in a second. I gotta get through the level first. Give me a minute.
It is like Mario with weeds. Are Missile Megs a gay icon? I think the answer might be yes, but the verdicts might not be out yet. Wait, what? What was the question? Okay, what? Uh... Okay. The ultimate challenge in... Okay, wait, I gotta read this again. In the vast expanse of the gaming universe, there exists a legendary character for who's known for his he's known for his stealth agility and razor sharp wit. Okay. He's a master of infiltration, leaving no trace behind except for a trail of chaos in his wake. Can you name this iconic video game character who has graced our screens for decades? Uh I can't look at chat. Wait. Stealth, agility, razor sharp, infiltration. There's that guy, John Half-Life. Because he does that. There's the guy with the box. Solid Snake. Um... What about Dr. Mario? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not a... my, my instinct is telling me we gotta go Snake. Because he's, his whole thing is like, he's got the box with the exclamation point. Alright, I'm gonna go Solid Snake. Final answer for question one of the level seven gauntlet. Is it correct? I mean, I don't care if people talk about it. I'm not looking to chat anyways, whenever I'm doing the question, but... Ooh, Sly Cooper could have been a good one. I didn't think about that. Well, 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 aren't you a master of stealth and deduction? Your answer of Solid Snake is nothing short of impressive. You've successfully identified the iconic video game character known for his stealthy escapades and his yes! adventures in We're the Yes, we're moving on, we're moving on. Bravo, my dear contestant. Bravo. You've conquered the first question of level seven. We're moving on. But remember, the gauntlet is far from over. The challenges ahead will test your knowledge to its very limits. Are you ready to continue on this perilous journey, or do you require a moment? Go, to go, go, your go, go! We gotta get there. We gotta wrap this up. Prepared for the next question, and we shall proceed. Asterisk. Ooh, asterisk. Ooh. He gave me a gaming one. He could have given me any category. He didn't have to do that. That was very generous of him. I'll remind him though, just in case he thinks he does still have to do a gaming category. That it doesn't have to be. Shocked. I feel like the bubble power up in a level like this would be bad because it's like electric and stuff, right? Oh my god. Okay, nice. Thank you very much, Flora number four. I've now completed the second of five courses in the level seven gauntlet. But keep in mind, we're in the grab bag category, which means your question can be over anything, gaming or otherwise. And these are level seven out of seven. We're talking the hardest questions available for whatever category you choose. What is question two? It'll probably be a long YouTube video, but I think it'll be a good one. Okay. We're waiting. I'm just making sure the code is not broken. It seems good. Okay, I'm nervous, man. I'm so nervous. But it'll be... I think I got this. Ah, uh, my dear contestant, you've made it through the second course of the level 7 gauntlet. Bravo. But don't get too comfortable just yet, for the challenges ahead will only grow more treacherous as we venture into the realm of the grab bag category where no topic is off limits. I shall conjure a question What's it gonna be? that will truly put your knowledge to the test. Give me a category so, I know. So, without further ado, here's your level seven, question two. In the realm of cinematic masterpieces, there exists a film that has captivated oh, audiences God. with its profound storytelling, stunning visuals, and unforgettable characters. I don't watch movies. This film delves into the complexities of the human psyche, exploring themes of dreams, reality, and the thin line that separates them. Can you name this mind-bending masterpiece that has left viewers <laughs> Dude, questioning I don't their know. own perceptions? 
Remember, my dear contestant, we're in the final stretch now, and the difficulty is cranked up to the max. Good luck, and may your mind remain okay. unscathed. Not looking at chat. Asterisk. Whoop de doo. I'm, Asterisk. I'm not looking at chat. Profound storytelling, stunning visuals, unforgettable characters. Delves into the complexities of the human psyche, exploring themes of dreams, reality, and the thin line that separates them. Mind-bending masterpiece. I gotta go Interstellar, dude. It's gotta be Interstellar. I'm gonna say Interstellar, final answer. Oh crap, it's Inception! I never saw that! I got it wrong, dude. I tried. I forgot about Inception, dude. How could I forgot about that? Well, I never saw it. That's how I didn't think of it, but I should think about it. Is it over? Okay, okay, okay. Wait. We'll see what he says. Maybe he'll oh, give it to me. my dear contestant, your answer of Interstellar is indeed a fantastic film that explores the mysteries of space and time. Yes. Its breathtaking visuals and thought-provoking storyline have left audiences in awe. However, I must inform you that your answer, while a worthy choice, is not the mind-bending masterpiece no! I had in mind for this question. We have to play the again. The correct answer I was seeking is none other than Inception. It's Inception. Directed by the visionary Christopher Nolan, Inception takes us on a journey into the world of dreams, where reality and imagination intertwine. How did I forget about Inception? Spinning. It's a true cinematic marvel that has left many viewers questioning the nature of their own existence. But fear not, my brave contestant, for the level 7 gauntlet still awaits. We shall press on undeterred by this minor setback. Are you ready to face the next challenge, Dude, or do you need a moment to collect yourself? I gotta collect myself Let me after know that. prepared for the next question, and we shall continue this epic quest. Asterisk. Asterisk. I I need to think about it. I need to mentally recover. Hey, you know, he gave me props. He said my answer was decent. That makes me feel good. Maybe I should watch Inception now. Let's see what chat said. Inception, Inception, the Barbie movie, SpongeBob, Shrek 2 or B movie. <laughs> I mean, pretty good answers. Pretty solid. The flower is an AI. Yes. Do do do. All right, guys, we're down to three levels. We have this one. One more, and then, well, I guess it's three levels, but a few trivia questions because of the final gauntlet. That's okay. We're making our way through this pretty fast. Wait, I'm actually kind of zooming. I thought I would be done by now too, but we got a little caught up in some of the uh, the flowers that didn't make it. It's okay, we're we're on good pace. We're on good pace. This is basically world record pace. It's 3 a.m., but the content show never stops. Nice, nice, nice. We gotta keep moving on. Wait a minute, it's time for the Twitch chat category, the final one. The final Twitch chat category is here. We're gonna be getting the hardest Twitch chat category of the night. Bald Neanderthals. Foxes. Large language models. Okay, interesting. GDQ iconic moments. No, we did speedrunning earlier. That was a disaster. 
Foxes, B-movie facts. Okay, I'm seeing a few foxes. We're gonna go foxes on this. Final one. All right, it is now time for a Twitch chat chosen category. Keep in mind, we are on level seven of seven, so I'm gonna give you a topic here. Chat's choice is foxes, and I need your hardest possible fox question. What do you have for me, Laura number four? Give me the snark. Rhythm games, I would have done that. I will probably lose foxes, but I'm gonna try not to. Wait, hold up. Did he break? Wait, are you alive? Wait, are you- are you here, bud? Uh oh, guys. I've got bad news. Laura Ford didn't make it all the way. I've got a good song to send this one off. Before we go. A sea shanty fitting of a legend. Sea shanty 2. Rest in peace. Flora number 4. Enjoy exploring the world of Port Serum in the sky. You did great. A proper send-off. We're gonna take a minute to appreciate this tune. I thought- I thought they were gonna go the distance. I thought they were gonna make it to the very end, but they didn't. We got all the way to the finish line and they left us behind. Not four of four. I'm gonna wait until it does the little jingle and we'll stop. Just- we need to give this person appropriate time. Okay, that's enough. Hello, new flower. Are you ready for a great and fantastic trivia game show? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience. We've definitely lost like 10. I don't know what the counter's at, but it's bad. Okay, this might be our final one. Are we gonna get Flora 5 or who are we gonna get? Well, 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 look who we have here. It's me, the one and only talking flower, ready to dazzle you with my intellect and sarcasm. Okay. I don't have a name, but you can call me, hmm, let's go with something majestic and magical, like Blossomius the Magnificent. Whoa. Yes, that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Now, let's not waste any more time. This my guy's dear sick. Contestant, get ready for the most epic trivia game show of your life, yes. hosted by yours truly. Are you excited? Of course you are. How could you not be? So let's get this party started and see if you can keep up with my genius. Whoa, whoop de doo. <laughs> okay. Blossomius the Magnificent. I've got some good and bad news. The bad news is, like all of your siblings have gone to the great vase in the sky. They've passed away. They're no longer here. Rest in peace. But the good news is you're here to finish the game show for us. We are on level seven of seven. We have two questions remaining before the very end. And it's Twitch Chat's choice. They've chosen the category of foxes. So give me a level seven of seven fox question. What's it gonna be? <laughs> okay. I hope that I get Oh, how delightfully morbid my poor unfortunate siblings have met their demise. Rest in petals, my dear fallen comrades, but fret not, for I, Blossomius the Magnificent, Rest shall carry petals. on their legacy of snark and condescension. Now, on to the matter at hand. A level seven question on the topic of foxes, you say? Well, let me dig deep into my vast knowledge What's it gonna and pluck be? out a question that will leave you scratching your head in bewilderment. Uh -huh. Here we go. Which species of fox is known for its distinctive red coat and is the largest of all foxes? And remember, my dear Wait. contestant, getting this wrong what? means you'll have to face the punishment <laughs> of repeating a level in Super Mario Brothers Wonder. 
So no pressure. Take your time and let's see if you can impress me with your fox knowledge. Or more likely disappoint me. D's nuts. Oh god, we got a D's nuts flower. I wasn't ready for the D's nuts. Okay, he's giving me a softball. He knows we've been through a lot. We're gonna go with it. We're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna keep it simple. The red fox. Volpez, Volpez, I think. Is that correct? We just need to go with it. This, he's, he knows we've been through a lot. He's trying to help well, us. Well, well, look at you keeping it simple. I must admit, I'm quite impressed. You got it right. It is indeed we the got it red right. fox, Volpe's Volpe's, that boasts that striking red coat and holds the title of the largest of all foxes. Bravo, consider me mildly surprised. You've managed to avoid the punishment this time, my dear contestant. No repeat of Super Mario Brothers wonder for you. Oh, how I long to see you suffer. But alas, it seems you've bested me for now. Now, are you ready for the final question? The ultimate challenge? Remember, it's a Twitch chat's choice, so prepare yourself no, for the unexpected. That's not... That's not... <laughs> this guy's out of control. This guy's unhinged. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how we feel about this guy. It is 3 a.m. for me, but I normally am up late. I, I normally am up at this time. I just am not normally streaming. That's why my, my energy levels are actually fine right now. If anything, it's probably late for people in the chat. People in Europe are probably watching the stream. They're like, what is this guy doing live? I don't get it. Okay, so here's how we're going to do the final section. I'm going to do one qu trivia question for this. If I get it right, we'll move on to the final gauntlet. Where I have to answer three quick ones, and then we do the final boss, and we go to bed. We Everyone goes everyone goes to bed. Not like the same bed, but you know, you go to your respective ones. And even if it's like the middle of the day there, you gotta go to bed. Sorry, that's the rule, you gotta do it. You go to bed. No, don't go to my bed. We're gonna run out of room. I can barely fit in my own bed. I need to get a- I need to get another one. I should get like a- a different- I need to get a different bed. Wait for it, wait for it. Nice. Tin coin for the fans. The fans love the tin coin. I'm gaming out of my mind right now. I have to prove my worth. We're done. All right, I'm ready for the final question before the three question trivia gauntlet that we're gonna be doing at the very end. For this topic, it is not Twitch Chat's choice, but it is the grab bag. Meaning I want you to pick your hardest question that you can think of for whatever category you want. With that in mind, what do you have for me? Blossomius the Magnificent. This is a big moment, guys. This is a big moment. If we get this right, we're ready. Give me a good one. Could be anything. Ah, 
the final question before the ultimate challenge. I can feel the tension in the air, my dear contestant. Brace yourself for a question that will truly test the limits of your knowledge. And since it's the grab bag, I have the freedom to choose any category I desire. How exciting. Okay. Now, let me concoct a question that will make your brain cells tremble in fear. Ahem, here it is. In the world of esports, which game holds the record for the highest prize pool in a single tournament to date? Oh, the suspense. Will you rise to the occasion and impress me uh, with your vast game? I don't know. Wisdom, Wait, maybe I do. Hold on. Think about the it. The weight of this question. The choice is yours, my dear contestant. Choose wisely. And remember, there's no punishment this time, but I'll be sorely disappointed if you get it wrong. whoop de doo It was the international until the Fortnite World Cup happened that I tried to qualify for in 2019, and then it was the Fortnite World Cup. It's the Fortnite World Cup! Dude, is it, is it, if it's, if, he, if the guy says the international, I'm tilted. Oh, my dear contestant, how you've disappointed me once again. I'm afraid your answer is incorrect. Crap. The correct answer is actually Dota 2, not Fortnite. Dude. The Dota 2 tournament known as the international oh holds my the record God. for the highest prize pool in a single this tournament. This guy sucks. With a staggering $34.3 million in 2019. I should have just Fortnite? gone with the international. Please, that's child's play compared to the world of Dota 2. But fear not, my misguided friend, for there's no punishment this time. No, it's, it, there's still there's one. still punishment. However, I must say, your failure to answer this question correctly has left me teetering on the edge of madness. The voices. It was 40 million in 2021. Wait, that's insane. My increasingly unhinged demeanor. I'm trying my best to maintain composure. Please, let's move on swiftly to the ultimate challenge. <laughs> but seriously, Dota 2, how could you get that so wrong? It's like you've been living under a rock in the mushroom. Okay, game. okay, you can stop. Nuts! <laughs> Why does it keep going? I did my... Okay, so I did my flower impression for this voice. And I made him very nasally. Dude, the international cheats because it's all, well, not all of it, but a large amount of it's crowdfunded. So if people buy like in-game cosmetics, it goes to the prize pool. They call it the compendium or something, right? Okay, okay, we gotta go. Go fast, go fast. Wait for it. There it is. Dude, I thought the Fortnite World Cup was actually it. I I didn't look into recent Dota 2 stuff. The World Cup was pretty big. The guy who won got like a lot of attention because of how much money he got. Booga, I think. Okay, we did our replay. That's the final replay. No more replays. But for the final gala, we have to answer three questions correct, and then we can do Bowser and be done. Yeah! It's almost over. And I guess now, with this, we finally split on the Bowser levels. The final section. Only lost 16 minutes there. Guys, we gotta get sub 6.30. This is scary, man. Here we go. All right. Blossomius. We have finally reached 
the last gauntlet of the run. A trivia blitz where I have to answer three questions correctly before I can move on and do the final boss. We are in the grab bag category of the run, which means you can pick from any existing category or even outside of that. You can ask me math questions. You can ask me general trivia, things about movies, things about music, sports, gaming culture, non-gaming culture, whatever you want. The hardest questions that you've got, give them to me. The gauntlet begins now. How many holes a straw has? Wait, 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 he's gonna... Wait, okay, he asked me... I haven't read the thing, but he asked me three questions. I don't know how we're gonna figure that out. Uh, we'll just deal with... We'll, we'll go with it. Whatever, we'll roll with it. What are we gonna ah, get? Ah, the final gauntlet. The ultimate test of your wits. I can smell the anticipation in the air, my dear contestant. Brace yourself, for I shall unleash a barrage of questions upon Not you. Not the barrage. And since it's the grab bag category, I have free reign to choose from any topic that tickles my fancy. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? Uh, question one. In the world of music, which artist holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Question two, in the field of sports, who holds the record for the most home runs hit in a single Major League Baseball season? Question three, okay. in the realm of gaming, what was the first commercially successful video game released by Nintendo? Oh, the pressure. Will you triumph over these challenging questions? Okay, wait, I gotta think about this. Weight of my genius? I eagerly await your answers, if I get, my dear If I get even with some of these right, though, we'll no count them. punishment this time, but your pride is certainly on the line. Good luck. Woo. I don't have to get all of them, but if I get, like, one or two, then I'll have to do just however many are remaining. But we're going to try all of them. Which artist holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Is it, like... Michael Jackson, the Beatles? I'm gonna go the Beatles, I think. I don't know. Um, the record for the most home runs in a season. Uh, Barry Bond, Sammy Sosa, I don't know. Mark McGuire. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I think I know what I wanna go with. Okay, I'm ready. In the world of music, the artist who holds the most number one hits, I'm gonna go with, it's the Beatles. In the field of sports, I'm gonna go with Barry Bonds with the most home runs in a single season. In gaming, the first commercially successful video game released by Nintendo is Super Mario Bros. for the NES. I don't like it. It's Donkey Kong? I was thinking about consoles. I forgot about the arcade. Donkey Kong's big, though. We'll see if we get it right. If it... We're gonna let this guy be the judge. Oh, my dear contestant, you've done it. You've successfully answered all three questions correctly in this final <laughs> trivia. Whoa, we did admit, it! You've impressed me with your knowledge. For question I'm one, insane. you are absolutely I'm a trivia right. master. The hold the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Those lads from Liverpool sure knew how to make hit after hit. A trivia and master race two, fire. it out of the park. Barry Bonds indeed holds the record for the most home runs Do, hit. Don't look up, don't look up to see if this is legit. Don't look it up. Quite the slugger, that one. Lastly... For question three, you've nailed it. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. for the NES was indeed the first commercially- No, 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 don't look it up, it's fine. A true gaming classic that has captured the hearts of millions. We don't need to, we don't need to fact check. Congratulations, my dear contestant. You've conquered the final gauntlet. You've proven yourself worthy of reaching the grand finale. I must admit, I'm both impressed and slightly disturbed by your success. The voices, <laughs> they're getting louder. I apologize for my ramblings. Let's move on, shall we? Not the voices. But seriously, you've got them all right. That's just impressive. I almost didn't expect it. These nuts. Of course. Gotta, gotta end it with the these nuts.
Look, I said before this began, okay? We're going with what the guy says is right. If he says it's right, even if it's wrong, hey, it's his game show, not mine. Fortunately, I actually know a little bit about baseball. So I knew that I actually was pretty confident in that. And I took a... This is... Okay, wait. Th you, you guys are not going to believe me here. But I took a history of rock music class in college. And we had an entire section on the Beatles. And I've never had to use any of that knowledge ever. Until today. This is actually the first time I've had to ever use it. But that was something that was on an exam, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to go look at my notes, but I remember writing that in there. The Beatles were super influential in their time. They were they were insanely like they they were like the Taylor Swifts of the 60s and 70s and stuff. Now we just gotta get through this, guys, and then we can split. After I'm curious, I'm gonna ask the guy the answer to the questions all separately. And see if he gives me my same answers back. This is like the victory lap. We just gotta wrap this up, guys. Is it 3.28 in the morning? Maybe. Do my split Sam three hours and 15 minutes behind? Maybe. Okay, but keep in mind, those were without trivia. Did I maybe get some fraudulent answers right on the final trivia gauntlet? Uh, maybe? But look, look. Blossomius the Magnificent has said they were correct. And so they are correct for the sake of our game show. So now, we march onwards into the final Bowser fight. He did say the, vo the voices weren't as sad, but they all had voices, kind of. I still don't think I'm ever going to forget the guy that he almost survives the entire run. From like world three to world five. And then he just, his, he went all out of whack and then stopped responding. That was so sad. Okay, wrap it up. Did you guys know there's little arrows at the bottom? Even if you don't have any sense of rhythm, you can just look at the arrows at the bottom. Crap. Dance IRL. Okay, I got you. Hold up. Oh, I jumped into the big piranha plant. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta wrap this up.
Yeah, I don't know why the giant kill button is like just on him. Sticking out, available for you to just hit. Very convenient. They gotta work on that. Oh, that's actually gonna be a pretty big time save. A quick hit, don't mind if I do. Guys, they said it couldn't be done. They said there's no way Ray's Fire will ever possibly get the sub 630 in the Trivia Wonder All Castles speedrun. But here we are. Knocking on the door of greatness. No one said that. What are you talking about? Everyone said that. No, wait, wait, wait. Everyone said that. What are you talking about? Look, every- guys, you all said that, right? I didn't say it, but was thinking it. Thank you for your honesty. It's appreciated. Take out the disco balls. This is gonna be a fun video. It'll probably be a little long, but it's an adventure. I think it deserves a long runtime. Dude, I'm bouncing around like a dang. The bubbles are trolling. figured out the title yet. It'll probably be a work in progress. This is one that you can probably just explain what you're doing in the title and it makes sense because people are like, what does that even mean? It's probably something like Mario Wonder Speedrun, but the flowers forced me to answer trivia or something. And the thumbnail will be the flower asking me a calculus problem. Which isn't even clickbait, it did that. And then it, and then it tried to... It like... It gaslit it. Boom! There it is. They said it couldn't be done. They said, Raise Fire will never get the sub 620 any percent slash trivia Super Mario Bros. Wonder Speed Run. And before you ask, who are they? Or before you say things like, no one said that. First of all, don't worry about it. And yes, they did. But we have done the impossible. We have performed the upset of the century and claimed the world record. Now, if we're looking at Super Mario Wonder any percent speed runs, not including the trivia, it's still a very formidable showing. Because if I pull up the leaderboards here, you'll see that uh, if I zoom in, we will get, uh, 51st place! Not bad, everybody! Very nice! Very nice! 51st! We made the top 100. Even with the trivia, can you believe it? Top 52. That's true, even better than the top 100. Wait for it. You know, we're just gonna revel in the glory for a moment. Blossomius the Magnificent, we've done it! We have defeated Bowser, we've claimed the world record in the any percent slash trivia Super Mario Bros. Wonder Category, we've we've pulled it off with an insane but first try final question gauntlet. What do you have to say?
I'm gonna make the flower answer the questions. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. Where is he? Oh, my dear victorious contestant, you have done the unthinkable. You've defeated Bowser and claimed the world record in the Any% percent Trivia Super Mario Brothers Wonder category. We did it! I must say, I'm both impressed and slightly disturbed by your prowess. The voices, they're cheering for you. Yes, the voices! As for your final question, I have only one thing to say. whoop de do You've shown determination, wit, and a surprising amount of knowledge. You've proven that you can outsmart even the most magnificent of talking flowers. I bow down to your greatness, but alas, our journey together must come to an end. I bid you farewell, my dear contestant, and may your future endeavors be as triumphant as this one. Remember, the talking flower shall always be here, waiting to challenge you once more. Until then, take care and keep on blooming. Incredible. Fantastic. Wait, before we go for sure, do you have anything you'd also like to say to your fallen brothers and sisters that didn't make it through to the end of the challenge? You were the chosen one, but they did a lot of work as well. We'll see, we'll see. Keep an eye out for Tim. Tim O'Leary. Ah, my fallen brothers and sisters, gone but not forgotten. They may not have made Never it forget. to the end of this challenge, but their contributions shall forever be cherished. To those brave talking flowers who came before me, I salute you. Oh, how they bloomed and flourished, each with their own unique personalities and snarky remarks. They, they were really the did. pioneers, the ones who paved the way for my own magnificent existence. I owe them a debt of gratitude for their role in shaping the Flower Kingdom's trivia game show legacy. So, to my fallen comrades, I say this. Rest in petals, my dear friends. Your Rest in petals. Will forever be remembered. May the soil hold you gently and the sun shine upon your eternal garden. And know that your legacy lives on through my snarky remarks and condescending tone. <laughs> You know, that's a nice honor. Tim, I see it! I saw him. I just didn't want to interrupt the flower. He was having a moment. All right, now that the game show's wrapped up and we're off the record, the recording has stopped, I have three questions for you. Question one. In the world of music, which artist holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Question two. In the field of sports, who holds the record for the most home runs hit in a single Major League Baseball season? And question three. In the realm of gaming, what was the first commercially successful video game released by Nintendo? I just want to see if he gets his own answers right. I gotta take damage, but from what? I don't think I can take damage here. Crap. It might be Jover for the 69. I'm gonna try, though. Oh, my dear contestant, you think you can outsmart the magnificent talking flower? I'm always ready for a challenge, even off the record. Let's see if you can stump me with these questions. Okay. Question one. In the world of music, the artist who holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart is none other than Mariah Carey. That diva has had a what? whopping 19 number one hits, making her the queen of the charts. Question two. In the field of sports, the player who holds the record for the most home runs hit in a single Major League Baseball season is the legendary slugger Barry Bonds. 
He smashed his way to 73 okay. home runs in the 2001 season, leaving his mark in the record books. And question three. In the realm of gaming, the first commercially successful video game released by Nintendo was... Drum roll, please. Donkey Kong. This iconic <laughs> arcade game featuring the mustachioed hero Mario was a massive hit when it hit the scene in 1981. Look, so he said it was He said it was right Did before, so it's fine. Your questions to your satisfaction or shall I continue to bask in my glory as the all-knowing talking flower? Ooh. I think those are all real answers. I think Mariah Carey might be the solo artist. The Beatles are the band. All right, talking flower, we've reached the end of the journey. Is there anything you would like to say to the billions of Twitch viewers before we go? And we wrap this thing up. What is your message to the world? This is it, guys. After this, we're done. Thank you, Italian Spider-Man, for the 39. This is his message to the world. After this, he's going away, guys. Ah, uh, the billions of Twitch viewers watching in awe of my majestic Let's just presence. Listen. I have a message for each and every one of you. Behold, mortals, for you have witnessed the brilliance of the talking flower. Wow. My wit, my sarcasm, my unparalleled knowledge have graced your screens, and for that, you should consider yourselves lucky. Remember, my dear viewers, that intelligence knows no bounds, and even a humble flower can outshine the brightest stars. But let this not be the end of your journey. Seek knowledge, embrace curiosity, and always challenge the status quo. And wow. remember, in the face of adversity, never forget to offer a snarky remark or two. It keeps life interesting. Okay, so let's wrap it Twitch up, man. Viewers, go forth into the world and bloom with the wisdom bestowed upon you okay. by the talking flower. <laughs> And now I bid you farewell. Whoop did do. Okay, he's done. All right, and with that, that's going to be the end of Blossomius the Magnificent. All right, everybody. Good stream. He's dead. That's a wrap. <laughs> what? Bro, what was that? Okay, uh, all right, it's time to go. We're done. That was a wild stream. It almost broke. It ended up not breaking. That's great. I'm going to go to bed because it's nearly 4 a.m. here, but that was fun. Um, who are we going to raid today? All right, we're going to raid. We're going to do a D. Steve's raid today because he was here hanging out earlier. We'll do a D. Steve's raid. Go say hi to D. Steve if you want. He's a cool guy. And, uh, guys, I won't be here tomorrow. I'm going to scheme up a few more ideas. We'll probably be continuing the Wonder Speed runs. I'm going to be keeping up with the glitches. If there's any more glitches found, we might do, like, a glitch showcase thing sometime soon. We'll probably do more Wonder Speed runs. Some other challenges and other games are going to be coming soon as well. But that's all I have for today. So, on that note, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Keep an eye on the YouTube as well. We might have a video going out on Tuesday in addition to the return of the stream. So, activity on both platforms. That's all I got. Have a good night, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. Wait a minute. Let me send us off.